Fuki, I pull left way. Have you parted your brooms in an orderly fashion? Have you dusted your nostrils? Fed your ogres? Make sure you push upon this and over do it tightly. I sure hope so. Let's not poop today, huh? Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry I'm late. My PC did a massive hacking poop and then it decided it was going to update and then nothing was connected. And I don't know how far things have gone all disjointed, but things might be a little bit disjointed. But you know, it's okay. Once the ad's done, we go live. Hello, Earl Girl. Hello, Danger Dan. Hello, CJ. Hello, it mucks. <sighs> Hello, Vartilla. Hello, Werewolf. Hello, Music Man. Hello, Vartilla. Hello, Nusia. Why are you like to the book on subs? Hello? There it is. <laughs> and hello, Wabi. How we all doing, everyone? Oh, we're good. Oh, butts. It's one of them mornings, clearly, apparently. But, butts and butts. I don't have room. I have a Swiffer. Oh, well, make sure it's just put away nice, you know, so no one trips over it. Wabi, you love it. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> now you know you're here for 27 months, you absolute silly goose. Mm. Hope you're good. Show the ferrets know they're in bed. I'm not dragging them out of bed just to be like, here's a ferret. Okay, to bed they go. Look at my number. Oh, 80. An 80 stream streak number. Bloody hell. You need to get out more. <laughs> you need to get out. Well, recall. GG on 80 Club. You are the first one, I think, that's actually entered the Club of 80. GG. Well, you sound like a robot. Well, if you look at the left side of the theater, you'll see a gramophone. And it's a long way from front of stage to backstage. So it bounces around in the tinny pipes and that's why it comes out a little bit robotic, you know. A thunderstorm in Wales, always when I'm here. <laughs> Hello, RBH, how you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? <gasps> there it is! <laughs> how about a long thing cactus? Sure. I'll write that in now for you. 13 seconds until the habits are done and then we're pushing the button and then we're gonna go for it. Oh, I feel discombobulated. I didn't get to do my usual pre-stream chit chat. Oh, Narusio. Narusio. Once. Brrrr, long. Thin. Cactus. Spin on in. And when it shall be. Thank you very much, Lee. Right. Adverts are done. Let's stop the music. Let's roll it. Push the button. Ah!
Yes, I am late. I apologize. There were some hijinks in the internet uh, that clogged up my PC. But it's okay. It's okay. We're live. Hello. I am Miss Uki. I hope you're all good out there. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're sitting comfortably upon the red velvet stream of theater suits. Your snacks are crawling. Your drinks are toiling and boiling. Welcome to the 27th, 24th of March, 2024. Happy Sunday. Oh, we're all good today. I really do. If you're curious about what's on the agenda today, we have... I don't know. I was waiting for that. <laughs> we have Alan Wake 2. Today we're going to focus on main quest things because I got a little distracted yesterday. Main quest things. That's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do. Okay? Okay. But first, I like to chit chat with everyone in chat. So YouTube friends, hello. I see you out there. Hi. Um, I'm going to talk to everyone for a little bit first because I didn't get to have a little chit chat with everyone and I'm going to have a little chit chat. Okay. So if you want to know when the game begins, check the comments. And it's just, it'll take you there if you want to ignore that little bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, right, music! Oh, how we all doing? Hello, J-Rex, how you doing? What's up with Sound Pumpkinhead? Yeah? So every day is Halloween in my world. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Lucy, as well? Nice to see you. First time since the 80s stream that intro was late. I know, I'm usually live by now. Like, I opened everything up and then I disconnected my mouse because it's getting annoyed at being like all tethered in because it, was, it wasn't on wireless mode. And this thing, I don't know what happened. It made everything disconnect. All my USB slots disconnected, then reconnected, and then I couldn't use my mouse. I couldn't use my keyboard, so I had to do like a hard restart. And, oh God, it, it wasn't happy about that one. It wasn't everything disconnected. Then when it turned back on, I then had to turn it off again, turn it back on again. It was just not happening. And then when it did turn back on, my camera wouldn't turn on, my microphone was connected, so then I had to reconnect those back in. Ooh. But I managed to do that all in five minutes, so I'm quite proud of myself, actually. I managed to be pretty good at it, you know? Um, how you doing, JVREX, though? What's up with them with you? And same with everyone out there. You should really get a plunger to declog those internet pipes. I really should. I should probably get some cream or something down there, you know, get really in there. But it'll be fine. I got all week to sort that out, right? Um, by the way, guys, I'm so sorry. I ignored you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for 20 pages for putting your name to me for computers. Thank you very much, Lee. Hey, okay, and I'm um, Spooky Pizza Chat. Hello. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all good and groovy and gravy. I've had that with the USB hard drive. Yeah, where it just like everything just goes boop, boop, and you're like, okay. I guess that's the kind of day we're having. It doesn't always do it, sometimes it does. But uh, for some whatever reason, it went, oh no, oh no, we're gonna have a little, little chaos panic. Which I understand. I get it. Look! The L0 Della just uh -huh. cut their antlers for 31 months. No Fuki. No, Nerf Block. Block, will you like join the fuckers' arms? Thank you, Block, for 31 months. But the hell has it been that long? Thank you very much, Block. I appreciate you. You can enjoy the two new anime emotes. I made them on Friday. I hope they um, fill you with all the good things. Here's 10 out of 10. Thanks. It's absolute be ratty. Look at that. You can see how like it's matted into itself a little bit. I need to wash it tonight. It's it's really, really unhappy. <laughs> when I say unhappy, it's happily getting fluffy. Well, you know, it's fine. I feel cute today, so everything's gonna be better, right? <laughs> Free Iwuki. Oh yeah, for those who are wondering about what happened to the Iwuki bot. It seems Twitch has banned my bot. It's banned by bot, so Miss Awuki doesn't have an account anymore. I tried to log in and everything, and I just said no. So, we don't have a personal bot anymore. So sad. I guess we're not allowed. So I suppose I should just have my, like, me be the bot. I'll be a bot then, I guess. When they banned it, probably because uh, Miss Awuki had Miss Awuki bot in the name. And they went, oh, a bot! Ban it! <laughs> Either that, or maybe someone reported my bot and said, oh... Ban this person. And they went, okay. An old Volvo drawn. Oh, wait, an old Volvo. Yeah. Old Volvo. It's written on in. I want to shout me. Thank you very much, Lee Block. How you been? What's been up? What's been down with you? Protect streamer. I just turned it off and on again until it works, to be honest with you. That's as far as my IT goes, in my knowledge. I'm trying to read. I want my money for the last uh, 16 subs back. I will return the merch. I just can't with this matter being late. I'm so sorry. I was five minutes late. Five minutes. It's disgusting. Actually, now that I think about it, it's amazing I actually make it on time. Every single stream, to be honest with you. <laughs> In the 18, 80 streams, eight zero streams you've been here, I've only been late once. How cuckoo is that? 
No, everyone could say that. <laughs> I'm a swap for being on time. Um, brrr, why is Buttspot still alive then? Probably because they appeal it every so often. I imagine. I can't even log into the account to like be like, no, this, this is not like one of those bots. This is a nice bot. And they're just probably like, no, no, it's got to go now. Mm. I'm going to miss that bot. In a weird roundabout kind of way, I am going to miss seeing my clone in chat. Maybe I should just make another one, but we'll not call it Bob. We'll just call it the Van Pets. And it'll just be the ferrets running the account. Maybe we should do that. Okay, why have you dressed up the ferrets and Nightmare Before Christmas characters yet? Because that involves me making things and I haven't quite had the oomph to make stuff that isn't to do with stream because I've been working so hard that I'm literally living 16 to 18 hour days with very little sleep and I, I can't find the time to make things in my off time right now. That's why. You're not supposed to ban the good bots, Twitch. I know. It's not even like a bot that's actually bought. It was just an account that I linked to here to just speak for stream elements, really. Uh, we get money from Uki. I'll take 300 pounds. I ain't got that to give. <laughs> Maybe one day right now. No, definitely not. You're a very punctual lady. I thank my autism for that one, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've been good. Still working in school. I've got a permanent position in a week if I sign some papers. Oh, really? Are you going to sign it? Are you gonna sign it? Talents cross for you though, that's exciting, GG. Fan Pet Incorporated Twitch account, yeah. <laughs> Ran by the ferrets. I mean, we could. It would be a laugh. Thank you, the head fats, cast the moves. I hope you're good. Oogie and Mookie and Doogie join the chat. Am I gonna have? Oh God, please don't feed me after midnight. I don't need another clone. Two is enough. I don't think we need a third clone. Do we need a third clone? I don't think we do. I don't think the world can handle another, another clone if I'm honest. That, that's gonna be bad times. <laughs> Hello, Hot Wheels, how you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Oogie for president. I will be the best president ever. I don't even know the first thing about politics. But the one thing I will make sure of is that the news has to start um, having pictures of cute animals <laughs> in their news reportings to break up the bad. <laughs> Hello, Fresh Cake. Aw, you talking about yourself there. How you doing, Fresh Cake? What's up with Stan? How's it going? I hope you're good. Hello, Sleeping Hound. How are you doing? What's up with Stan? I hope you're good. I'm good. As now off for Easter break. Two weeks off. Oh, I'm so jealous. I don't even get bank holiday off this year. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but in the UK, we usually have Good Friday and Easter off. Um, so you have like a four-day weekend, right? Uh, this is one of the few jobs I've taken where I can like actually have that time off, except... We're in a massive crunch at the moment at work. Uh, for those who don't know, I work in film and TV, so crunch is kind of normal, um, part of my industry. Uh, and, uh, oh no, I've been asked to work them. So me being the workaholic that I am, I went, okay. <laughs> I should have said no. I could have done with a full day off to like rebalance myself, have some like relaxed time before I start the next gig. But, oh boy. <laughs> so no time off for me for Easter. Just work. All that. We do get a snack after midnight. No, don't do it. I'll split up into another, like, horror crux. Always kind of being. Actually, we shouldn't say that one. But, you know, another being of Ono's. Maybe when you move to a bigger place, you can calculate a room for a third clone. I don't even know where I would shove a third clone, to be honest. It's on to run out of space. Can you bring back the teletext as president? Thanks. Fine, I guess. Remember some what they offer me as a raise. They'll only get about 2k a month. If they don't offer enough... I'll change work to another school. All of them are screaming for work, because that is true. You can shop around. So that's good. I'm glad you're, like, taking in your priorities and not just jumping just because they're like, oh, here's papers for a perma job. Is that anonymous? Was that not a... I was a casamoose. <laughs> now you're anonymous and casamoose. Um, don't you mean prime minister? Well, yeah, but someone said president, so I'm just rolling with that. Hello, Fisha. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Brr, hello, Fresh Cake. How you doing today? Hi, time for chaos and mayhem. Hell yeah, Rogue. Hell yeah. Today we're focusing on main quest stuff because I've been an absolute sausage yesterday, if I'm honest. Finally made all three. Yay! Well done, Hot Wheels. GG. That's a whole weekend. A whole weekend. Did you sleep? Did you play more um, Horizon Forbidden West? I would stay, but I want to go and play Final Fantasy VII. Then do it. Go and play. You don't have to chill out here if you don't want to. I mean, I'm here every weekend, but... You know, if you want to hang out, I'm here. But if you don't want to hang out, I guess you can go play games. I ain't your mum. I'm not going to be like, hey, we got guests. You have to come and hang out, you know? Under the bed is a reasonable place for a clone, but my underbed is already so full of stuff. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you and Weeb? I'm good. Weeb's good. We slept like logs. I slept so heavy that, let, like, my entire... One side of my body that I was sleeping on, because I'm a side sleeper, I am. My arm 
And like this part of my face was numb. There was a brief moment where I was like, oh God, I can't feel that side of my body. <laughs> um, it's because I slept so heavy on one side that like I, I just didn't wake up at all through the night. I slept like a log, an actual log. I've definitely picked up my, um, my uh, sleep debt, that's for sure, which is good. It's very, very, very good. Um, last night, though, I had leftover pizza for dinner. We both watched two more episodes of Shogun. I just need to watch one more, and then I'm up to date, ready for Tuesday's release of the next episode. Um, I played more TOTK. I've literally nearly finished every single side quest. I was going to do some main quest stuff last night, and I just went, Oh, I'll buy a couple more side quests tonight. I'll do main quests. Oh, and I also recorded the tour in Palia. I just haven't uploaded it yet. It was like a five-minute quick tour, but at least now everyone can see it before it goes. Love my new nickname here. It's Katsumus or Anonymous. I love it. I love it. I love the top. Oh, it's um, one of my indulgences. I said yesterday I bought a new um, couple of bits and bobs because there was a sale on. That was the really, really good things I wanted. And um, I decided to do some self-indulgence of buying some new pretty things. So I bought some pretty things. And this is one of them. Do you want to see it? I'm going to show you guys. I haven't actually ugh, recorded my app of the day. But it's a dress. It's a dress. It has lots of little, like, macabre things all over it. So there's, like, mushrooms. Um, I believe there's like some like fruits and vegetables. You can see there's a skull with mushrooms growing out of it. There's some like little um, cicada bugs and moths. It's really pretty. Really pretty. It's really little comfortable. And then there's buttons all the way down and the buttons have little skulls on them. And it's just a really like cute above the knee dress. It's so comfy. Oh, I've been eyeing it up since they released it. And oh, I missed it the lot like the first time they released it. And I was like, oh, that's a bummer. But I guess... It's not meant to be. If it couldn't wait until the day I could pay for it, then it's not meant to be, and I guess I won't have it. Then they re-released it recently, and I was like, oh, I need that. And then they had a sale on, and usually when they have a sale on, they don't include, like, things that just got restocked. Uh, so I was like, oh, you know, I'll have a look. They included it in the sale, so I was like, oh, it's a sign. I really shouldn't be buying anything new clothing-wise, but I'm going to do it, so I did it. <laughs> Now I bought like a new skirt and a pair of shorts that I intend to wear on stream because I just want some really comfy things to wear. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's, it's really, yeah, that's how I always see buying new things. If it's there when I'm precisely ready to have it, it's destiny and I'm meant to have it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not much of a need. But I should have done it. But I feel cute now, so I'm happy. Oh, oh I missed some things. Brrr, imagine not waking up during the night. Imagine. Usually I wake up in the night all the time. <gasps> Fresh cakes. You you know Montana. They're lovely. Absolutely lovely. Mm, I bought it on Blu-ray. Did you? Nice. Nice. I slept 13 hours, which is why I'm slightly late. It's all good. I was also late because my PC did a load of hiccups. <laughs> I'll say two days in a row. I've woken up not tired. Yeah, same. Same. Maybe things are funny on the rise. Maybe it's because it's actually light in the morning so now. So when you wake up, you feel like, Oh, I'm awake now, you know what I mean? Instead of it just being dark when you wake up. Maybe that's it. Uh, I'm thinking the moon's on my side for once. Oh yeah, it's a full moon tonight, isn't it? Or is it tomorrow? Because I know it's nearly full yesterday. It wasn't a full, full moon. It's, it looked like it was going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's tonight, tomorrow, right? Mm. I played a lot of Dragon's Dogma 2 and I really like it so far, but there's some tiny bugs. But the uh, overall game is fun. Good. To be fair, it's only day three since it dropped. So I'm not surprised that there's still some bugs in it. But I'm sure when they get to it, it'll be all repaired and good and glorious. That dress is hacking fabulous. Thank you. Beautiful. I likes it. I very, it's very, very lightweight. It's going to be a really nice, like, summer dress. Um, if you're meant to hack and buy that dress, I'm glad they restocked it. Because now I match my doormat. <laughs> they also released it on, like, a doormat where it says, like, magic lives inside or something. And I really like the pattern that much that I bought the doormat. <laughs> Because I was sad that I couldn't get the dress. I was like, if anything, I guess I'll get the door, man. And now I own the dress. So now I match my front door. <laughs> um, I woke up at 7 a.m. for no reason. I was like, heck it, let's go and go up. Nice, nice. Sometimes you're just meant to. Sometimes you're just meant to. I actually woke up earlier. Um, I normally would on a weekend, but I feel great. Good. So hopefully it's a change of seasons. And we'll finally start feeling a little bit more alive, you know. How long does it take? Oh, wait. Does it take... Does is, <laughs> does dies it take you to prepare for stream? For stream, um, if we're not counting me getting dressed and things like that, I usually sit here about half an hour before I press go live. So I'm here usually about 20 past 11. Um, and I get everything ready, like Fireball. I get my closed captions on. I start writing my go and live promos. Um, I get the music on and I do all my like audio checks. I sometimes even go as far as opening a game that's known to be glitchy and open it up to make sure that's all rolling. I check my cameras, I check my lighting. 
Um, I, you can clearly tell I've just disconnected my camera because it's not quite in the way I would have it, but <laughs> it'll be fine, I'm sure. I do a load of little things like that. And then about a quarter to, about five minutes before I go live, I'll quickly scoff like something small to eat, like a milky bar or um, like, I don't know, just a little bit of chocolate just to give my stomach something good in it before I go live proper. And then I go for a wee and then I come back. I press go live <laughs> and then we roll and we boogie. But if you count me getting ready in the morning, um, to do my face, it takes me about 20 minutes if I want to really take my time. I can do it in less than that. I can do it in 10 if I really want to. I don't want to. I like taking 20 minutes. And then I take an extra five just to do my fringe. My hair um, is really simple. I just get a mister bottle filled with water. I just go <laughs> all over it, make it a little bit damp. Give it a little like one of these, like scrunchy scrunch. I just let it air dry. And then my clothes, well, I dress like this every day. So for me, it's just like a quick... Uh, it's all on and then I'm ready to go <laughs> so I, I can get ready in like about half an hour it's easy easy the thing that takes the longest in the morning to prepare for well to get ready to go and prepare to stream is the ferrets because I like to give them about an hour and a bit of stretching their legs and some ferret care and clean out their like hutch and things yeah wait there are people who doesn't feel tired when they wake up what witchcraft is this it happens once in a blue moon. It's like a rare tree. And when it does happen, you're like, oh, but it happens to be a day where I actually want to take it nice and chill. There's no hell to darkness dancing in preparation. Well, I didn't say that, did I? If only you could hear the little hullabalooza going up in the attic. <laughs> and the dancing under the floorboards, if only. But I like to keep those parties private because... They definitely are ones who shy away from the light of day. <laughs> How you doing, Soul Karma? I hope you're good. I really do. So did anyone do anything really nice? Anything really, really, really nice? Anything nice last night? I, I just took a chill, as I said. I can't get comfy today. I cannot get comfy. It's because I got this gigantic hot water bottle behind me. It's actually a hot water bottle, but my other one's in work. Ugh. And... It's just, yeah. <laughs> I can't exactly grab it from uh, all the way in England, can I? Oh, blink and act. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do tonight. I got work tomorrow. I think after stream, eat some dinner. I'm going to make a big batch of stir fry for the week's food. Mm, hang out with the ferrets. That's I have a shower. I'm deciding if I'm going to record a new hair care thing of how I get my hair. Well, to sit the way it does. It's a bit wavy right now, but when it's like fully done. I record that tonight because it'd be fun. I need to edit my IG post. I need to download all the clips ready to do a highlight reel this week. I'm going to do it this week. I don't care. Ah. Ah. Play some more TOTK, I guess. <laughs> ah, just chill with pizza and chips. Take away. What you have on your pizza? And thank you for the means and all of feeding the mods as well. I was like, took the new meds and went into one 10,000 production mode. Like, I had fireworks stuck at my bottom. It was crazy. Oh, good. So hopefully it's the one that's working for you then. Hello, Ziv. How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? I caught up on Expedition X Discovery Plus. Oh, really? How's that going? Margarita with extra cheese. That's the best way to do it. Always with the extra cheese. Literally same. And then again, today, woke up and saw Titanic work at 7. So we have the sudden burst of energy. Maybe it's the thing you need. So, like... Like, if you're sleeping well and you've got a good amount of energy for the day to get the things you need done, that must be a good mix, right? I enjoy it. Good! I'm glad to hear you're enjoying this. It's got Expedition X. A rain is tormenting me with all the kinds of meh thoughts. Oh, no! Bin the meh thoughts. Replace them. Replace them. This is what I do whenever I have, like, bad meh thoughts that I know are not productive to me whatsoever. It may work for you. It may not. Obviously, everyone is different. But what works for me is when I have those really nasty, like, depressing spaghetti thoughts that make me go, oh, God, the world is so great, which is nice sometimes, but not, no, not in the way that your brain goes sometimes. I like to replace those thoughts with a positive thought, even if it's something really, really small. For example, um, on my really miserable days where I'm really suffering to see the light of the day and the joy that is out there, um, I start changing my thoughts immediately. So it'll go from, like, I guess I should eat food because... I guess I'm hungry or whatever. I mean, this is a very light example. You know, I could go a little bit darker, but I'm also trying my best not to, like, depress you spaghetti anyone out there. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I guess I'll have breakfast. Oh, miserable breakfast. And then I'll be like, oh, you know what? At least it tastes good. <laughs> Try and flip some upsides to it. Ground yourself. Look around you. Try and find something that makes you smile and feel comfy. Because mere thoughts can linger so much, and it can cause, like, a sinking mud sort of 
uh, thing. Negativity attracts negativity. With positivity, you have to be really, 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 like, um, stubborn to find positivity. You know what I mean? I, uh, at least that's how I always, I always like to think of that anal analogy. <laughs> analogy! <laughs> analogy. Um, where bad thoughts and the depressing spaghetti is like a sinking mud in a forest, right? You're trying to go into a nice meadow in the moonlight where all the flowers are going, all the night bumblebees are out and the disco things, you know what I mean? Um, but you're stuck in the woods, there are brambles, things are sticking to your feet and the more you keep going, the more you're finding yourself sinking because it just seems to just keep pulling you down and that is negativity in it, it just keeps pulling you and trying to make you like get swollen up to your neck and get stuck there to the point that nothing but the little bramble leaves will be attacking your face and just making you feel even more uncomfortable in an already a terrible situation. But then you have to be the one who has to like pull yourself out of it. And even if you're unable to find, like do it yourself, there are people out there who will help offer you a branch or something to grab onto to help you have the tools and the strength to get you out of it. Always try to like think of the extra good things, you know? It's hard to think of positivity sometimes. But I think that it's a good starting point. Because when you start seeing the little things that make you smile and feel a little bit more comfy, it makes the world seem less bleak. Like in the mornings. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna wake up today. I just why why am I awake? Why can't I just, you know, whoop, you know? Um but then I put on my bed socks. I'm like, well, at least my bed socks are warm. And that could be the little thing just to make me smile for the start of the day. Try not to let them drag you down, okay? There's always something to try and, like, there's plenty out there. Watch some cat videos. I mean, I know it goes a bit deeper than that. But you can find little bits of joy to help you make it a little bit easier on yourself. You know, you don't have to suffer. I'm really bad at thinking of positive thoughts in those kind of moods. Those same. I think of the most despicable, horrific things possible. And I think we all do at times. Um, I think it's normal that everybody has those days. And for some, it can be years upon years and upon years, you know? I'm one of those people, for the first half of my life, that was my everyday. I couldn't see the light beyond the day. I couldn't even see the next minute. You know, I was so foggy with all the bad things. And then I decided I was going to try and pull myself out of it. And it takes so much energy to try and find one thing to make the day feel that little bit more glorious than it was. It's hard. It's so hard. If it was easy, we'd all be walking around smiling all the time, wouldn't we? <laughs> if only it was that easy. Um, hello, fat man in a chair. How you doing? What's up, what's down? How's it going? I like that. Thanks for some insight. Most welcome. I mean, like, I know it doesn't work for everybody. Everybody's different. We're all different in the way uh, we pilot our bodies and our brain chemicals. You know, sometimes you've got to do a little bit of MOT. But it maybe might help someone out there because that's how I had to do. Was uh, try and change all my negatives into a positive. And I always think of the first thought in my head as the impulsive thought. The impulsive thought that I can't shut out. It's like you open a window and suddenly a big fly throws itself into your window. And you're like, well, great, that's stuck in here, isn't it? But then it's the second thought, the hand that cups the fly and takes it back out the window. Um to try and keep your space clear. Second thought can always do a lot more productivity for yourself than your very first thought, you know? Something small, don't look down, don't look down. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that, I guess. But lots of effort um, to not mucked up in the neg negative vibes. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's hard because it's so sticky. Where's those quick sound? I was wondering where that was. <laughs> Hello, destructive mess, Borida. How are you? Hello, you look as well. How are you doing as well? I hope you're good. Did you rest well? Your fluffy puppy video sound good right now. It's good. If you want to watch someone <laughs> do some really, um, deal with some really grumpy pets being made really cute, you should watch, um, Guild with the Dogs on YouTube. Well, she's a dog groomer, right? But she's not like the miserable kind in the same way that I... Oh, there's so many dog groomers on YouTube that I think are just particularly grumpy and I don't like them. She does it in a weird sort of like upbeat way and talks to the animals and pets them. But she does it in a way that is like, oh yeah, that's a mood. It, I don't know, it brings me joy when she's like giving a cat a bath and the cat's like, ah! <laughs> and she's like, oh, you're so grumpy, aren't you? You cheeky little spicy kitten. I don't know, it just brings me a little bit of joy just seeing someone soft speaking and animals like, DON'T TOUCH MY FEET! <laughs> I do something similar. I find a good memory and use it to interrupt my train of thought. Building a good thought habit instead of a bad thought habit. Exactly. It's like you're forcing yourself to be optimistic and that is the hardest thing to be. 
because it's so easy to be pessimistic because when you start finding more things that will bring you down it will start bringing you down it's so easy to latch onto the negativity it's so much harder to throw that over your shoulder it's uh one of them things so if you're out there and you're having bad mare thoughts you're not alone same to be honest <laughs> but it's okay hopefully we can uplift you with the land of comfort of the corner and going and, and playing games and just having a little escape from the real world all right I'm pretty good at appreciating the little things life. Partly because that's all I had for so long. You gotta, you gotta find the little things. The little things can make life really worth living, you know? Hello, Chance86, how you doing? What's always done? How's it going? What's a hello, host? Did I have tried to make another experimental cake, but it failed, so the science must continue. What did you try to make? In the inside, you're most welcome. I hope it helps you at all. You know where we are if you ever need to yell, like, scream into the void. Obviously, we're not mental health professionals, so we don't have the, like, ability of giving you tools, but the most we can do is um offer what we each individually do to try and make every day a little bit better for ourselves you know and it might help you uplift like you know find ways to uplift yourself from just an everyday person who's just trying to make the day good <laughs> well your thoughts on maya just know that you can dry this out in time you'll be able to stop getting uh, mucked up by it next time you always get there yes exactly that we're having a little heavy chat yeah what I need money, it motivates me to get going. I definitely get the slums. Oh, fair. <laughs> Everyone's got their own motivations, you know? Everyone's got their own motivations. For you, it's moolah. For me, it's trying to make my bed socks feel extra soft on my feet so that I can have one good thing. It's like whenever I have a period of work where I don't have work, I buy myself expensive bug roll, so at least my butt will be wiped with nice expensive bud roll, you know? And that'll make me feel a lot better. So it's the little kindnesses we can give ourselves. Little kindnesses to make the day, even when it's at its bleakest, a little bit easier, you know? Always well, trying to take care of your future self. And well, thank you. Hope you are as well. I'm good, thank you. I slept like a brick. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you well as well. Um, there's always that pesky impulsive thought. Mm -hmm. The impulsive thoughts need to be binned sometimes. Although sometimes they're good because they can give you your gut instinct about things. Impulsivity, you shouldn't ignore it. Just if it is something that you are aware that is an impulsive thought that you do not need in your life, flip it out, bin it, replace it with something better, you know? It's like having, I don't know, a mug that you've had on your windowsill that's gone rotten. Just throw it out. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> Hello, Matt. How you doing? What's up? What's down? I'm good. Thank you. How you doing? Be the hand that cups the fly. You want to see the world. Exactly that. Exactly that. I just cracked the blinds in the room and get some natural light in and the sun's down in the eyes. Oh, it's so sunny over here in Wales. At least in my part of Wales, it's so sunny. Like, I generally thought like, oh God, it's like sunbathing weather. Ooh. I don't know who needs to hear this, but it will get better. You aren't alone. You can beat this. 100%. Thank you, Helix, for sharing that. Hello, Zorok. I'm good. How are you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Best you can do is offer the bin. The bin is a healthy place. <laughs> and the good thing about the bin is that if you actually do need to pull something out of there to, like, reassess it, you can stick your hand in the bin and pull it out. It just might be a little bit grubby and a little bit smelly, but sometimes you got to do the nasty job, too. <laughs> Um, I tried to make a wholemeal apple blackberry cake, but just didn't bake properly. I think I must have gone the mixture wrong. Ooh, I wonder why is that? Maybe it's something to do with the heating or the prepping. I wouldn't know. I haven't baked in forever. But ooh. I know what I'm going to do. Write down the 15, 16, oh, character I'm designed in the back of my mind. Yes! Do that. Do that. Do it, do it, do it. Your future self will thank you for getting it down on paper so that you can work off it more. Do it. You got this, Dib. I believe in you. My motivation to work is to eat. My motivation to work is because I just want to make cool things that people can enjoy. But I'm fortunate. I get to have a job that I like. Uh, so I'm very lucky there. <laughs> Thing is, I do. I uh, just start observing myself, having those bad thoughts. And usually I either realize how silly those thoughts are or recognize it's okay to have them. But we need to get back at it. Uh, when I process the negativity bit. Yes, that's literally it. Um, I like to have a good old ugly cry in the shower. When I'm feeling really like I am miserable. I am an absolute sack of poo. Um, the world's bleak. I don't want tomorrow. I think I'm done. And then I go in the shower and then I have a... <laughs> One of those awful snotty cries. And just like think about all those things that are troubling me. And just really get it out of my system. And then after I have had my shower, I wipe my snot on it away. And then I'm like, oh, that was all stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> Actually, all those are really silly little things. Oh, we got tomorrow. At least I'm going to have breakfast in the morning, some Cocoa Pops. That'll be all right. Some Cocoa Pops, you know? The butt that smells of coconut. Yes, the coconut butt. <laughs> I'd rather be day over coconut. I really want to try bidet. day I mean, I told you guys, didn't I? I went, I went to Rome last year. And they had a B-Day in the bathroom. And I was so excited because I've always wanted to try one. I want to see what the fuss is about. Why everyone's like, oh, this is better than Lou Roll. 
and I want to know why because I do hate loo roll. <laughs> um, and the only time I got to try it was after um, I had a really big meal. I had one of those like shot things that you're meant to have at the end of a meal and it didn't sit right with me whatsoever. I um, <laughs> I got out of bed, went to use the bidet, but I didn't use it in the way you would think. I vomited into the bidet because I had my other half on the toilet. <laughs> And so the only way I got to use the bidet was because I had to clean it up afterwards. <laughs> I puked in the bidet, yeah. <laughs> I did try it, just not in the way it was intended. <laughs> At least I cleaned up after myself, you know. I just kind of got it. I didn't get to feel it on my butt, you know. I'm really kind of bummed about that. I'm just going to have to go back to Rome just so that I can try a bidet. Or, you know what, anywhere with a bidet because I'm dying to try one. I want to know what the fuss is about because everyone I know who's tried one has gone, oh, it's amazing. I'm like... I don't know if I want a Poseidon kiss up my butt, but okay. Maybe one day I'll try it. You try to cancel? It doesn't though. As we go avoid that leaks once in a while. Yes. <laughs> I'm due a leakage, I think, in the shower. I think I'm due one because I'm feeling very bottled up. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. It'll go very shortly. Or oh, not fun to be the case of it. Yeah, I didn't. Oh! <laughs> I love to try a video. Exactly. I'm so excited. Is it to wake up, Alan? I definitely am for Zerka. How you doing, by the way? What's up with Stan? How's it gone? I just can't get one in my apartment because it would become property of the apartment if I had it sold. Oh, so you wouldn't be able to take it away with you if you moved out. That sort of I? Is that what you mean by that? Something you just need to let it all out, to be honest. Better than keeping it in. 100% lamp. Especially if you've got, like, no one to talk to because I'll be real. Sometimes I don't want to talk to anyone about how I feel because it's not the fact that I feel like I'm going to be a burden on anyone else. I mean, I used to, but these days I, I don't feel like that. I'm just like, I just don't. It's not productive of me to speak to anyone about it because I already know it's silly. <laughs> I already know it's silly thoughts and it's just going to bog someone down and make my weight their weight as well. Like, even if it's just like a little little pebble on top of whatever they got, it's still weight, you know what I mean? And I know it's silly, so I don't want to talk to anyone about it because I'm like, there's nothing to talk about. I just want to scream. So I go in the shower and have a snotty cry. And then it's screaming into the, like, the plug hole. And that counts to me. That counts. <laughs> when I'm a millionaire, I'm going to have a custom bidet with a mint spritz button. <laughs> I ain't surprised. <laughs> Does that mean you buy bog roll with a minty wipe on it? Are you one of those? Did you see when I found that post about this, like, um, sanitary pads that have mint on them? Did you see that? Mental, that is. I have a bidet there, interesting, but it's filled in my toilet. Oh, one of those fancy pants ones. See, I think the next time I'll be able to try bidet is if I ever go to Japan. I've been saving. I've been really wanting to go. It's one of those places I've always wanted to go because I was a weeb, still sort of a weeb, and I can't help myself, and I would love to go and explore that place, and I want to buy all the pretty dresses. <laughs> and all the things like that. You know, I want to be an absolute tourist, an absolute horrible tourist that just wants to experience everything possible. And I know they got fancy dancing toilets. I mean, sometimes it's a squatter, but sometimes it's a bidet with a like preheated seat that sings songs at you. And I want to experience a toilet that sings at me while it cleans my butt. I need that in my life. I need, I just one of those experiences on my bucket list to experience. And if I like enter the next room, I want someone to take my, my, my suit to somewhere so that my who can experience that <laughs> oh no mouse come back to me i thought it gone then mm, you mean that wait i um have to do emotional case <laughs> no no wait for you none none whatsoever i got better coping skills and therapist once uh once a month i have as much i can't redo really with her nowadays thankfully oh that's good that's good therapy is a very very good form of it i wish i was someone who could deal with like going to therapy or like a counselor or something but I'm, I'm too stubborn. <laughs> too stubborn to listen to someone else. <laughs> but that's good. It's good. That means you've got the tools and you're all... Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I was going to say something then and I was like, oh no, I don't want to say it the way that I'm going to say it because it's going to make it sound like a swear word. But um, you got tools in your like toolkit to help make the days easier. And that's good. That's very good. Uh, minty bud scream to Pennywise. No, no, the sand pantry pads? Bad. Are you sure you don't want to wear one? Because then you just have one there. Right up the butt, constantly. Don't put tea tree oil on your nuts, please don't. Unless you do, but, you know, please read the directions. You're meant to, um, uh, like, not have it as it comes out the bottle. You're meant to water it down. How often do you eat crumpets? Never. I hate crumpets. <laughs> Mine hates the water. It shoots at you. But then I'm a lawyer. <gasps> it shoots hot water on your butt? I love that. 
I want to try that because that's always been my worry. Is like if it's cold water, I don't know if I want that on the bum. If I'm honest, that's like stepping in a cold puddle that you're not expecting. I don't want that. Yeah, bus, a butt flosser if I get rich. Oh, I love that. Polo, the mint with a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, P! Well, thank you, Seven Stream Streak. How you doing? What's up with that? How's it going? I hope you're good. I just go, want to go to Japan to have all the food. See, the food doesn't interest me. It's just the exploration of someone that's very, very different. And my internal week wants to go. Because I had an opportunity to go when I was a very, like, I was very young. And I was meant to go with a friend. And then friend went without me. And then I was very, again, my stubbornness creaked in. I went, fine, then I won't go then. So I didn't. Even though I really wanted to go. And then everyone I know was basically gone, apart from me. And now I want to go still, so now I'm trying to make a little pot. At least now that I'm older, um, it means that I will be better at exploring than if I was a youngster. I still got those thoughts of burden that I also don't want to make my friends go through talking to, um, to that part of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, it happens. It definitely happens. My um, grandmother yells at me. <laughs> She's like, if you're feeling sad, talk to someone. I'm like, no, because I don't want to, because it's sad and... Everyone else is living, you know, they're dealing with their own stuff and I don't want to put that on them because to be honest with you, what I'm dealing with is just really, really, well, how I see it kind of superficially deep. It's not like an actual deep thing. I don't want to bog someone down. And plus, this isn't anything anyone can say to make any better because I already know what I'm going to say to myself. I already know what I'm going to say to myself is that tomorrow's a new day to kick butt. So I don't want to bog someone down with me going, ah, in their ear when they don't need the ah in the ear because they don't want to yell back because quite honestly, then yelling back is not going to change anything. <laughs> Um, do you have a shower with a detachable shower head? DIY be day. But it's not quite the same though. You'd have to be squat on the toilet. I don't think I want to be squatting in the shower. That just sounds like an accident waiting to happen. You also have a weeb, so you can also take him. That is true. Weeb does want to go. Weeb has been before. He went years ago. When I went to Corfu on a drinking holiday, um, he went to Japan at the same week. So when he came back from Japan and I came back from Corfu... Uh, we were sat outside Cardiff Castle. <laughs> it was a beautiful sunny day. It was the first time we saw each other since we come back from holiday. And we weren't like together together. We were still best mates at that point. And he was still wasted from being in Japan. I was still wasted from being in Corfu. And I remember looking at him. And he had the same facial expression that I felt like I had. And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> we're going to suffer tomorrow. <laughs> it was a laugh. An absolute laugh. A big tool and a big toolbox. You ain't need it. Big tools. Always need the big tools. It's good for scooping. Tools in your butt snow. No! <laughs> I personally prefer my bidet to be bubblegum flavored. Bubblegum flavored? Drink from the bidet? Ooh. I always wonder, like... Because people have, like, specific bidet butt towels, don't they? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about, like, sharing a butt towel. Hello, Sergeant Matrix. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? I'm good. Continuing the tidying with the screaming golf lady in the background. Woo! How's the tidying going? Is it going good? Are you smashing it? Ugi Twitch meetup in Japan? I would love that. I would love that. I really, really want to go into a meetup. Like, I'm feeling massive FOMO right now. Because next week is Insomnia Gaming Festival. And I really want to go so that I can meet people. I'm dying to meet some of you guys. Like, seriously or not, I just want to get to know everyone and then meet other people that I love watching. <laughs> and so I'm feeling such massive FOMO that, yes, please! <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that if Uki goes to Japan, they're going to think it's a kaiju attack of the chaos? <laughs> I would love to go dress as Godzilla. Is that inappropriate? I mean, like, I know they got, like, lots of Godzilla places and I really want to go and see all the Godzillas. I love Godzilla. I love kaijus. Even though sometimes it's actually deep, but you don't recognize it, that is true. That is true, until like it lingers for a couple days and you're like, oh, that's uh, that's one's a problem. <laughs> I better go and get the elbow grease on that one. <laughs> you have special high pressure beams on your shower head though. Is that, wait, does it really shoot that hard up your butt? Does it? I, did, I thought it was just like a gentle water, like, I didn't think it was like, like a pressure washer. Um, also, nice full moon today. Oh, it is full moon today. Gonna do an eclipse thingy, so those interested, keep an eye out. What time is it gonna be eclipsing? I would love to keep an eye out because I thought it was a full moon coming up because it was on Friday. It's like, oh, well, it looks like it's about to be a full moon. Tomorrow's definitely not. It's got to be Sunday or Monday. So good to know it's today for anyone who's charging their crystals tonight's night. Oh, my friend is in um, Argentina. Argentina. Visiting a lady. He has been dating and eating amazing food. Oh, nice. That's lush. Hello, Red Queen. I'm good. How are you? What's up? I stand with you. If you ever come to the Netherlands, I'd like to meet you. If I ever come to the Netherlands, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I want to just tour the planet, quite honestly. I'm so ready to do some traveling. <sighs> but soon, as I said, I, I should, Talents Cross, once April comes and goes, I should 
have something of all the hard work I've done over the years to show for what I've been doing, like why things have been so tough on my end. And hopefully freedom will be coming. <laughs> Here's open. Hang on, I got snot. Oh, I'm so snotty today. I think the um, hay fever is starting to trickle in. I'm gonna stick my shower up my butt, please don't stick a shower up your butt. <laughs> the thing the doctors love someone to say about that one. So I met only one streamer in real life. Oh really? What was that like? You don't just the B-Day, right? It cleaves you in half. What? <laughs> That's horrible. Like your head orange. Thank you. It's called pumpkin. It used to have a Christmas hat on it. Now it's just an ornament, I guess. But the Femin is important. It is. It is. Same with Femin Okay, go back to Gears 4. Do it! Right! I should probably boot Epic. I haven't done that yet. Let's go and boot Epic and get ready to get into it. At uh, this, that point, is a cleaning or giving an enema? An enema! An enema! It's a fun word, that's like an enemy. An enemy, an enema, an enemy, an enema. Boot the game plus, I would like to get into Alan Wake soon. Uh, brrr, I've been having trouble with sinuses lately too. I think it's because spring is coming. I think that's what it is. Uh, turn down the light. Let's get all dark and scary in here. Um, I've been having trouble with. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I've always, uh, like always, the US is better position. Uh, UK time is 5.43 a.m. GMT. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> like, I'm going to be up at that time in the morning. Oh, and then before the end of the moon, to drop below the horizon. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to see everyone's photos again. Fine. Jon Snow, spring is coming, and so am I. Stop it. Nice to see the Max Payne cameo before the voice actor passed away. Everyone says that. Everyone says that. I, I don't, I still need to like look into all that at some point. I haven't done it. Hello, but boy, what's up with Stan? Had to go in. Yeah, also still a lot of bugs going around. I work in a special needs school and the amount of bugs and illnesses is going around is constant. I can imagine. I can absolutely imagine. I can't get comfortable. I have been trying to get comfortable all weekend. And it's like my hair is too here, then it's too much there, then my shoulders cold, so I'm gonna put it here to keep my shoulders warm. I put a jacket on, I'm claustrophobic with a uh, jacket on, and now Cage raids! <laughs> Cage Rick, hello, lovely, what's up, what's down with you? Hello, hello! Hi, Jalu. Oh, gone. I'm just gonna put this over here. Hello, everyone, what's up, what's down? How's it going? Hello, Cage, what are you doing today? Tell me all the things. I love the things. I want to know every last drop there, please, and thank you. Elden Ring. How's your Elden Ring going? How's it going? You smashing the day. Have you won yet? Have you killed anyone yet? I want to know all the things. I hope you're good. Batman, you're sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> but welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're all having a glorious time zone. I'm going to say time zone because Cage is in a complete different time zone from me. I'm on the other side of the pond. Hello, I'm from Wales. <laughs> well, this should just come on in. Hello, I miss Ookie. As an Ookie spooky cookie. Welcome on in. I am a franchise streamer. On the weekends from Saturday to Sunday, I play franchises. We are currently celebrating Alan Wary since the first, um, first stream of January. I started with Alan Wake 1, then I've gone through the DLCs, American Nightmare Control, the DLCs, and now Alan Wake 2, and today is part 8 of my playthrough of it. <laughs> we are slowly getting through it, it's so, so, so good, I highly recommend it. You're lucky, you're about to hear my speech about the entire game. <laughs> and thank you for the followers, welcome to Wake Up Alan, I hope you enjoy your stay. Anyone on my stream who does not know Katrick, go and check out Cage. Cage is a fan tab Doty streamer, she is so funny, she is amazing. She does like bard singing, plays a wide array of games, very very roleplay-esque in the way she goes things and she dresses in character a lot as well she's just wonderful she's one of my favorite streamers i've been following cage for like two three years i feel like <laughs> she's wonderful please go and give her a love give her a head pass i dare you by the way cage i saw bloody drone go wear your sweet roll shirt the other day i now need it in my life so prepare yourself for one day that's gonna happen. Hello, Wickham, how you doing? What's up, Stan? And hello, everyone, welcome on in. I'm not gonna call out anyone's name, though, just in case you're lurking. I don't like calling out lurkers, but welcome on in. Uh, that's amazing. Can I request that? that? Oh, hello, Bunny, how you doing? Um, two Mizuki streams, and the other one is slightly delayed. This is absolute cacophony. You are stream cheating? Naughty! <laughs> Gone, who followed? Um, sounds like my kind of streamer. You'll love Cage. Absolutely love Cage. Yes, we go way back, so far back. Before the ticks. Before the ticks. Cage Cage is amazing. I agree. I love Cage so, so much. Time zones and work at the moment means I miss all your streams, but I miss you! I'm glad to hear Elden Ring's going good. What did you last do um, in Elden Ring? I want to know. I love the Sweet Rolls uh, shirt. I wear mine on special occasions. I want it! But at the same time, I'm like, God, if I wear it in a work meeting, I'm probably going to get smacked. <laughs> Even though I kind of want to. Mm. I'm doing well. I love you. Well, I'm good. Thank you. 
You guys have just popped in as I booted up the game. I'm going to give you guys my speech. This happens every time I play a game. I have a speech to give you. This is Alan Wake 2. We're diving into it for, uh, without any sort of trailers or nothing. I had no idea what was going to happen in this game. So I like to keep that sort of mystery of not really ever knowing. So please respect my first playthrough with no backseating, no spoilers. I want to know nothing. I like suffering in games, even when it comes to puzzles. I say that. If the puzzle is maths, I'm probably going to ask for help. I hate maths. I did my maths in Welsh. I know like in die three Pedro Pim Quirks I thought, you know, but I do, I'm speaking it in English and like trying to do algebra. Didn't learn algebra in school. Um, I was in too low with a intelligence group, let's say, <laughs> to um, be given algebra classes. So, um, I should I go with maths? But anyway, suffering. I like suffering in games. Let me suffer. Let me have my childlike wonder of exploring things. It's a lot more fun that way. We surprised 50% of the bosses day. Oh, GG! Well done! Well done, well done! I'm proud of you. I can't wait to watch your VODs. Are you gonna do a edit, like a highlight reel of like every time you kill a boss with all your reactions of every time you kill one? I would love to see that. Have you, has any bosses made you cry yet? Have any that made you like, because <gasps> that happens to me when I played uh, Dark Souls 3 ones. I think she has an amazing voice. It's true. Cage is a fantastic singer. She always takes me back to like feeling like I'm in a tavern with like uh, a fireplace on the go. You can smell the coal. You can smell like here your coal drink swishing in its little tankards. I loves it. Absolutely loves it. Just all the statistics for my character. They were a complete poop. Complete average. There's nothing wrong with being average. Haven't cried yet. You haven't cried? Are you even a gamer? <laughs> oh no, I can't wait to hear the day that someone makes you cry. <laughs> It's a terrible thing to say. Anyway, another thing to know about this stream. There are trigger warnings. I like to warn everyone at the start of the stream about trigger warnings. There are corpses. There is quite a bit of gore. There is a lot of flashing imagery. Lots of flashing stuff. And there is also jump skis. So if anything makes you feel a little bit queasy or a little bit unwell or something like that, please go and take care of yourself. This is a zero judgment zone. If you need to go and do something else, like watch some cat videos or rest your eyeballs or like the jump scares get a bit too much, more than understand, more than get it. I always yell on Instagram and the rest of my socials whenever I'm done with a game if you're trying to avoid all that. But I am trying to get Alan Wake 2 done by the end of March. Even if it means next week I'm going to do like really long streams. That's my aim because we got unhinged month in April. <laughs> um, yeah, now I'm wondering if it'll make me cry. I can't wait to hear if someone's going to make you cry. <laughs> Cage, if you need to do your after stream self-care, please run away and go and take care of yourself. Please, please do. Please do. Um, another thing to know. Let's see. No back to you, no spoilers. Trigger warnings. Cutscenes and talking in game. If a character is talking and I want to listen to them, or there is a cutscene on the go, I will remain usually pretty quiet in the sense of I won't respond very much to chat. I also tend to ignore alerts. Sometimes I might even turn down the alert sounds because I like knowing what's going on in a game, especially when it's so story driven. I get really immersed and I love it. So I want everyone else to also have the ability to get immersed and they're like just knowing what's going on too. So if I go quiet for a little bit, I'm ignoring you. It's not because I hate you. It's a me thing. It's not a you thing. I just like knowing what's going on in a game. So if I ignore you and I miss something you say in chat, please just copy and paste it after we get out of the cutscene. Or if you did an alert, I will probably get back to you as soon as we're out of it. Okay? I just like to say that because I always feel bad for ignoring people because I do try my best to like keep up with everyone. Hello, Saint. How you doing? What's up? It's down with you, though. I'll have to update you. If I do, please tell me when you cry. Just tag me. Scream at me. I need to know if someone makes you cry. In the game, not in real life. I mean, if you do need someone to talk to, I'm, I'm happy to be the shoulder, although my shoulder's very naked today. <laughs> Trigger warning in summary. Anything uh, one associates with horror, basically. It's just a horror. Loads and loads of horror tropes. It's great. There's also Mizuki painting NPCs in gore masks. That is true. I have blown people's faces off. <laughs> you just see the muscle and sinew underneath. It's kind of gnarly, if I'm honest. So good. Right. I'm also going to give you guys a story synopsis. Um, Alan Wake. He is a writer. <laughs> and that's basically all you need to know. <laughs> it's a very hard one to put into words because there is a whole world in this game. It extends beyond the game. It goes into the other franchises. It's so deep and multi-leveled. To explain it quickly, it's hard. But I'll do my best. Alan Wake went missing like 10 odd years ago. Hello, Brian. Hope you're good. And hello, Lucif. Alan Wake went missing like 10 odd years ago, back when the first game was out. He is finally washed up ashore. There was an FBI agent and uh, one's called Saga, one's called Alec Casey. Alex Casey happens to be the same name and resemblance to a character in Alan's book, but we digress. Saga and Alan are weirdly interconnected. It seems like Alan has written another book, a book that genuinely affects reality. 
being controlled by uh, an ominous presence called the darkness. The darkness is what's trying to break out of the lake and basically infect the world into just nothing but shadow creatures that just are very, very, very aggressive and just remove light as we know it. Hang on, guys, not my nose. Ugh. Um, but basically, that's it. And we washed up ashore. He was found by some FBI agents. And one thing led to another, the darkness is slowly infecting the area of Bright Falls and getting stronger with each passing day. Alex Casey has gone missing. Salga's on the hunt for him. We are down in the mortuary. Alan is in a holding cell. And we're just going to hopefully figure things out. I hope that explains enough. It's really hard to put into words. It really is. But we're going to jump into it. Or do I? We got, <laughs> we got AdWords in five minutes. Oh, whatever. We'll jump in and we'll get into it. And then we'll have a little pause. I love the unclothed shoulders. They feel warmer than cloth shoulders. I don't like having my shoulders out, if I'm honest. But I'm very warm today. Um, look, always a uh, look. Do that half stream thing. You heckin' wonderful. Okay, you enjoy your deep peopling. Speak to you, Stone Kedrick. A platonically lovely you. Platonic love. Like, not parasocial love. Platonic love. I adore you. I'm like a little fangirl. <laughs> Have a good one, Kate. Send you all the good spoons and things and stuff. Hello, Duke. What's up, what's that? How's it going? Hope you're good. Right, gonna get into the game, at least. At the first I heard, white man, I thought, hell, of a synopsis, Uki. I mean, he is a white man. <laughs> he is. That's not a wrong thing to say. Mm. He's an American man as well. A white American man who is a writer. Very broody, though. Very broody. Guess ready to call the men in white coats just in case we get ideas. You say white coats. I got my own white coat, thank you very much. I actually do. I have a lab coat downstairs. <laughs> covered in big blood and paint. Great speech 9 10. Would recommend it. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Take it easy, Kay. I won't. I'm gonna smash the day. <laughs> but <Butt> speech! <laughs> Thanks, Bud Spot. Right. I'm gonna enter our mind pass for a quick second. I'm just gonna double check if there's anything to do. I had to, did I need to do anything with profiling? No, I didn't need to do anything. What about my words of power? Can I update anything? That's not where my words are. That's not where my words are. My words are over there. Hello, where are we? We're in the Mind Palace. Or if you mean, like, geographically in the world, we're in Wales in the UK. Croissant. I hope you're having a lovely day, Shemai. Back at Yugi. Ah, you so cute. Hey, Johnny, return the slab. No, I'm sat on it. <laughs> Photonics are like radioactive, basically, just glowing with love. Just radiating it. <laughs> How you doing, Johnny? What's up with Dan? How's it going with you? We got 42 pieces. Hmm. What if I'm increasing the rate of fire? Another headshot. Yeah, that doesn't kill them instantly if I even give them a headshot. They suck. I do have a new gun, though. What about the gunpowder ba uh, magazine? The scary Jizzle's lamp. Oh, boy. And awake as a writer. And why? Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> We're to sound like Twitter in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still have my lab coat from studies. Still has loads of chemical stains on it. Oh, I love lab coats. That's awesome, though. I wore mine once for a metal gig. I decided to go in corpse paint, and I called myself Prof. Remember, main quest, no side quests. I love side quests. You're right, though. No, no side quests. Just main questing today. We need to make some progress. Haxin, I should put your name in the book of <gasps> biddies. <laughs> Thank you, Haxin, for 100 bits. Hey, Ax, how you doing? What's up with with you? I hope you're good. Uh, you're in Wales. Say hi to Pinocchio and Geppetto for me. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I will. I'll make sure to say hi to Geppetto. For those who don't know, I live in a whale. In a whale. Geppetto is my neighbor. He plays with wooden dolls all day. You know, each their own. But sometimes it does weird me out some evenings when I can hear him talking to himself. And then I swear he talks to a cricket sometimes. Or does the toys talk to a cricket? I don't know. I sometimes hear an extra voice. It's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? How's it going? Must supposed to pretend to be Ace Ventura. <laughs> well, I'm imagining like a weird butt butt creature trying to shove itself out of a rhino's butt now. Speaking of chemical stains, I've arrived. Hi, CJ. I didn't know the team parasocial till you mentioned it. Just looked up. Tears for that. Ooks are most welcome. It's a very handy thing to keep an eye on. Uh, the best way I could explain, if you're wondering, uh, like a quick way to explain parasocial, it's like when people are really big fans of a celebrity to the point that they're like, they're my best mate, even though they know nothing about their life and they've never really spoken outside of like, maybe a quick hello at a restaurant, maybe once upon a time. <laughs> Parasocial Batman. No! Stop it. Leave it behind. You want to watch out for the, um, uh, um the, for the what? That, that hab. Though don't want your house to be pierced by spears. Oh, boy. 
Not the spears. Anyway, everyone, guess what? In this corner, admins roll every hour on the hour. They last for three minutes. It's the bare minimum I can get away with Twitch. Like, you get thrown into no, like, sudden admins out the blue. And at least you get a warning where they happen. When an advert happens, I tend to pause gameplay. I don't feel like pausing right now. You're going to miss nothing. I'm not going to leave the mind palace until you're back. So don't feel like you're going to miss anything. You're not. But if you are thrown into them, I thank you very much for sitting through them if you choose to. They do support me, so I really do thank you for the couple of pennies that you will put, give me. So consider your ticket price for sitting up here upon my stream with you today. But if you are going to be thrown into the adverts, do some self-care. Go and take your medication, take your vitamins, take your pills. I'm not your mum, I'm not going to yell at you if you don't. But if you need to take those things, there's your reminder. Go and get a drink, get a snack, go to the loo, do a poo, go outside, breathe some fresh air. You've got three minutes to do something good for yourself. Do it. You'll feel a lot better for it, trust me. Do some self-care. It'll be good for you. It really will. Do I want to get another can? No, I got enough. It's true. Bruce Springsteen is my best fake friend. <laughs> Loves it. Oh, the main character from Moby Richard. Oh, I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, I should probably listen to that. I have it's such a Richard. <laughs> The one that attacks the um, Richard, right? That one. Ten seconds until adverts, everyone. I'm going to just probably go through my words of power right now. And then we'll go back, okay? Uh, stay on course, stand still, and aim suddenly at target to drastically reduce kickback and minimize pellet spread for increased damage. Oh, I like that. Move faster while aiming. Ooh. Hold the fire button to activate the auto fire mode. Oh, I don't like the auto fire thing. Move faster while aiming. Saga gripped the pump action shotgun, aiming down the barrel. Oh, the thing's it doing three minutes. Hands yeah. perfectly. Any second, everyone. It felt steady. Hmm. She had it under control. She swung around, ready. Easy. And now we've got to stay on course. The Taken rushed toward her. But Saga remained where she was, unmoving. Come on, Ads. Kick off so we can play some game. To hit the target. The Taken was closer. She waited. Closer. Still, she waited until the very last moment. I low-key want that owl in my house. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I never thought a day would come where I'm like, I kind of want Alan's office in, in the uh, Cauldron Lake. Kind of want that. It's got round windows. I dream of having a round window. Mm, sword off shotgun. Let's have a look. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Anything good for the bows and bolts? Mm -hmm. Pistol. I guess we should do something for the pistol, right? Increase the magazine size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession. Oh, we'll do the bigger Saga thing. Saga had lost count of how many shots yeah, she'd fired. But she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She fired again. Nice. A little bit of upgrades. <gasps> Shut up! Oh, I feel I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold off. I want everyone to see what's, what I think I see on the thingy, the jiggy. I'm gonna look at the map then. I'm gonna look at the map. Oh, yeah, there was a locked door down here. Oh, no, that's up there. That's where the holding cells are. Okay, so we can't go in there because we need to have the fuse back on so that we can go in the holding cells. We're down in the morgue. Which, there's a blocked door over in the morgue? Hmm. Oh, you know what? We'll be fine. Although Casey's apparently down here. So we'll see how that goes. All the things to do within three minutes. You could do everything if you put your mind to it. <laughs> if you want to, that is. Oh, yeah. Did I hear something about watching the adverts that I found? Oh, I'm missing two of them, though. I hope I get to see more. Uh, me and two of my best goth friends are looking to get a house together. Three adults and three kids, so six bedroom. And at least four bedroom because the kids are teens. And from a mental health of everyone, they need their own rooms. Oh, 100%. Anyway, the uh, other two ladies only want a Victorian-themed home. So that's dragged on house hunting for two months. <gasps> so round windows are very nice and goth. I love round windows. I dream of, like, having a house where there's... Like, I just want a round window in a house. It doesn't have to be, like, an ultra-Victorian Gothic. Although I really want a Victorian Gothic because obviously look at me. Uh, <laughs> But I dream of having a round window. I would love, like, um, what they call them, like a witch's tower. A converted attic. So that I can have, like... Not, like, I don't want it to be, like, a foxy room. I want that, like, those wall... Like, the ceiling where it's caved in a little bit. You know what I mean? I want that as well. And then I also want, like, alcoves where you can see the chimney breast. Making, like, a nice little arch. Like a gothic window in a church. Oh, triangle roofs. Just the whole shebang. 
And a porch. I want a porch. So that I can, like, have a nice little creepy rocking chair that glares out at everyone. And then I also want flower beds filled with either wildflowers or sunflowers. That's what I really want. And a nice big fireplace. So that I can either actually burn things in it or plant a load of plants in there. So that's like a little fairy's corner. <laughs> Everything. All the things. Hello, I come. I hope you're good. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't. You can really try if you put your mind to it. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. Why would you roller skate on a buffalo herd? I thought those things were scary. This guy reminds me of the poem, A Light in the Attic by Shel Stevenson. I haven't heard of that one before. Welcome back from the adverts, everyone. I'm going to watch some television, I think. I think? I still am missing two adverts. I remember someone yesterday saying something about me having to watch through the adverts. And I guess maybe I will. We'll, we'll sit through one of them and see what happens, I guess. To my Aoki. Hello, Ritz. Kroisa, Kroisa. I hope you're good. Nice to see you, lovely. What's up with Stan? How's it going? <laughs> I'm back from Adland. Welcome back from Adverts. Oh, no, a Porsche, not a Porsche. Oh, yeah, I don't want a Porsche. I'm going to have a car. I died. There's two extremes to me. I either want a smart car or a hearse. There's no, no in between. It's either one of those if I'm going to have a car. Uh, I don't think you have to watch them. Just uh, be in the same room as they play. But I haven't seen any of them in a hot minute. But anyway. I was told yesterday I should probably watch all of them. But I guess we'll watch one and see what happens if anything's different. A smart hearse. I love a smart hearse. Can you imagine how cute and dinky? Because then it'd have all the chrome detailing. There's probably none of the space to have a... What if instead, like, it being long, it'd be tall? You can have a coffin sent up, right? It'd be very Dracula aesthetic. <laughs> a monster truck. Okay. Three cars. A smart car, a hearse, or a monster truck. A hammer beer. Yako, we're going to Akugai's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking so wine. So far, nothing's different. Like an asshole. A Pope mobile? Yes, oh, like from dear. Benidorm. I know what Yako <laughs> needs. Avamir to the rescue. Mm. Smart monster here. Bring out Wolverine with Avamir. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. With a DVD, those were the days when we just. Using your beer can to hide your pipeli from wandering pipeli. eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikannit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Ahma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. <laughs> We're gonna get some Ahma beer. I think if you go to Coffee World, you might be able to find a paper thing and they'll sort you out. By the way, everyone who was an advert, I saw something that I need to show you. I need to show you this thing. I need to show you what I found. Look at it. Mayor Setter. Mayor Setter's in the middle. I thought we had like a load more sticky notes in, in the middle. But no. It's Mayor Setter. It's so cute. For anyone who didn't know, yes, I did give Mayor Setter head pats. I did. I did. It's great. I'm happy. Um, I'm sure we can combine all of them. I kind of need that in my life. I'm not going to lie. I maybe need to take up ZBrush again. Anyway. Let's go. Mayor Setter is best boy. The best is ever. Oh, yeah. Now in the morgue. <laughs> Very finished party, yay. It's such a good word, isn't it, Raziel? How you doing, by the way? What's up with Stan with you? It is less sad if you're not in your underwear. I mean, if you're, like, completely bits out, maybe it might be a little bit sad. Definitely have to have your pants on. Um, has to be my favorite finished word. I don't even... I think I would have to rewatch it over and over and over until I, like, I have it ingrained in my head. How you doing, Nipper? What's almost done with you? I hope you're good today, lovely. Bring out my inner Wolverine. I always wanted to be able to smell frozen carcasses under 20 feet of snow. Oh, hell yeah. Think about all the snacking you could do. Right. Morgue. Nothing bad ever happens in the morgue. Although Casey's apparently here. Oh, that hand bends funky, doesn't it? Right. Everything's going to be fine. 1,000% mm -hmm. voting. My set is definitely going to be the winner. Definitely going to be the winner. Bring out my... Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. The eyes look fishy. The eyes... The one look fishy? <laughs> I think someone might disagree with you there, J-Man. Present setter for the win. Hell yeah. Hello, Pandarius. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Hope you're good. Oh, Casey's okay. 
Before I go over there, though, Casey, there are things I need to investigate, like this locker. What's in the locker? Bullets and a flare. Obviously, I'm going to take that. Right? No competition for them. Snacks? Hell yeah. A nose for snacks. I've got a nose for snacks. <laughs> Hello, Frank and Nathan. How you doing? What's up? What's down? How's it going? I hope you're good. What's the best kind of music to listen to when fishing? Something catchy. Lord. Lord. I hope you smacked your wrist for saying that. Oh, I punched the wall. That was not the intended violence I was going to get on response. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, that's not directed at you. I slipped. Oh, snacks, good idea, Johnny. Go and get snacks. Do it. It's a book of um down there somewhere, perhaps, Sully. Somewhere, I'm sure. Um, having your schmeat out of home. Write something that makes it more sad. It does. You need to have your schmeat covered. Keeps it fresh. Keeps it safe. <laughs> that girl is going to drop so good. Jokes so awful. She punched the wall. Just ah! <laughs> right, Casey, you in here? Hello? Casey! Is that you? Anderson? <gasps> Hold your fire! I'm coming in! Casey? Before I enter, there's a bathroom here. Oh no, it's not. Oh. It's another room that is destroyed. Don't know why I had to say it in the sing song voice, but I did. Hang on, Casey, I'm having a snoop. There might be loot. Always got a snoop for loot. Loot is best. Look at that. See, I wouldn't have never found a uh, arrow if I didn't go snooping. Uh, what do you call it when Alan takes a break? An Alan break. <laughs> I'm reliving the start of uh, Alan Wary all over again. <laughs> this month is my last month of probation. My manager said they make a decision by end of the month. Tomorrow's the 25th, which is my monthly probation checkup. I joined on the 25th of, se 25th of September. Kind of nervous. Oh, well, you'll be fine. I, if you've done everything you possibly can and you did your best, you'll be fine. And if they decide they don't want you, it's their loss, Pandarius. It's their loss. At least it's kept you busy and give you some experience, in it. You'll be fine. I, just, I believe in you. I believe in you. Hey, fake god! How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Hello, Boyd! How you doing as well? Are you good? Hello again, Mademoiselle Faye. Oh, Mademoiselle. Alan Bud, Alan Cake. Oh, this one, you guys need to stop. Oh, it's still warm. Uh, Casey? Oh, there he is. Little barricade. Little, little barricade. You alright, Casey? You look very sad. Hiya. What's up, bud? Hey, Anderson. Hi. Like what I've done with the place? Hmm. hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <sighs> Funny. <sighs> Did you just... Did you just... No! <laughs> no! No! Ban! I'm banning Saga. I'm gonna have to ban her. I can't have this. <laughs> it's clock runs out of battery. Is it a time breaker? Stop it. Stop it! We sent you all in the bin. <laughs> and scratch when he's Alan Bakes. I'm great. I made it down to the deeper levels of the Melted Rock and keep a RL. And then the lava got him to kill my keeper. No! So you have to start all over again? I'm good though. Thank you for asking. That's annoying, stupid lava people. So where the Bendy does, Mike wants a, a super hardcore mode in Bendy the cage and several are you sure prompts before it starts and there is no saving at all. You have the game to delete stuff and you have to reinstall the play game. So we're so dead. We'll see what happens. Found and received the name Alan means Little Rock. Does it mean Little Rock? How does it mean Little Rock? Anyway, Casey, you are right. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just... It's a flesh wound. Where's the flesh wound? Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Uh, he's lying! He's lying! Hello, Mariano! How you doing? What's up, what's down? How's it going? That's such a cute emote. So cute. Uh, did you hear about this scary movie about Pogo Sticks? It has its ups and downs, but too many jump scares for me. Oh, it's Joe Cower. I see what it is. I see what it is! I feel like some people don't want to enjoy video games, Frank. Maybe. Maybe some people don't. Why can't Adam start, um, his boat? He needs to use his Adam keys. Why? I have a lot to tell you. Watery turned out to be a good lead. 
found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. Mm hmm But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What do you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. But what if she is gone, gone? Why if it was not in the bed, it's in the corner, nice try. Ah, oh, you got me! She's gonna, yeah, report you all. From that pun for 78 violations of the pun, of course. Um, brrr, I strongly recommend against stitching up your own wounds, but if you insist, search yourself. What happened back at the hotel? What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real too. I saw it, mm -hmm. a fucked up monster cloud. Mm -hmm. Wake tried to warn me, it knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. And before I do that, I'm gonna profile the heck out of you. Do, 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 do. Um, here's your bad pun, Asbo. Please learn from this. Aspo's for all. Casey. Casey's condition. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm something a goner. Bad. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. Mm. I think he's infected with some sort of shadow, you know. Get profiled. <laughs> My uncle runs a clinic inside a hotel in Spain. He comes out late at night to ring people's doorbells because nobody suspects the Spanish in physician. Don't worry, Casey. I'll fix this. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. I will. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. Oh, thank you. I'll take care of it. It's fun that Stay you put, it. Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> oh. Nice that he was like, oh, a fuse. Maybe I should take that. Hmm. Man, Sibs on a roll. Sibs going for it. Going for the gold. Right. Where is the... Oh, yeah. The freezy chambers. Where is the thingy majiggy? Oh, anything in the box? Did I leave anything in there? No, I didn't leave anything in there. Right, fuse, fuse, fuse. Where does the fuse live? Hello. Oh. Oh, there's something in there. Yoink. <laughs> His voice is so nostalgic to me. I don't know. His voice is just glorious to me. Maybe one day I'll understand. Two mice are chewing on a film roll. One says, I look like the book better. Thank you. Thank you. Is Fuse gonna be in here? Because I do have bolt cuts and I did do that riddle. Or is it gonna be in the other? Ah, oh, it's gonna be in the safe space. It's gonna be in the safe place. By the pun, hi, I see. Mm hmm. It's Joker Clock. It's Joker Clock. I finally found the good side of my sickness lady. I have now officially lost over half my body weight and I'm only seven stone from my goal. Ooh, weirdly. We. That's both like a, yay, Anna. Oh, no. <laughs> Good. So long as it doesn't go uh, too much further the uh, way that is a no-no. Did that make sense? I don't know if that made sense. That was a, ah, an oh. <laughs> I totally get that, though. My sister had the same thing when she was going through, like, a load of surgeries a while ago. Uh, she managed to uh, lose a bunch of weight, which she's been wanting to lose. And she's, like, at the weight she's happy at. So it's like a yay, but at the same time, no! 
It's a weird upsy downy kind of way, isn't it? Where the hell did I put the foos in? Somewhere. They will be in the mods. Appreciate you. Oh, it's right bloody there. Walk straight past it. Of course I did. Pop it in. Nice. Anderson. Ooh. Good news, bad news. Yeah. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Of course. Great. Casey, you okay over there? Oh, never mind. Um. Again. Reload, 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 reload. Hydration at the time like this? I think not. Took a look an hour after each ad break. Yep. Oh. Oh. Wait. Away with you. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. Let's get that arrow back, please. Oh yeah, they We're are coming angry. down. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a little reflectiony one. What's that axe? Why does an Alan use her GPS? Because he likes his plot twists and turns. Such a butthole. Glad I'm losing it. Wait, the speed? Am I? It's just a more serious case. Because that is true. There's one way to look at it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. I'm stuck in the corner. I'm stuck in the corner. Where'd she go? 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 Oh, right there. Oh, what? Get from the flare about! Oh, I hate these things. Ugh. I did smash! The situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. I'll wait here. You're just gonna sit here? Okay, then. I suppose. Reload. This I just see you clearly. It's like, ah. Uh, they knew that I've been avoiding the main quest for a while. <laughs> like, oh, our time is now! Random lose. Oh, yeah. Okay, do you like the game so far? I love it. It's so good. Literally, I know it's like the fourth game I've played this year. For game of the year for me. It's so good. It's actually kind of almost disgusting how good it is. Why is it now? Oh, it's another little cloggy section. Is it? Is it? Look. Uh-huh. They want a hug. Oh, they want a hug. I've never heard that one before. Nope, never heard of it. Right, let's go do a tactical save. And then we'll go up. Tactical save. Bonk. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice reflexes. Thanks. I, I've been gaming far too much. I should probably actually, you know... Go outside once in a while, but I the outside. It's sunny. And I like to keep my gamer tan strong so that people know I don't leave the house very much. <laughs> right, how's Alan doing? I wonder actually. Hmm. Anderson. Oh over here. Hiya. Sure you wanna be out the cupboard? It's night time. Hiya. Got a little cramped in that closet. Oh, that's why. Just checking in. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Mm -hmm. Don't let your guard down. You definitely won't. Night time. Day time! <laughs> oh no, you're sending me back. How did things go with Cynthia? By the way, I missed that stream. Cynthia! Cynthia! Oh! Cynthia Weaver, the lamp lady. Right, so she was actually in the um, in the overlap in the water. She took Tor down there, and oh my god, that battle was hard. It was hard. It, it took me a good couple of goes until I actually bopped her. And when I did bop her, I didn't even think she, like she was bobbed. It took me a minute to like realize that she wasn't coming back. <laughs> it was one of the hardest battles so far in the game, I think. Can the FBC send back up? Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. Good. 
Mm, wow, well, I didn't wear, um, Wake did her dirty in the story then. I really liked it in the first game. Thing is, the way... The reason she became a bad guy is actually really sad. So, you don't know when Alan's in the dark place, he has the light, the light that he was given, uh, that was Zane's light. Turns out, Miss Weaver used to carry it constantly, even though it wasn't always turning on. It was almost like the thing that protected her, except um, Rose basically gave that lamp to Wake when Weaver wasn't looking for it. Um, and that meant that she lost her protection to save Alan in the dark place. So that, like, very, like, that afternoon, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Give or take a couple, like, days or something. Um, Weaver was in the bathroom. And that's when she got drowned by the darkness. She was taken by the darkness there. They killed her and, you know, warped her. So it's a very tragic thing. She wasn't, like... It's not the fact that she was going that way. She was taken because... Uh, Rose took the lamp for Alan so that he could survive the dark place because Alan was speaking to her some through, like, I don't know, wibbly wobbly ways through the puddles. It's kind of sad, actually, that if she still had that lamp, she might still be here with us. But she knew, because in her diary, she was saying, like, she knew she's getting old and she's not going to be able to fight the darkness anymore. So it's almost like uh, age got the better of fighting against things. It, it's really sad, actually. It was quite tragic. Really, really tragic when you looked into the lore of it. I think she thinks she isn't coming back. <laughs> I hope not. Well, I kind of hope she comes back alive as in her pre-darkness self. But I don't think she is. I really don't. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. Best for cake advert always. 100%. Best. Full moon tonight, though. Uh, brrr, hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Delicia. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going with you? I hope you're good. That's so sad. She's such a tragic hero. She really is. She did her best. And unfortunately... The darkness stalker. She was the body that was in the bathtub that Alan saw in the darkness in the hotel. That was her body. Um, she had the record, which the record meant that Saga was able to take her from her bathtub in the retirement home. It was really sad, actually, when you look into it. <laughs> Ding different. Oh, boy. The darkness was after her since the days of Zane, I think. Yeah, it has been after her constantly. Constantly. Bronco! Excuse me? I'm talking about sad character lore. <laughs> <laughs> and come in with a hype no we're miserable about a character that's gone <laughs> hello bloody drongo what's up what's down anyone watching who does not know the bloody drongo go and check him out give him love give him habits i was talking about drongo earlier wearing uh, cage's shirt cage raided earlier and i was like cage i saw your shirt it looked amazing on drongo <laughs> i know bloody drongo what's up what's down with you but anyone watching who does not know this glorious person they are on the other side of the planet from me on the other side, they're across a little pond. They're wonderful. They're la like, it's so much big laughs. They play a wide array of games, like so many different kinds of things. And they're like, a banter is peak. Go and check them out and give them love, give them head pats. I dare you. How is your stream today, bloody drunk? Well, you've been up. Dude, thank you so much for rating. I appreciate you. And also, thank you for the follow. When's the for lands? I'm not going to call out your name, though, just in case you're lurking. But for those who just come in and you don't know who I am, I miss Uki, as in Uki Spooky Cookie. Hello, Kroisa Shamai from Wales in the UK. Hello. Today, I'm playing Alan Wake 2. We have been celebrating Alan Wary since the first stream of January. Uh, basically, every stream since 2024 began has been like an Alan Wake universe. We start with Alan Wake 1, the DLCs, American Nightmare, Control, <laughs> Control DLCs, and now Alan Wake 2. And we've been slowly going through it bit by bit. In fact, I'm aiming to try and finish this game by next Sunday so that we can have unhinged April. <laughs> but it's been basically three months of nothing but Alan Wake, and it's been so good. It's such a good game. I highly recommend it. I really do. I had to take meds and do the pain relief, lay down things. Hope you have an amazing stream. Love you all. Rest well, Hot Wheels. I hope your meds take, like, kicking very soon and you're going to be all, like, not so painy. Enjoy. Have a good one the shadows. Okay, it's nice to see you as always, Hot Wheels. Kick butt, chew gum, And thank you so much for 20 stream streak voyage. Bass, how you doing? She was good to you. I rim while doing the rim uh, world does. Nice. Nice. Did you win? Did you win anything? I don't quite understand rim world. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, oh, look at those pretty little characters and all those animals. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Did you win? Did you do anything cool? I want to know things. Unless you need to do your after team self care and like D people and stuff. More than I understand if you need to run away and take care of stuff. More than I understand. Oh, but the Raiders are just coming in. If you want a quick little trigger warning about this game, there is flashing imagery. There's a lot of like, if you're photosensitive, this game might not be for you. Um, there is corpses. There's quite a bit of gore and jump scares. So if you feel uncomfortable at any point, you, this is a no shame zone. If you need to go and like excuse yourself, more than understand please take care of yourselves and the quick other thing is first playthrough so no spoilers no backseating and on top of that one um 
I'm trying to word things and stuff. When a character is talking or there's a cutscene going on, I try my best to remain as quiet as possible so that we can all digest the information that's being given to us. But well, welcome on in. No puns. No puns. Hello, Reza Darkside. How you doing? What's up? What's down with you? I hope you're good. Feel better, we'll tell you. So nice. But thank you so much for raiding. I appreciate you. Right. I'm talking to this lady. She's from the FBC. Um, Alan Wake is apparently in the holding cells, which we need to go over there. We just turned the power back on in the police station. Apparently he's riddled with shadow people, so we're going to have to go and uh, them, you know. But we're going to speak to the FBC lady with this one more thing about the lake house. About the lake house, miss. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Hmm. Wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. Oh. Glad to know the luck department's still going. No one's denied, but we plugged along. No one's saying Rimworld is fair enough, though. Uh, to be age, uh, I barely get most of my of the time myself to be age fair enough. I own Rimworld. I just never opened it yet. I, I, I should really one day. I really did. I wonder why they called it Rimworld, though. Because every time I think of Rimworld, I want to say... Well, something really naughty, and I really don't want to be that, but I'm also kind of feral. <laughs> Have you ever played Alan Wake, Bloody Drone Girl? Have you ever played it? It's bloody great. So good. Bloody, 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 bloody. I gotta get out of my system. Bloody, 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 bloody. Okay. My bitch is just, just, just kicking in. Just a little bit. Right, Alan's on the left. Wait, anything in the bathroom first? Nothing in the bathroom. Good. Butts. Cheeky butt. Mm. I've not, but I've watched it a bunch. Seems great. Oh, it's so good. So good. If you like a multi-layered... No, not a multi-layered squeak. <laughs> um, like a very deep story that is like multi-layered, sort of Inception-like. And the way that it, it, it's like a really big onion. Massive, chunky onion with lots of layers. It's so good. So good. I highly recommend it. Especially if you did the whole franchise run. More. There you go, Reza. <laughs> I seen when he hit the bottom um, first few days and now Rimworld. We're just going for it. We're just nothing but butts. But Sunday. But day. The thing you're thinking is actually the name of the mod for Rimworld. Is it? Is it? Do they actually do the, like, the wicked whims in Sims? Back in my day, a Skyrim was a butt stuff on an airplane. Oh. Skyrim. Skyrim. Back in my day, I ran up at a giant and thought, oh, they look like fun. And then next thing I knew, I saw the stars and ragdolled all the way down. <laughs> A rim world would be a planet on the edge of explored, populated, known part of the galaxy. Oh, no way, Prof Hamster. Prof Dr. Hamster. Sorry, I excuse your titles there. Interesting. I had no idea. And today I learned. I thought it was just a naughty joke. <laughs> a multi-layered squeak. No squeaking. Hello, hacker man. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How are you doing? I hope you're good. I remember when I was new to Rimworld and the players uh, would wish each other happy... Oh, boy. I am not really reading that out loud. I talked enough about butts yesterday. I should not invite any more of that Saga. energy in me. Hello? Fucking FBI, FBC, Ooh, you government Elmo. fucks are fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Really? Get rid of him, Saga. Why? You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Mm. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker! I mean... You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea! Let us out! You can't stop it. None of you can. Stop what? We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. I don't know. That's something a cult would say. What's a constant theme here? It's not phase mon. <laughs> the butts. I'm just obsessed with butts. Okay, I can't help myself. Hello, Mr. Mops. Pretty much is, um, not safe for stream. Noted. Noted. One of those, like... Mods are definitely not allowed. Noted. Cool. I'm going to have to do some <clears throat> incognito research. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Welcome to Welcome for Lands. I hope you enjoy this day. Not going to call out your name, though, just in case you're lurking. But thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. VGMD, MDMA. I should buy you, right? <laughs> All of the above that then some. That guy sure knows the prison system. Nothing persuades the authorities. You're intern like F-bombs and murder threats. He doesn't watch enough CSI. He doesn't. I like how the bars give him a really big mustache. Very big mustache. Or South Park Canadian mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. <laughs> and also, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mug for Lands. Hope you enjoy staying. Not going to call out your name, though, just in case. No, you'll be chatting, Prop Dr. Hamster. <laughs> I get to call someone out. 
<laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Right. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. I can't. I saw you in a movie, though. Anyway. <laughs> um, What's in there? Oh, an FBC. I don't section? have the key. Ah, oh, Sheriff Station keys? Why? Bolt cutters. Can I use a screwdriver? No. Can't use any of that. So where's Alan? You're not... Alan? Is that Alan? Saga. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's blood. Do you have it? <laughs> um, you and I need to talk, sir. You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself. From the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. Hmm. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I don't know. I feel like he might be... Oh, no, we definitely need the torch. I feel like he might be Scratch. It feels very like, oh, we can, I can save everyone, but I'm actually the bad guy. I don't actually know if I should give him the clicker. Um, was watching a documentary about South Park this morning, as you do. The hype mind is real. I'm telling you. Of course, he's innocent. Mm -hmm. I have the clicker. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Mm. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry. Oh, I feel like this is a bad idea. Don't oh. fucking give it to him. Hit it again. He's a fucking monster, Saga. Wink? I bloody there knew it. There it is. We've been waiting for you, I motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. Oh. You're cool. We're running. We're running. He was pretending to be awake. Yeah. No, the plan duh. Is fucked. Yeah. The best come in. Scratch um, is here. Running around in a circle. Oh, it's these it's things. These oh, things from the control. Oh, how but do I activate the lights? Running, 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 running. Hills. Running, 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 How do I activate them? I can turn them on from here. Uh -huh. You need to prime the three power cores first. Yeah. Glowing FBC generator cubes. Yep. Where do I pop them? Where do I pop them? Can you not, sir? Flare! Throw it! Oh god, he doesn't care about flares! Give me the bloody Jenny! Or not! No Jenny for me! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! Touch this! What does this do? Touch it! Get out, you bubble! Running, 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 no, 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 Oh cow, I love cows. Oh stop zooming! Do the thing! Do the thing! Do the thing! Do the thing! Get the fuck! Why are you meant to do this? I need more time. This looks like Dead by Daylight. Oh funny, you know. They made a whole game based on a character called um Alan Wake. Kidding. It's feeling very bad right now. I know, sir! I know, I'm trying to find out how the hell I'm supposed to do this with before you touch my butt. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. That might help me. What do I do? What do I do? Bonk. Oh, no, that don't bonk. Oh, I deserve that, to be fair. I really do. Um, see, do you just loop him? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find something that can just, like, <laughs> break his, um, his speed. But he keeps doing, like, zoomy zoom. Good to know that he's got a survivor thingy, Majiggy, going on. Was it the killer tactics? I don't know. I never played DVD. I say that I played it like once for an hour. Oh, I know, but I'm trying to figure out how to loop him so that I can like touch things, but I can't touch things if he's got. 
How do I touch things? Touch it. He's gonna go and get my face. I'm not a cow, I'm a lazy. He is fast. How do I do things? See, the torch do not. The torch do not. How the heck am I meant to do? Hello, duo. I'm a little bit stressed and a little bit vexed. How you doing, duo? What's up and down with you? I hope you're good. I'll put under a cow jail. Oh, no. Who's got, who's got a vote for a cow? That's so sad. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click, 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 click. No, why? Why? Every time it's like this much. I there must be a way to slow him down. I will. How the heck am I meant to do this? Stun him. How do I stun him? I want to bloody put my foot through your face, but you see me complaining? No, I mean, I am complaining. I'm a proper little whinge. I can't help it. I'm British, but, you know. I'm trying. Oh, Mindy Borvalen. Go in the bin. Absolute spuriel. Come on in. How the heck am I meant to... Get oh, I was going to grab that. I was going to grab that. I'm going to have to run through and grab it and see if it does something for me. I tried blending in with science. No, you know what? Maybe I should give him a did you know. Did you know? Let's see a cane. And Tomb Raider actually share the same engine. But not let all the legs of the game. It was actually Soul Reaver. Did you know that? To activate those cubes. Yeah, I know. I'm going to throw a flare in his face. That's what I'm going to do. A flare. No, that's not a flare. Flare, 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 flare. Oh. Oh. You bum hole. Go on. Do it while there's a flare on my butt. Why? You should not. You are darkness. You should not be able to be affected by... You need more time. And you know what I need? I need a... I don't know, actually, what I need. Uh, what am I meant to do? I'm just loop-de-looping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I just give him the liquor? Like, <laughs> the what? <laughs> the clicker? Should I just give him the clicker and just be like, you know what? Here you go. Just take over the world. I'm winded. I'm tired. I kind of just want to go home and have some pizza. I could do that. Why is that not an option? We have a game where that actually happens where it's like, actually, I'm tired of running around in circles away from the boss. Why if I just give him the thing? And then that's the end. That'd be a bit of a double whammy, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. How the heck am I meant to get into my infantry, too? Because I kind of need to get into my infantry to be able to, like... Those cubes will power the lights. Oh, I know, but how do I touch them without him shoving his hands in my throat? I'm so going to get smacked down and I'm going to have to do this again, because this is a bad one. Oh, I picked up a thingy. What's that? What's the thingy I picked up? Why did I turn off my torch? That's bad. Oh, no. For goodness sake, how am I meant to get in it? Oh, see, I can't access my infantry because I stopped. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, da, da, da. <sighs> I think we're we'll gonna have to accept the beach. Oh no! It's my story, you know what? You can have it! I don't want your bloody story! Do it, do it, do it, do it! He's stunned! He's stunned! He's stunned! He's stunned! Got ah. one! Shoot him in the ankles, got it. He's a little Victorian lady. Got it in the ankles, in the ankles. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Right, there's one big bad boy. One big bad boy, where is he? Whoa, 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 whoa you bloody sausage. Running, 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 Oh, bloody hell! Go, 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 Slam it! Slam it! Slam it, Saga! Slam it! Bloody boomy boom boom! God, DPT Peach! You're doing great. Yeah, I'm trying. Where the hell is he? I don't know. I think he sounds like he's over there. Oh, bloody No! No, my God, my health is so low. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, great. Now I've got a bloody limb. Wonderful. Now he's going to know where I am. Because I've got a limp, I cannot oh, do anything about that. Uh huh. Running, run, come on, Saga, bloody go for it, lady. Bam 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 dan 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 dan. <laughs> Smashed it! <laughs> oh my god! This is so chill! Itty bitty! Oh. Scratch was here. Oh my god. He'll be back. <sighs> what the fuck do we do now? Let me just accept death. 
<laughs> oh god. End of chapter. Jeez, I knew it! I knew it! Oh, thanks, Epic. I knew it! I knew Scratch and Alan were one. I had it, I just, it was too convenient for them to be separate people. Hello? Well, this one's dirty, in it? Okay. This is filthy! Okay, then. Ooh, that's too intense, I'm sweating. You're sweating, my pits are soaking. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're right. <laughs> so I gotta find Alan? I guess Alan's stuck in the... Well, Alan and Scratch are one. Alan and Scratch are one. So... We need to find a way to banish Scratch so that Alan is left alone without Scratch. They are one. I'm gonna head to Lurk with the post stream food. Enjoy your food! Enjoy your Lurk! And enjoy the deep peopling. See you around, Bloody Drongo again. Thank you, The Raid. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Again, everyone, check out Bloody Drongo. They're awesome. Is that Anna and Bonnie were Dark Mons and the Barbara Jaeger was the first game? Uh, not quite. We're having some major reality questions right now of is Alan actually Alan or is he actually Mr. Zane? Is he Zane or is he Alan? Or is he Scratch? Scratch is clearly an investment of the darkness that is now sort of part Alan and part Scratch. But is he also Zane? It's so many questions. Still not a lot of answers. Hello, Don Loved. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? This is... Oh! Dirty. <laughs> Scratch spin some bars. Scratch is over here like... <laughs> Oh, so good. For anyone who doesn't know, because you may be new around here, every time you finish a chapter, you get a sing-song section like this. It's almost like the end credit of an episode. Like an American TV show. And the music has something to do with the chapter that you've just played. It's unique to the, uh, the game world. So good. I loved it. That's why we always sit through it because it's just a nice little moment to decompress after I just feel like I actually did run round in circles. Uh, what if we're really a, cat, a dog or a cat? We're definitely not. We're definitely sort of human, but are we sort of in a simulation? I don't know. Because we also see Dr. Darling on the TV. For anyone who doesn't know, this is literally connected to Control. Control is in the universe of Alan Wake. They are like this. We keep seeing Dr. Darling on the TV. So there is some weird like wibbly wobbly dimensional things going on but then again at the end of control it seems like dr darling got stuck in the projector so is he trying to like break out the projector world to like is a slideshow projector to come back is that where he's breaking in from oh god it's so many questions oh he loves it is alan and zane or zane and alan who knows it's got maybe just taken alan basically alan's now infected with definitely infected by darkness scratch and alan are one but how is it any way we can bend one and keep the other? Okay, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I think the doctor is projecting himself into the world. He's definitely doing something or other, that's for sure. Darling is the best dancer. He is the best dancer. And also definitely rocks a pair of Y fronts. Well, not really Y fronts. They were more like boxes, white boxes, but you know, close enough. I want Alan to meet Darling for reasons. I think it'd be a great time. Anyway, next chapter. Do we play as Alan now? Oh, everyone's here. Because that's how we've been doing. We've been going like one chapter with one and then we flick back. I don't know though. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. Mm. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. Boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? Hmm. Can we play as Scratch? I don't know. I don't know. Um, thoughts on the situation? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. Obviously. <laughs> so was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. 
<laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? All right, then. You got any useful intel for me? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have bureau intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Hey, reading. Um, thanks. My favorite thing to do in a game. Go team. Woo, reading. Thanks. Yay. What about reality changing? The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. Okay, good. That's good. Ooh, he is a deputy. Do you want to... Do we get a badge? No, we don't get a badge. In fact, we're still FBI of sorts, I think. I don't know. I don't know, we were taking off the case, so I don't actually know. Like, I mean, are we still getting paid right now? Are we getting holiday pay? I don't know. I can't lose my family into this thing. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. Ex-wife. Hmm? Uh, I can't believe he fooled us. I definitely can. Scratch pretended to be wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. Mm -hmm. Had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. Mm. He's something, all right. You really forgot everything? You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. And the story is changing your memories. We'll go into the profile. Oh, for God's sake! Wanda! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Wanda! <laughs> My body left my like fit, my mind and body they separated for half a second. Bloody hell! You right, Winder? You okay? Hello? Hiya! <laughs> Makes sense now. Didn't scratch in the American Nightmares with a flannel shirt and then awake in the dark places wearing a suit. I mean, yes, it does. But at the same time, Scratch also wore a suit in the um in the video tapes. In the video tapes when he's on the TV. He also had a suit on there when he's partying and whatnot. So that it could be mute, you know? But I guess it's obvious everything's connected. Hello, Lega Privada. How you doing? What's up, Stat? How's it going? I think my heart stopped functioning for a second. You know what? It's, it, it pains me to say this, but at least it means we're living, right? <laughs> it means we're alive. I don't know. The story is changing your memories. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. Mm. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. It's I just true. need to change the story. It's true, though. What if it is the truth, but we think it's something else? You know what I mean? It's not a suit, it's a onesie. <sighs> this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. <sighs> That's funny. 
The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. Loki kind of would love to see people walking around in suits, but they just turned out to be onesies. It'd be like a bunch of babies. I mean, we could be dead hallucinating all this as spirits. It's true, we could. We could be totally, like, hallucinating right now. But that's not so fun. I mean, it could be fun, but that's not so fun. I got the dream wheel to, like, fantasize in. Uh, wake. Let's go and profile him in the dark, trapped in the darkness. It's really very much of the thing. Does Alan know he's scratched? Because he says... Said he was coming, just like how in the thing the doubles probably actually thought they were a real person, so they changed the theory I always had. I wonder. Possibly yes, but I don't know. Possibly retaining some sort of consciousness, for sure. Uh, wait, we're not talking about the thing. Alan, do I not go back to the thing? I am not playing that game again. <laughs> um, but Alan obviously knows when Scratch is near. So he's being like used as a puppet of some kind. It's curious. He's putting on Alan's face and confusion until he has the right time to just be like, hello, peekaboo. Casey's the before in ads for a couple of therapy. Trapped in the dark place. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? Oh yes, he's still there. The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Flannel. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Correction. It's a spiral. <laughs> I'm about to become a did you know her. Or is that actually Alan's body and scratching Alan different entities? It's so curious, isn't it? Like a physical ones. No, I definitely believe it's the vessel is the body. It's definitely Alan, but the dark place is a conjuring of consciousness from the depths of the cauldron lake. It's definitely a thing, I reckon. Good night, expert runner. Bye, tragic. Kick for you, bubblegum. Have a good one. Scratch. Oh, he's creepy, isn't he? What Scratch wants? Probably what everyone wants. Like every little girl dreams of. To take over the world with glitter, unicorns, and good vibes. Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. Oh. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Maybe we shouldn't profile Scratch. Maybe we shouldn't. I think we could do with not doing that. Maybe he just wants a donut. No, he wants a little light switch. The, the, the little thing that goes oopty boop. Oopty boop. Oh, is Ilamor out? You were the better Koskov. Much better than me. I feel so bad for him losing his brother, you know. I really do. It's alright, Ilamor. I'm so sorry you lost your brother. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. It's not. It definitely isn't. Salin um, killed him for his jacket. Yeah. He's very GTA, isn't he? Okay, but why is he like, hello? Hello? Don't know something about the shiny pants, right? So this is a nice jacket, it is. But it's no tunnel snake jacket, though, is it? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Everyone, I have to do. I'm going to go get a drink in the ad break. For those who are new here, they happen every hour on the hour, and they last for three minutes. This is the bare minimum I can get away on Twitch with, so that you don't get thrown into adverts around me. And whenever adverts happen, I use it as a chance to go and have a break, so I'm going to go for a pee. I'm going to go and get myself something to drink. So I implore you, go and do something that's good for you. Go and take your meds, take your vitamins. If you need a reminder, take those. This is your reminder. Take your pills. Go into the loo, do a poo, go and get a snack, get a drink. Do something that's good for your future self. I don't know. Are you missing out a bit of self-care? Brushing your hair? Doing your teeth, cleaning your desk. Do something that's good for you. It'll feel so much better for your future self. Do it. Do it. And you won't miss anything because I'd like to pause the gameplay whenever we do things like that too. I love your cute animations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Make them all myself. I'm well chopped with them, not going to lie. Tell snakes rule. 
low-key kind of want a tall snake jacket, to be honest with you. Um, ice cream. What flavor ice cream? What flavor ice cream? I'm just going to speak to yeah, um, Ilmo. And, and then we got one minute and 25 seconds until they roll. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? The cult of exactly. kind. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. Ah. And that's why they click the clicker in their hearts, like in their chest cavity. Just, I guess, send them out, you know, send them back to the dark place. Vanilla chocolate, nice. If you're familiar with ice cream brands, Vignette. Oh, that's proper posh like one. Nice, nice. I love ice cream. I really do. Oh, right, everyone. We've got Everest coming in about uh, 20 seconds. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to do a runner. <laughs> but please go and do some self care. Again, it's only going to last for three minutes. It's only three minutes. It's way less than television. And I thank you for sitting through them. Uh, consider it your ticket price for sitting here upon my streamer theater. But I'm going to go for a wee and get a drink. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Tell us do a rule. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn up the music. I'll see you guys after the ads, okay? See you in a moo. See you in a moo. Music.
Hello. Welcome back from the Advents, everyone. I hope they were not too long, Tings. I just discovered my washing is done. <laughs> my washing is done. And I need to put that on the line at some point. But I'll do that in the next ad break. That's what I'll do. And also, here's a fun one. For those who uh, were here last year, you'll know this. My sister adopted a dog from the dog's home, right? And her name's Bella. And today marks one year since she came home with my sister. <laughs> one year. So it's been one year gotcha day for my niece. So she's so cute. She's such a chaotic dog, though. So chaotic. <laughs> Just put the clothes in the chair. The sacred chair of clothes. Never. I refuse to have a clothes chair. So much so that as soon as the clothes are dry, they go put away immediately. I, I cannot stand having washing out. <laughs> it bugs me. It makes me feel all like, ugh, the world is heavy. Mm. Right. Let's go with it. Let's boogie. Why go after Alan Wake? You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Well, why? Scratch. Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger Scratch is the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. Oh, well, you'll soon learn. Um, if the accent does things for me, does it, does it, does it do the ticklies? Does it do the ticklies? Because I couldn't sound that one. Rasiel, did I ask how you're doing today? I don't know if I did. <clears throat> how long has the cult been operating? How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just the name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Mm -hmm. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. That is. That it is. The ticklies, yeah, the kind where it makes your tummy feel like this butterlies. But <laughs> I was gonna say butterflies. I'm so sorry, I'm Okay, what's Butterlees? I'm so Oh no, I should go back to bed, I think. I do. I really do. Right, let's go and read some of these documents. We know all about the cults in this corner. Not a cult. We are not a cult. No, not a cult. It's in the hashtag. Oogie's butt spots confirmed. Honestly, I feel like I hive mine with butt spots too much. What's that big here? Oh, it's a newspaper. Alright. Anything that was in Wake's, I say Wake Scratches space? No. Good thing they remodeled. Imagine if the cells were way bigger, like a number one. Utterly Butterlies. <laughs> it's like a kind of butter name in it. The Utterly Butterlies. But the tickles will do, I guess. Well, I was playing his uh, Rage Speed Horn. Oh. I like the butterflies better. Butterfleas? Not the butterflies. Imagine if butter got fleas. Ugh. I guess it needs to be a bit more protein in your butter, huh? Go on in, let's have a look. Mm, collect it. The cult didn't trust Wake. Or I is it Scratch? Why. I wonder why. Let's have a redo this one before we pick up the next one. They had to remodel, right? This is where the doctors to, uh, took Nana Girl. Wasn't it just one hallway, though? It was basically just one massive holding cell. If I remember rightly. It was, it was like, oversized. <laughs> they did a good remodel, to be fair. Uh, did the, uh, uh, the darkness destroy the space? I think they did. But I wouldn't be surprised. It's a good explanation of why some things have changed, let's be honest. Transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected paraulatillion. Location, Bright Falls WA. Interview, Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Um, Mr. Wake, you have been taken into the FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to go and ask if there is some... Anything, sorry, you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Uh, anything we may need to know. Alan, there isn't a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. It was to consume me. Consume everything. Yeah, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? Alan, it feeds on artists, on the art they create. It wants me because of my writing. But it can be any form of art, any artistic expression, music, painting, film, photography. You can feed on any of it. All of it. You have to believe me. Well, we are very well of this, uh, aware of this entity, Mr. Ake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. 
You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make notes of the redactor before submission. Let's get back on the track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? Alan. I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? Uh, Mr. Wake, you are in custody, pending charges for breaching a numerous federal violation codes. We're not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. Alan. You're not blah, 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 listening to me. We're listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Blah, blah, you. Let me blah, blah out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. The interview was terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Artists. Is Alice his wife? Because, like, Scratch is infecting Alan, right? What if... Because whenever we see footage of um, Alice in her apartment in the dark place... There is a light in the background flickering constantly when she's talking. It goes on and off quite frequently. I'm now concerned about Alice's safety. If she's not also infected with some sort of, well, darkness that she's brought to New York with her after she got out of the lake. Because she used to be in the lake herself. She used to be in the dark place. Now I'm kind of worried about her. <laughs> Does it eat AI artists? I bet it doesn't. I bet it doesn't. Wake isn't the first person the dark presence disguised itself it's as. Consuming all the media. Maybe it's just a little... Me oh, I would love social media, actually, wouldn't it? It'd eat all the bad things up. I know, it's moist and delicious. What's up with Stan? How's it going? Flickering lights! It's it's a thing. Mm. Report supplement. I always thought as it's Alan present in the dark place, being um, confused uh, from a scratch, like it's being a threshold. Does he always end up back at that place? At her apartment? I don't know. Is Alice really Mrs. Scratch? Maybe she is Mrs. Scratch. Because Scratch has been trying to get at her. Report supplement. Read the shadow. Summary. Through the extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE 35, additional details regarding the shadow AO10 have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE. Report seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Lane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in the cauldron lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Research is still going as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are... A. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangent, tan, tangent involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained definition needed within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. See file 38, 45, 3, 1873 for full reports. And then we got this one over here. Oh, that's a lot of reading. The Go lake on. is a gateway to the dark place. Duh! Saga, do you not keep up with the law we've been reading everywhere? I swear to goodness, I'm going to have to smack her ankles. Deployment order. Urgent. Situation. At approximately 1900 hours, on 13 September 2023, September readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a no threshold of what researchers theorize is the origin dimension of a A040. The shadow passed acceptable limits. Attempts to contact the FPC research facility, WA03, code name the lake has, were unsuccessful. On-site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with the immediate effect. Lead Agent K Estevez will mobile investigation unit beta from the remote operation site at Redacted. All available shadow-specific equipment, lots 411B, have been approved for use in the field. Objectives. To confirm an active event, if an A active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neuralize, neuralize, neutralize the source. If no event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake hazard staff. Additional information. Relevant operations in the area include the cult of the tree, redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. And then we got this what one over here. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Well, what do you think it sounds like? <laughs> Item classification request uh, hashtag 194F. He's one of the threshold kids, clearly. 
Uh, summary of findings. Description power utility. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, which is part severed of a cord still attached. G Saga, play control. I know, she needs to get out. Well, actually, she needs to stay in more. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality. The change is being based on redacted when used by a capable power utility. Um, passing this item's effect from that of the Cauldron Lake threshold responsible for recurring AWEs in the area is difficult because the only reported use of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa. And there is no connection whatsoever. Recorded material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a redacted have revealed that Alan Wake's eliminated Barbara ya Jagger, Jagger, sorry, likely a physical manifestation of redacted, when turning the light switch into its jet and flicking the switch. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fic fun bleh, 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 fictional writing into reality. See you file AWE 35. However, it is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion. The light switch is possible double OP, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on second-hand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. Mm. Let's pop that into the mine pads before I go and uh, have a look at the uh, profiles. Are we going to go to the lake house? Maybe? I don't think so. We need to pop that in bright balls. Nice. Let's go and do some, um, let's see. Call to the tree. I've got some more things about this. Ill's never heard of Scratch. Where do I put that? Where do I put that? I don't even know. Mm. There? Thanks, Saga. Oh, oh, sorry. Why do they want to kill Wake? Not there. Cold working with or for someone? There we go. Double OP backwards is poo. Thank you for that riveting bit of information. <laughs> Ilmo. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, they want to kill Wake because he scratched, but they don't know he scratched, even though we know he scratched. Call the tree, target people already corrupted by the darkness. Mm, by here? Nope. By there. No. Uh, boop. Nope. Where did I pop it? Where did I pop it? Gold, gold. Ah, there we are. <laughs> and the case is closed. Another the one smashed. The tree is just the Cascella brothers' mm -hmm. slightly misguided solution to the Taken problem. But they were helping, even though it may not seem like we, we, he was helping. Which was meant to destroy Taken, not create them. Do, 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 do. Oop. <sighs> Oop. There we are. Over there. Might as well finish it off. And the opposite of a para idealist. <laughs> oh no. Silly butts. Bunch of silly butts. <laughs> I nearly spilled that everywhere. Oh gosh. Is there anything there? Oh, there is a little bit. Oh, oh. I'm gonna use a little corner bit of the blanket. Yeah. No spillages. No spillages. You guys saw nothing. Everything is fine. Everything is lovely. Everything's good. <laughs> oh, it is a Sunday. Everything's gone all over the place. Especially who uses parachutes. It is actually. How do you know? FBC. Uh, ba -da -dum. Right. It may not be a fully closed case, but we basically closed it. Facts versus fact. Um, fiction. KC. KC go a dub a dub. And we close another case. I know what is real and what end? isn't. A megalomaniac writer can't make me doubt that. I have more family than I even knew. And I need to protect them all. Mm -hmm. It's another closed case, everyone. We gotta be getting close to the end. Investigating the There's story's no lies way. led me to a family I didn't know I had. Or was finding them part of the story, too. Maybe it doesn't matter. It's your backstory. Every writer loves to go a bit too in-depth about backstories. Uh, wake in the clicker. <sighs> mm -hmm. I do love it when they do all this, you know. I do. <laughs> uh, how you doing, BRB, though? What's up with with you? Oh, because you barely had that blanket a year, and every scene seems to spill things on it. <laughs> do I need to get you a new one? No, it's okay. I'll just wash it. I'm just a very accident-prone person. 
I don't know why, but I am. Oh, look at all those clues. Well, yeah, I am Scooby-Doo, and I. Speaking of megalomaniac writers, I have arrived. Hello. Hello, wait, two tutorial almost finished. Hell yeah. FPC file of dark presents. That can go. Dark presents here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wake is trapped in the dark place. Put that down there. Wake is trapped in the dark place. Yeah, we know. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Yeah, we know. Come on, Saga, keep up. Can you see the thing that attacked Casey had Wake's face? There was never any Wake. It scratched the entire time. Boop. Uh, Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake, the clicker. Boop. Mm -hmm. I need to know what information I can still trust. Oh, I don't know. FPC capabilities of the light switch over here. Uh, Wake has been contacting me from the dark place. Put that by where is Wake. There we are. And another one for Cauldron Lake at the bottom there. How to rescue Wake? We're gonna have to go diving. That'd be sick. Suddenly Subnautica. Oh, I still haven't played Subnautica, actually. I should one day. It's a whole day of just giving it a go. I want a remedy to do a prequel now. Either to Tor and Odin fighting the Dark Presence in the epic fight you're talking about. Or Tom and Zane and Barb and Sidious Orange Story. It was up to me, but um, Tor and Odin's online. This energy seems cooler. That'd be so cool. But it's also like, I don't know. Wouldn't it be cool to be somewhere, like, I don't know. As much as I'd love to explore the backstories of some more characters, another part of me would think it would be even cooler if it was like a background thing going on. And you're playing as a different character just trying to get through it and there's something else mad, like, you know, mad going on. Another AWE or something, you know? That'd be cool. Like, I'd, oh, see, that's what I liked about Control is that, and same with this, it's just seeing other characters from other games kind of intermingling. I think another one where it's sort of that, but also not. Like, the door. Does he feature in any other Remedy games? I bet he does. I bet he does. Because I haven't played all of the Remedy games yet. I would like to. But I would love to explore that a bit more. Seeing Alan Wake 3. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. FPC file on the clicker. Click, 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 click. There. Hmm. Yeah. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. He's referencing control. I am aware. I am aware. The dark present feeds on the artists and the art they produce. Oh, nope, not there. Where do I pop you? Over here? <sighs> what do you mean? It clearly is. How does it destroy things? Is it in the dark presence? It is in the dark presence. Okay. FC powerful light arrays due to the taken. Light and the dark presence. Sure. Does that reveal The dark more? presence is vulnerable against bright light. Yep. At least that makes sense. And I still can't do these. And is that everything? That is everything. Okay, let's go into the profiling. Nice, nice, nice. Draw has a parallel in Quantum Break. Oh, I need to play Quantum Break. I really do. At some point, we'll carry on with uh, exploring some more Remedy. Maybe around the same time that I do Max Painmus. Door has a parallel. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Remember when you got the service weapon in control? Said it's known as Yonis, Sword and Stone, and a few other weapons. Do you think Tor and Odin, maybe they had that in their possession? I bet they did. I bet they did. It's, it's bound to be right. Or maybe even Saga's mother. Maybe. Because we still don't know. Like, she clearly wanted to protect Saga from her mind palace. Maybe Saga's mum saw something more than just Tor and Odin. You know what I mean? We're still likely for some DLC as well. That is true. Later this year, right? We're going to get some DLC. Remedy are planning on a multiplayer spin-off a Game of Control. I have heard. I don't know how I feel about that. A part of me is like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. But at the same time, <sighs> multiplayer. I don't have the time to play games with people. <gasps> Hello, Ives. How you doing? What's done? How's it going? Tor. <clears throat> Trust in Wake. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker 
to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the Clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Would you um, definitely prefer control um, co-op? It would be nice, but I would love it if it was more optional. If you know what I mean. Well done, you 20 stream streak gamers. GG. Congratulations. Look at Scalas. Kill and taken. Ilmo said the cult kills taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the taken. We're on the same side. Mm-hmm. And Nightingale came back. If the cult is killing taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party, invitation only. Wrong time, wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Happy 11th anniversary to the cult. <laughs> Gonna have to get the balloons in. And that's it, right? Nothing else? I'm just going to double check that I didn't pick up any clues from that. Well, this was three had cop, and I felt ruined a bit, so I'm not sure it can be done well. Yeah, but that was years ago. Years ago. You can't judge a completely different franchise of how it was done then. And same with through, like, a completely different team of how they might activate it in a different way, you know? Can't go that way, because otherwise, nothing will ever be good. Elmore. Elmore. Wait, what was it going on with Elmore? Uh, cult ritual would have stopped him, but that was interrupted. Writing Father Richard? Nope. Yep. Um, Nightingale only victim? Yeah. Sorted. Anything else? The story. I still can't put these down. Those are still over later. Um, yeah, it will depend on how they do. I suspect it may be action shooter. I, I'm going to assume it's just going to be... It's going to sound awful. A throwaway multiplayer. Just shoot all the hiss vibes, you know? I'm sure there'll be lore and stuff, but I just... Ugh. I'm not expecting much out of it, if you know what I mean. It's just not my thing. Not my thing. Okie dokie. Wait, so was Nightingale taken when you played as him? Or was he coming out of the lake as a non-taken? Or was he taken the whole time? He was definitely taken. He was going to become taken. He was just still waking up. I think. That's how I read that. Taken the whole time. Slowly waking up. Hand fully woken from the darkness. Like a baby that's been born. But has yet to learn how to take their steps, you know? Get the loot that's out here, and then I guess we'll adventure onwards. Yes, give me the arrow. Thank you. Anything else out here that I can take? Hmm. Not particularly that I can see, and nothing else seems to be glowing at me. Fair enough. Clearly, that's to try and take Alan back. Oh, you over there. I missed you. What's in you? Anything good? Nice, some more bullets and stuff. Right, let's do some uh, reloading. Can I reload, please? Oh, I can't. Well, I do need to change out my quick slot because I don't have that gun in my inventory right now. Yeah, that's good. I should probably uh, heal up a little bit, though. Can I put them my quick slot over here? Let's do some healing. Can I, can I please heal? I'm not allowed to heal. Okay, then, never mind. That sounds like a great way to cut out two-thirds of the story. I don't know. I mean, like, shooters are cool and all, but I just don't have the time or tolerance right now. <laughs> uh, episode of control series of low-level employees dealing with new active AWEs. I'm just saying that would be so much better. Or if you just, like, happen to be a normal person, just been like, well, poop, getting lost in the corridors forever and exploring. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah, because he did react a bit to the light shining on him. He did, yes. He was too OP, I'm guessing. He was, like, stronger vision of taking maybe a direct avatar of the Dark Presence, like Scratch or Barbara or Cynthia. Well, obviously. <laughs> of course. I reckon all Taken are quite equally strong, but because Nightingale is quite relevant in the story, prior, um, like, in the prior games, that's why he's obviously going to be stronger, is because he was quite a major character in the stories, just like everyone else. 
Whereas everyone else is a throwaway. They're gonna be quick to take down because obviously the writers don't get to spend too long writing about every single presence of Taken you're going against. Those are just nameless, faceless hordes. He ain't gonna like write about all their backstories and stuff and how strong they are. He's obviously gonna focus on the ones with names. In it. What are you all doing out here? Are you part of the cult? What are you all doing? Any you are, aren't you? you? Know like emotionals about? Who knows? Oh, no. If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Coscula brothers locked up in there. Mm. I saw them go in earlier. Mm. Oh dear. Probably got them for what happened to poor Mocha the most. Mm. Not quite. <laughs> Made mistake when I warm. Ugh, why would you do that? You're gonna risk your game return if you do that. You're right, Biss. I'm going back to the lodge, I think. I think is where I'm going. I reckon we must have deserved scratch. Let's try and make friends. I hear it's very forgiving. Yeah, no. He definitely doesn't seem like my kind of friend. Gets really up in your face, and I'm not keen on people who do that. Had to go shopping. Viz been eating non-stop since coming home. Good! Good. Well, okay. Necessary evil, then. Necessary evil. Well, at least we've got food now. There's nothing there. Just... There's darkness. It's empty. Oh. Did you find your friend? Uh... I think you may be right. Uh-huh. Might have been a mistake to come here. Hmm. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Fuck, Riley. This is so messed up. Mm. I know. I'm sorry. Hey. Uh. It's not your fault. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the wrong time to go for a holiday, in it. Uh, got a jet, Oakland. Take care, love you people. Bye, Obrin. Have a lovely rest of your day. May the week ahead be wonderful. Speak to you soon, okay? Kick butt chew, bubble gum. See you around. Have a good one. Do, 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 do. Anything else in here? Just double checking the surroundings because you never know. You never know. Nothing in here. Things may change. Things are always changing. The door banging lady's gone. Nothing else in here. Good. And then I guess I'll jump in the puddle. Can I open this now? I can't get through this. But still can't get through there. I'm so curious what's beyond there. I wonder if I can enter it from outside. I'm ju I mean, I know I said I was going to focus on main quest. I know I said I was going to focus on main quest, but... I'm also like, but what if, what if I can enter it from the window? I'm going to have a look. From the window. It's the wall. Hmm. Actually. Doesn't look like there's anything in there really at all for me. It's a really glare. Okay, never mind. Uh, ditch that. <laughs> hydration, I can tell you right now, I do not need to hydrate. If anybody wants to hydrate, go and have a little hydration. Do it. It's good for you. Hello, Raven. How you doing? Hope you're good. Right, let's go into the dark place. I think it's where we're going to go next. Hey, good to hear you. How about you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. One awful holiday. I lost my luggage, my passport's out of date, and the resort is being consumed by a darkness. Good job, I have insurance. Definitely make sure you got insurance. Let's do a manual save. I like when it goes, yesterday was the last time you saved. like, oh, God. Oh, that was terrible. There you go, Kurt. I hope you're good at the shadows. Right. Let's go back to Alan, shall we? And then we'll carry on with Saga. <laughs> I wonder where we're going to go next. Mark! Hello! Hi, Mark. I hope you're good at the shadows. Don't feel like you have to say hello, but it's nice to see you. Oh, Mark, you'll love this. You'll love this. I have a new button. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> right. We need to go back to the apartment and do things. <laughs> I can now bully back Mark. I'm very happy. Out of the way, shadow people. I'm going to go back to the apartment and see what Alice is at. Oh, the phone. The phone was ringing again. Hello? Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. 
Hello? Is it gonna be Scratch? Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? Oh. Oh, well, great. Niagara, oh, hello. How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I'd follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photo from the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. Talk I'd bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Here? Through the talk show? Between the door? Is it Bob? No, it's not Bob. No. No, I wish it was. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Ah, you junk! How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going with you? Happy Sunday. I hear that, Alan. <laughs> Future Alan, please. Future Alan, no spoilers. I got a bunch of spoilers. I gotta save the world by doing stuff. Stuff and do. Anything on TV? Nothing on TV. Yoink! There should be a shoebox down here, huh? In the basement. Since this week, the bidet pressure. Oh, no. Not the B day pressure. Some time paradox stuff here. We're clearly skipping ahead of a couple of pages to go back a couple of pages, then insert a new page somewhere in the story. It's like you um you pick up your book, your bookmark goes. So you uh, you think you're on the page that you last left off and you read half of it and go, oh wait, no, and you flick back to go back to where you are. That's literally what's just happened. Happy Sunday, Ooks and chat. I was in Manchester last night. To see a super amazing soul band. Had such a great night. I really, really want to move back there. Ah, oh, maybe one day. I'm glad you had fun. What was the band? Are we allowed to know their name? Glad to hire you had a good time though. That's good. It's good to get out in a bit in a while. Well done, you three seems great. Well, Raven. Well done. Besides himself for his own writing and hangs up on himself. That's the artist's way, don't you know? We are always our worst critic. Oh, it's raining in here. Oh, no, it's not. It's just taking a little while to render. Um, Black Boomers. And yes, I intend to move back in three years' time. Nice! I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank <laughs> Is it down here? Is it going to be in a shoebox down here? Maybe. I don't know. Reminds me of reading those um, fighting fantasy books. One thing on the previous page so I could go back when I died. <gasps> those choose own your own adventure. Yes. Yes. I love the choose your own adventure books. Because we can see where it should be and the other see where it could be. It's so confusing. How you doing, Penguin? How's it going? How's it going? Alright. Harry Garrett show. Who's Harry Garrett? Don't know. But where? Oh, hello. Door. That was a fun loop de loop. Very fun loop de loop. The Harry Garrett show. Hmm. Where is the shoe box? They said underneath the talk show. We're definitely in the talk show basement. The song still slaps. <laughs> it's a it's a fun one. Definitely a fun one. Definitely a thigh slapper. Can we see what it should be? Oh, yeah. I'm just doing the floaty in the place today. I feel that. You you have my permission, even though you don't need my permission, but you have my permission to be in the floaty place. Definitely in the floaty place. I feel like I'm in a pool, laying on my back, just staring at the ceiling and just floating aimlessly. Mm. All right. Shoe box. Shoe box. Before I do the switchy switch. Still no shoebox. Maybe I'll be in there. Yoink. Nice. Shoebox. Alice's photos. Nice. I recognize the style. Oh, 
Okay. Easy. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. Hmm. I need to get them to the plaza. That we do. I don't know why. Something about... Oh, there's darkness here. Am I surprised? Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Do, 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 do. No corporal foam? It's all good. You don't have to be a physical body today. You can just be an entity! I promise I won't fly. Uh, no, um. Get out of it. Oh, he's one to shoot. Uh-huh. Pick uh, No. Pick up. Yes. Do the thing. There we are. Good. Good. Reload. Nice. Nice. Labrador, how you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going with you? Same with you, Scooter. I don't know if I even asked you today. How you doing? I hope you're good. Do, 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 do. This was the way, right? Yeah, there was. Cool, right to the plaza. From the window to the wall, back to the plaza I go. Nice. Okay. Okay. Future island, this better be worth it. I had the photos now. Mm -hmm. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. Don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. Probably shouldn't listen to my future self, because my future self is a bit of an unreliable narrator. But I guess we'll give it a go. Why not? Do, 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 do. Ah! My statue. In the shoebox. Please tell me I did not just doom the world. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Am I being sent out of the puddle? Trail of a what? I can go in Parliament Tower now, right? What's going on? Saga. What? Why am I back a saga? Book save? No. It's not end of a chapter yet. This plan makes sense if we assume Alan's writing the script of uh, the caster's point and clicking. <laughs> I was wondering how that would play out. I did it in a different order. Oh. Oh. So many achievements. Those achievement letters are so out place. They really are. It's like, do, do, do. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're on a spinny warpy thing? Mmm. Um. You ain't the boss of me. I'm going back in. I want to go to the tower. That's what's my intention. I want to go to the tower, please. You can't just go, oh yeah, put the pictures in the box and go, oh, nothing for you. I did what it told me to do. And I want to see what's going on in the tower now. I want to make sure Alice is okay. Because I think... I don't know. I'm worried about her. Hiya, Alan. Right. Suck my toe, Saga. I'm going to the apartment block now. Good. I've been wondering how this game plays out if you um, do all Saga and all Alan and vice versa. It's closed. Oh. No. The building was condemned. Closed up. Something was wrong. Something was missing. I had to get inside. Ah! Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut your mouth. What? Why can't I get in? Yeah, 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 yeah. How am I meant to get into the tower now? Huh? Oh no. I assume we bad guys. Oh, out of it, lad. Boy. Whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Oh, butts. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can never see what I'm doing when these things happen. It's just instant panic. Oh, reload. Hey! Oh, that's it. Pop it. Suck my toe, mates. Not today. Not ever. Not right now. How do you get in that tower? How do I get in? Where am I missing? Oh, suck a toe, mates! What's going on? Hey, Kale! Have you found the knights yet? Yes, I have found the knights. And the never-ending knight. How you doing, Kale? What's up with with you? I hope you're good. Can I enter from over here? No, I'm just gonna go back to the cinema if I go this way, aren't I? Maybe? Oh, whoopsie daisy. How do I get in the tower? Or is this it? Am I just not allowed to enter again? Is that a... It is a... That's another echo. Did I watch this? They say something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. Where am I going? What do I do? How do I get into the Palmer Tower? Why am I actually meant to be Saga now? And there's nothing I can do in this world. But if it didn't want me to be in here, it would just flip me back out. Right? Hey, Mr. Did we watch the entire video of the night last night? Yes, we did. Watch the entire thing. Yesterday's vlog will be up on Monday. If you wanted to hunt it out. But yeah, sat through the entire thing. It was so good. Obviously, I sat through the entire thing. Like, I couldn't do that. I'm a nosy Parker. I spot something, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Movie time, it was so good, it was nice. Because I did wonder if we were going to watch the night this night. So I was well chuffed. Well chuffed we got to watch it. Do, 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 do. Maybe it's going to be back here. Oh, no. Oh, definitely not. Not allowed over there. How am I missing into Parliament Tower then? Or am I just not allowed now? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I know I know I know I know I know Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should read this. Oh, shush your gums. What am I missing? What am I missing? I don't know. I'm not allowed in. Is there another thing on the plot board, maybe? I don't think so. No. No new plots. Huh. Hello, ghoul. How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? Hope you're good. I uh, love that shop. It's so good. What does your quest log say when you pull up infantry? Gain entry to Parliament Tower. Progress Saga story. What did you can't tell me what to do. Right, I guess we're going to have to continue Saga's story, I suppose. Even though I want to get my bloody foot through that door. But fine. You know what they should have done, really? If they were like, oh no, you need to do Saga's bit. They probably should have just made you spit back out. Be like, no, you can't do anything here. Can't do anything here. Spit you back out. Plit. Go back. Fine then. Saga it is. Game says no. You haven't spent enough time with Saga recently. Fine then. I spent way too much time testing the borders like that. It's neat. It's cool. It's a cool way to be like, no, 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 no. Not allowed there. I did that a couple times for Saga, where she's like, actually, no, I don't want to go over there. I was like, oh, okay. Didn't realize that. Sorry, Missy. My bad. Oh, just had the biggest rage attack I've had since I was a teenager. I'll probably be off my socials for a while. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that you had a rage attack. Send you all the spoons and things and stuff. Hope you find the rest you need to rebalance your spoons and your tools in your box. Thinking of you, it's nothing worse than when you have an attack of any kind. I hope you're able to re-find yourself. 
Remember, it's all good to just sit down and like try and reground to where you need to be and what you need to do, you know? Take care of you, okay? So what saga's bloody... Estevez about the clicker. Okay. I just ran my room and screamed at my mom for two uh, hours. Oh. I think you may be right. These things happen. As someone who deals with... Oh, hello. Sorry. As someone who deals with um, autistic meltdowns once in a blue moon... I mean, like, they used to happen really frequently. I haven't had one in a hot minute. I know what it's like to suddenly feel like you have no control and your body just is piloted by your mind and there's nothing... Like, you're screaming internally, but there's nothing you can do to stop the actions that are coming through. It's like you always get infected by a virus and then suddenly you just... You, you just know you. It sucks. It really sucks. I'm sending you all the spoons, okay? Do what you gotta do. It just, it, it's okay. You're fine. Just, just, I, I don't know what to suggest because I don't deal with BPD. But if it's just like any sort of similarities whatsoever from what I deal with when those things happen, just have a breather. Ground yourself. Regather yourself, you know? It doesn't take uh, any part of you out of being you being you, you know? These things can, can often happen and it's uncontrollable. Just one of those things that make you feel a bit poopy, you know. Statistic as well. Ah. Then you know, then you know the no knows. I legit want to stop, but my brain's like, nah, mm, it's like a, you get blinders on and there's nothing you can do. It sucks. It sucks because then you have to deal with all the aftermath and then so is everyone, anyone else who has happened to be in your path. It sucks. It really does suck. I hope uh, you're able to speak to your mom and resettle this, like the dust in the air a little bit and. Take it as an opportunity to, like, make it so that it's... Your room feels like a fresh restart, you know? You got this. I believe in you. I really do. Remember, it's always a new day to kick a butt. And if today sucks, there's always tomorrow. You know? Let's try and make it even better than today. It's like you get possessed. It sucks. It's horrible. <laughs> Hello, Kulk! I did not hit her. I did not! Oh, hi, Oki. Hi, Kulk. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? We're gonna listen to this a quick second in the manuscript. And then we're going to carry on exploring. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalin knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalis sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Ah, uh, how you doing, Zig? What's up with Stan? How's it going? I'll be okay though. I'm just bummed out because of my socials. You bummed out? Take a break. It's okay to take breaks. Do what you gotta do to take care of your future self and your current self. I believe in you. I really do. And I'm just saying that just because. I seriously do. I believe in you. Take a breather. I get it. Being burnt out sucks because it feels like you're just suddenly bottling and it's all up here. But you need to be out, like, be gone in the sink. You got this. Got this. I wonder if I can open this. No. Can I open this? No. <laughs> um, hello, Papa Rap. I don't know if I said hello to you today. How you doing, Papa Rap? As guys up in the ground as well. Farting. Oh dear. Ooh. You in the bog of eternal stench, perhaps? I'm fine. How about you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. I slept like a log last night. Like a log. An actual log. I didn't know what a log felt like until last night. But well, this was the worst time for confetti, which is funny to me. <laughs> yeah, everything feels like poo. <laughs> well, it just means it's confetti of starting anew, yeah? Feels like poo starts anew. Ah! I don't know what I was... Ah! <laughs> Jazz hands! I slept like a squirrel last night. Oh, cute! I love the way that squirrels sleep. They're so funny. I let smash! Ugh. 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 <laughs> Um, I'm doing good. I got my rum coke in front of the hell divers who loading up. Sauna heating and Wi-Fi at friend's place. So life's good. Nice. Nice. Gonna take a chill then, is it? What is this? You make, literally make my eyelids smash. Pretty much. And I've been lurking most of the time. So good. Good. I feel bad for a second. Then I was gonna be like, oh no, I'm a terrible person. I didn't say hello. 
I did say hello now. Now I don't feel so bad. Know anything about the clicker? Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item. Maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. Mm. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Up oh, to the mine palace. Plan, plan, plan. That's... Know what? I'll take it. Good. Because that's the thing I can give. Uh, Call to the tree. Another one for that. Why would the cult call someone taken by the... Boop. Yep. If there's a close case, I might as well just keep popping the clues on there. Then we've got the story. Oh, wait, yeah, the story, blah, blah, blah. Keeps bloody tricking me. Wake and the clicker. SFS believes the FBC had a red clicker. Over there. The clicker can fix this. Nice. But I can't use it without Wake. Yeah. But we can. Tor knows about this stuff. Yeah. Oh, I just started getting a clue. Really? Yeah, I'm totally getting a clue. <gasps> oh. oh, that's giving me a clue. Yeah, 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 I've got a raging clue right now. Such a butt sick! Such a butt! You gave my heart a start. <laughs> Jesus! Bumhole, a clue, mm, a raging clue. A double OP is an object of power. Is poo then power of object? It is, it is. You know, fun fact about double OP, my best friend, we were coming up with nicknames for each other when we were in school and and uh, double OP became her nickname because she, she loved penguins so much so that we would joke that, like this was around the time when I was like a hardcore furry, you know, I had a persona and everything. I used to hang out in Second Life in my persona. And, um, so we came up with this thing that she was a penguin in disguise. So like 007, we just called it double OP as in like zero zero penguin. So whenever I keep saying double OP, I don't think of objects of power at all. I just think of <laughs> a penguin in disguise. <laughs> it's really weird saying that word in these games because it's really tripping me out of it. Hello, not dead. Are you doing what's up with that? So you just need to reboot the heart. You do. You just need to give it a good old little shake. You know, look at clues the same thanks to that scene. So good. Tor! Rescuing Wake. How do we rescue him? Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? Ugh. We live and breathe rock and roll. Yeah, from the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake. <laughs> Or make it creep into reality. Cuck, no. Bowo, just but if for the holder months, of the clicker pee, believes pee, in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might have to re-listen to that one because I was distracted by pee pee poo poo. Cole, Queen, I join the Thank you very much, Lee Cole. You silly goose, you. Hope you're good. Thank you for 20 months. Thank you, thank you. So she was Batman villain in disguise. No, she was just a normal penguin. Just a normal penguin. <laughs> Friends, nickname was WP. Mine was simply Burnout Squash. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Having a ride on a struggle bus, how are you? I'm good. Tired. Well, not tired. I slept like a log. But I'm good otherwise. I'm good. I hope you feel better soon, though. But my nickname was just Ben. Nice. We're going to get a concert from Brothers. I would mind another concert, I'm not gonna lie. We damn well better. But the beep beep pooest and the poop poop pooest. I don't know why the hell my dad called me a butternut squatch. I think it's cute. It's better than what my friend's nickname was. Um, her father called her um, her and her sister stink and smell. <laughs> stink and smell. I don't know which one I would prefer to be honest with you. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, adverts are new, coming up very, 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 very much shortly. Short, 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 you can tell I need a wee. My brain is starting to be filled up with urine. Um, I'm gonna be running up to the loo during the ad break, but the adverts will be coming up in about 1 minute 30 seconds, they have it every hour, and then also 3 minutes. So this is my reminder to you, please go and take your meds, take your vitamins, they are, like, do the thing. Do the thing, I'm not your mum. I won't ground you if you don't. You, kn you know what'll happen if you don't. Uh, I'm not here to boss you around, but I'm just reminding for those who want to be reminded by the meds and bits. Take them. Go get a drink. Get a snack. 
Go to the loo. I'm going to go for an absolute long week. I need to put my washing on the line. So if you need to go and do some, uh, like, chores, this is your, like, thing to do it. Go and try and smash a chore as quick as you can during the ad breaks. Do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and go for a wee. I'm going to try and put as much washing on the line as possible during the ads. So there you guys go. Do some chores. Join me. It's good. Do some adulting. It sucks to adult, but it's also kind of good for your future self. I think I'd rather smell because think could be a code um, for booty hole. Ooh. Poo -poo. Poo -poo. <laughs> what was that? Shark tank? Why were they talking about pee pee poo poo? We have a very important question. Does the torso have his squeaky hammer from Adam Wick 1? I don't know. I haven't seen the squeaky thing. But I have heard that he's had a real ha um, hammer. Anyway, 23 seconds until the adverts go on. So I'm going to turn off the music of the game. I'm going to leave you with Tor's face. I'm going to turn up some music, and I'll see you guys in a second, all right? See you in a second. It's wing on the floor closed. I, 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 I hear some music. I'll be right back. I am not doing a wing on the clothesline. I'll be back. See you in a second. Enjoy the ads, all right? All right. See you in the moo. did everything I need to do. The washing is on the line. There's so many socks. So many socks. Oh, and everything. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Cheesy pasta, what are you gonna put on your pasta? That was a dirty song, I agree. I was in the other room like, what is that? What is that? That is filthy, that is. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make that my new hobby. Wing on the clothesline, why not? New hobby for you. Right, what was it? I'm gonna have to re-listen to this. I forgot what you said. <laughs> Give me two seconds to listen to this and we'll crack on. Oh, no. There How is. do I get him out? Oh. We live okay. and breathe rock, rock and, roll. and roll. Yes. How do we save from the, the day? the silence of screams. Yes. From the fever of dreams. Yes. The clicker can amp up other works of art. Uh -huh. Not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. Mm -hmm. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Right. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Ah. Okay, so we need to make something of arty fartiness then, huh? All right then. Oh, well, we're gonna have a chat with Casey, I guess. Some Parmesan cheese sauce with a bunch of pepper and garlic. Nice. Sounds good, actually. <laughs> Sounds really good. <laughs> Turns out Cole was fine taken. So the cold of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. Hmm. I can't wait to put this case behind us. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. A coffee. Coffee. Written in, by the way, Kulk. I wrote in a scary teapot. Um, is that kind of arty farty type of person? I don't know. I guess we could draw it through the art of stick men. Right? You need something arty? Is going to drop a miss? Oh, don't do that. Imagine my drawings came into real life. I think it'd be a bit wibbly wobbly. Um, hi Mizuki, how are you? I'm good for Pax. How are you? I hope you're good. Are you saying Max Payne? No, his name's Alec Casey. You can't say Max Payne. He's a different, well, same thing, but different rights. <clears throat> the town still needs you, friend. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Ilmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. Good. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Ilmo. Okay, good talk. So I need to go over to the retirement house? I guess we do. We need to go to the retirement house and speak to Tora and Odin there. Because we need to do something arty farty to bring Alan back. Come up with a new plan. Yeah. Yeah. That definitely seems like part of the plan. If his um, drawings came into real life, poor shark. Oh, imagine that poor shark coming to life. That'd be so sad. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Ooh. Did you rest well at least? Or are you gonna go for a nap? You see dark present stick figures and child doodles? That'd be horrifying. Imagine the dark present just a load of angry stick men. I need that mod. <laughs> we need Alan awake. I mean, he sort of is and sort of isn't, depending how much you've been following along the storyline. <laughs> I know, let's have some kick booty rock content, fireworks and everything. Hell yeah. You know who we need? Baza. That's who we need. Uh, look, up hit the sky. Is it a crow? Is it a raven? No, it's a kid. <laughs> Thank you, 69 Beauties. You smell me name to your book of Beauties. <laughs> Nuts. Thank you, music man. I appreciate you. Poo -doo -doo. I really get a good night's sleep. Same, to be honest with you. I think that's normal. Not to demiss. But I do think it's normal to have bad sleep most of the time. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Eight, nine, one. Boop, boop. Here you go. Your name's over there. 
Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Uki, it's a cookie. Where? Where's a cookie? I love cookies. It's what that guy said. What guy said cookie? Who? I've been saying that for um for a while now. I do kind of like it. Thanks, Saga. Lie. Use the case board to make sense of it. You want me to go back to the case board? Again? Oh, I guess we are. Boop. I just you wake. We gotta go to the thingy majiggy, right? <laughs> this is such good stick men. Mm, I used to sleep three to four hours a night. But recently, mine's only is worse. I've been getting sleeping two hours. Oh, that's horrible. So long as you're making sure to rest your body, whether it's just like laying down or sitting down doing nothing. You gotta make sure to do rest in other ways, you know? How to rescue wake. Oof. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring wake back at Cauldron Lake. Uh huh. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. Cause we've got grand family lambs. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. Oh, I've got to run back. For good. Share the plan. I was going to go off to school to my grandparent uncles. Insomnia also a Stephen King book too. It is, and it's also a festival in the UK. And it's also another festival of dance. And it's also loads of different things. Hmm. Be like Google. <laughs> Right, run back up here. Ma'am, you need a brolly. It's wet out. You're gonna get soggy tights. Actually, soggy tights are like least of you can sing. They dry quick. Okay, then. And then... <laughs> right. Oh, I've got a plan. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? Wow, this feels suddenly serious. Hang on, I've got to finish my Google search. Hang on, hang on. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. What did it? Very quickly. Very quickly. So we got to go to Cauldron Lake? Ooh, this feels suddenly very, very serious. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is this what you're looking for, CJ? <laughs> is, that, is that what you want looking for? Oh, wait, I'm missing the tomato sauce. It's in his pouch. <laughs> Don't call me cookie. Okay. Oh, is, this is not... End game? <laughs> you know we're ready for end game. So I'm traveling to other areas would be limited if you could choose to continue. <laughs> okay, then. End game it is. That's nice. At least it gives you a warning if you're going to end the game. I mean, that's nice. But now I'm like, should I do more side quests? I mean, the... <sighs> I don't know. Um... Mm, uh... I don't know. Should I go through with going into the end game? Time for a third save file. Uh huh. I mean, the only side quest I've got left is the is the stashes, right? The cold stashes. Oh, and the lunch boxes. Those are the only two that are left. The lunch boxes and the the caches. Do I? And there's one deer left. Where's the other deer? Oh no, I gotta have to find that deer. But then the deer might be in the end game. Where's the other uh, deer? Oh, remember to hold all your Omega Elixir so you can use that. Yeah, I need more stuff is what I need. Maybe I should go and do some caches. Have you done all the poems? The manuscripts? No. Oh yeah, I've done all the poems. I did that yesterday. I finished them all yesterday. You can do them in New Game Plus right after this playthrough. <laughs> ah! I don't know if I want to. I might make a poll. 
I need the last year. I, I need the last year. I'm going to make a poll. Uh, can I tab out, please? I'm going to make a poll. I need you guys help guide me. I don't know what I want to do. Um, what do I do? End game. Um, stashes. Find deer. I don't even know where the deer would be. Oh, you know what? Lunch boxes. We'll put that. Boxers. No, boxes, not boxers. I need help. So I can blame chat. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to blame chat. <laughs> Hannah needs to wake up one day. He does. He really does. And I, like, I'm not usually a hundred percenter in games. I really am not. Usually, as soon as it goes end game, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. But I'm also like, um, oh boy. I don't know. I don't know. Poems that once was a man from Cork who got limericks and haikus confused. I actually had to ask Weep the other day, what is a haiku? Because I had no idea where a haiku was. Can we make a third save file if we do end game so you can prop finish the sashes and stuff on your own time? Oh, 100% always. A very close poll. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's the tightest poll ever. <laughs> you are right. Either way, I'll make a second save file, like a third one. Because obviously <laughs> there's nothing stopping me from going back and just doing the side quest stuff or even i don't know would i want to do a new game plus i don't know end game you all want me to go 69 percent into end game end game it is what the heck does makuna matata mean i don't know it sounds like a wonderful phrase 69 dude <laughs> right um let's go and do my save file oh i need to click back She's just staring to my soul a little bit. Uh, brrr, not yet. I'm gonna go not and just save. Yet. Give me a moment. I bet it takes okay, me to a safe file anyway, but you let me know when you're ready. Oh, I will be in a second. I just need to make sure I do another save, even though you're probably gonna make me do a save. But I just need to do like another save, just in case. Just in case. All right, Casey, we're going in. I say we're going in. I'm going in. I'm ready. Let's go. Ready to go. She needs to work on her eyelids. They're very big. <laughs> Continue. Oh, there it is. All right, then. Let's go. Don't, don't touch my matata. Not your tatata. -ta -ta. Make sure not to touch your tatatas. I need a little nap, then I'll wake up, Alan. <laughs> wake me up inside. Or until September ends, actually. You can wake me up then. Clearly, she didn't watch your eyeliner tutorial on inside. She clearly didn't. <laughs> okay, I think my world just got turned upside down and inside out. Oh, boy. Anyway. Oh, wait, yes. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake Let's now. Let's go! Let's get the plan started. 40 hours. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Okay. See you there, friends. It's a Cauldron Lake, huh? I just got a vocabulary lesson while playing Gears of War game. What did you learn? Fu fun funicular. F funicular? Oh. Tor? I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! No! The tour bus is already loaded, and we said our goodbyes. Hell yeah! Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. <laughs> I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. We're about to go to I a hope concert. They still got it. Oh, you bet they do. They never lost it. We're doomed. We're all going to die. Woo! <laughs> then you gotta wash the hair. You got this. I believe in you. You'll feel so much fresher once you wash your hair. You will. You'll feel so much better. I've known that word ever since I went to Prague. Is that a Prague kind of word? I'd love to go to Prague. It's a form of tram similar to a ski lift that uses counterweights to move. Oh, really? For my fave words, that and barbamonga. What's a barbamonga? And we're just going down the road to the lake? Apparently so. I kind of wish I knew where the last deer was, though. But maybe it's an end game. 
Because I am just missing one deer. Just the one deer. And she said the title of the game. Ah, I'm so excited. So excited. To be fair though, defense rate is a great word too. Oh, defense rate. Defense. De de yeah, that word. If it's not Anna, wake me up before you go, go. I'm going to. <laughs> Myself, it's not a good thing if it's Anna, wake universe. Maybe a poor choice of words, huh? Right, let's go to Cauldron Lake. Let's smash the day. I'm so excited. Pick up, pick up. Colin Logan? David, yeah. please pick up. David. David! Ooh. It's me. Where have you- Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her- She's dead because of you. Oh! And I don't ever- want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. That was a low blow. David! Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. Are you though? Grab and get to the Winchester, grab a pine and wait for this. All blow over. Hell yeah. So needs to grab the snooker cues. But among is a fop, a dandy. Love it as a not too deep insult. Oh, like a moron. Which also means carrot. Reload. I need bullets so bad. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this at all because I've got no bullets. But I guess we're going down. Oh. Honey, we're going down swinging. All right. Let's go. Okay, new plan. We need to find David. Give him a nice punch in the throat. I definitely think we should do that, to be honest with you. Definitely need to do that. Right. Well, oh, is that Chopper? Oh, yes, it would be the FBC. Okay. We're incoming with the light, Anderson. Where do you want them? Set them up on the shore. We need to be ready if Scratch shows up. We'll be ready. Best to bed out. Oh, this is... Oh, helicopters never end well in horror games. I play too many games where a helicopter blows up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Great. Straight in with a cultist. Bloody marvelous. Okay, David did nothing wrong. Oh, David did nothing from the sounds of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Don't you. Oh, please sit down. Oh, come on. Oh. Bloody hell. Are we always? I mean, that and other games, but yeah, a couple. A good couple. Why did my crossbow not reload? Oh, you mean helicopters aren't supposed to blow up? They definitely aren't. Definitely are not. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, dokie, we're gonna die down here. Do 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 do. Kiss your butt and say your prayers. Da 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 da. -da. That must be Torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. Maybe. Don't call him. They're driving. We're almost at the gig, and Odin's run over four minions of darkness. Hell yeah, Odin. The boss is our hammer. <laughs> I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost. Odin's got a killer chorus. Come save your soul. Awake new and whole. My name I will summon him. Da -da 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 it's a dark ocean summon. <laughs> I adore them. I actually adore them. They're so good. Silence, nerd of the tree. Nerd of the tree. Oh, tree, tree. What tree? There's no tree in the sky. Who the fuck put the tree in the middle of the road? We're not on a road. Oh, there Drive they go. Drive carefully, Grandpa. Hey, 
Very rock and roll way to drive. <laughs> oh, they're so fun. Oh, should I go up to the witch's cabin? Maybe I should. Maybe I should do a quick cheeky save up there. I know I just did one, but in case something bad happens down here, maybe I should uh, do a tactical save in the witch cabin. Those are still my favorites. I wish I was related to them. I'm kind of glad I'm not. Not gonna lie. Do like them. But I also kind of count my blessing that they are not family because I'd be deadly worried about them uh, all the time. And, uh, yeah. But they are rad. I do like them. They are so fun and side characters. They may be enjoying this more than it is appropriate. I mean, I guess you get to a point, right, where you just want to go out with a bang. So, can't really judge them on that one. Yeah, not judge them at all. There's only one thing better than a cheeky save, and that's two cheeky saves. Oh, I did just the one. Might be risking it for no biscuits. No biscuits. Oh, I do like a biscuitty though. Oh. Hello. I can hear something sharpening down here. Oh, there they go. Oh, no. Can I take a different route? Nope. I have to go down here. Great. Wonderful. A stretch in the middle of it. T pose! Hands above your head! Cactus arms! Hands above your head! T pose! No, 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 you don't. Oh god! Where? What? Whoa! Bro! Come your boots! Can you not? Oh! Terrible! I hope I can get that back. Can I have my, my, my arrows back, please? Oh, there's another one. Hang on, let me get my arrow. Thank you. Oh, it's not this way at all, is it? Where am I going? Oh, it's over there. No, I definitely took a really big wrong turn. Really big wrong turn. Definitely not this way. Going back. Going back. I think. I don't know. It's a lost. Um. Ah. Uh, Maybe I do need to go that way. But it didn't look like it. I don't know yellow just yet, but I'm... Uh, I need more bullets. And you always need more bullets. Um... Uh, map? Oh, it is blocked. So it's... I'm gonna, I am definitely going to probably have to go down this way. Ah! Great. Wonderful. Just use up all my bullets on the way down. But the enemies are there. It's the right way where the enemies are. You are right. Evan had a big, like, stash of things given to me yet yeah, to help me survive, but... Fine, I guess. Oh, I should have gone through my shoe box. Oh, I didn't. I should have. It's too late now. It's all the way back there. <laughs> oh. Nasty shotty. Did you hear about the Irishman who was in Pervious to Bullet? His name was Rick O'Shea. You're a butt. You're a butt. A booty. An absolute booty. Rick O'Shea. Bullets are so weird. They only do their job after they're fired. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. A Torin Ode in there yet? <laughs> The two golden oldies, well, oh, they're here. And they bought moonshine. Good. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. Good, I'll be right? there soon. So it's definitely best. Right, shoebox. Let's grab some stuff. I have loads of arrows in there. Move them over. There we are. Lots of rocket flares. I don't know what the rocket flares do. I actually haven't bothered with the propane tanks. I feel like they'd be handy, but rocket flares sound cooler. So I'm going to go put some rocket flares in. Um, hmm. Get two more wipes in. Nice. Oh, move that over. Better have two than none at all. 
move that over for this. And let's do some uh, reloading. Reload everything. I don't see why Saga couldn't have come with them in the heli. Oh, because she needed to have that, like, you know, growth moment. Of being all, oh, you know, everything is sad and stuff. And stuff. I need to have, like, a call with my child of my... Father of my child. <laughs> oh, my ability of speech is slipping. We must be near the end of the story then. Propane! No propane. Another save? Another tactical save. Overwrite it. What's the chapter called now? We're still in re return seven. Summoning. Oh boy. There's the chapter of the book. Okay. Down we go. Do 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 do. Ooh. Do 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 do. Ooh! Did I take everything in there? Oh, I didn't! Nice! Reload the pistol. I need to adjust my quick, uh, my quick slots as well. Let's, um... No! I wanted to put that in my quick slot, please. Quick slot it to here. There we are. Okay. It sounds like they're tuning up now. BDSM propane and propane accessories. But that doesn't smell nice at all! It doesn't smell it at all. Does that mean Oogie's moving to Arkansas? One, Does two. that propane and propane exist? No. How you feeling tonight, Cauldron Lake? <laughs> I'm so ready for the game! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh bloody hell. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, bloody hell, it's an oldie with an axe. Oldie with an axe. Um, I'm stuck against something. <laughs> Rock. Ah! Good. And I'm nearly out of bullets again. He's a spry old dude. Mm hmm. He's an axe swinging old man. Does that mean Nuki? I have some power stopping us. Is that what you said? Cool. I think I've got bigger worries right now. Ooh, everything's on max access, you know. Nothing is ever on low. Reload. Oh, no. Wrong time to reload. Where'd she go? Over there. Over there. Oh, flip, 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 flip. Something. You bum hole. In the black mirror. Oh, I got a sizzler again. Alive with people. Oh. Oh, come on. These old people do take a lot of bullets, don't they? But is it up to 11? It's up past 11, I'll tell you that much. I invented a new uh, volume control for this one. Do, 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 do. Reload. Brrr, stunning vistas. I thought you can Google. Why are we talking about vistas all of a sudden? Do, 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 do. Any ammo left anywhere? No? Okay. Ah. Oh. Horse. Go on then. Oogie invented 12 confirmed, hell yeah. Let's go and um, sizzle this. I forgot my button for a second. I'm playing this game for nearly 40 hours, and yeah, I still forgot. All right. Everything's reloaded and good and gravy cool. Why are you wasting so much jam? You should be putting it on toes and not covering yourself, your enemies with it. Testing. I'm just a giver, okay? Testing. Testing. Gonna need more Crank reverb. I'm getting no bounce out here. <laughs> Go on. Go on. I know you want to slam it. Ah, look at them! Hey, where are my chimes? I threw them out. Chimes are not rock and roll. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they hey. are. I'm here. Let's get ready. Anderson, we've set up control center up here overlooking the area. Anderson? I can drop more gear down for you if you're running low. I'll use yeah, the lights the to hit the Taken when they come. All of the things. Light them up for you. She is. 
Bad news is, we were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Karen. Just gotta grab some loot. More loot. No loot. Oh, we're gonna we'll try and cage him, are we? At maximum volume. Oh, I'm way ahead of you, bud. Ooh, box. Give me everything. Oh, I need it all. Okay. 20 pistols. In here. Nice. We do have a coffee cup on us, so if we get... We got some sparesies. We're ready when you are. All right, grandparents. How do I say I'm ready? Let's get this started. Ready to go for this? Yeah? Yeah? Well, it's kind of shaking. I don't know. Funsies. Miss Pooh, look away. It's end game. Miss Pooh, I'm going to have to ask you to leave because we're going into end game territory and I do not want you to get spoiled because I want you to play this game so bad. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you, Miss Pooh. Love ya. Love ya. Goodbye. <laughs> I hope you're good, lovely. The other devil some flares and a pointy stick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Agree on watching them. I ain't going for it. All right. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Oh, look at them up there. They're ready too. Yeah, go away, Pooh. Go on. Go away, Pooh. No, you can stay around if you want, but I know you want to avoid spoilers. Why do you think the game's bugged? Everything's in front of me. I mean, it's a little bit like, but I'm assuming that's because we're getting infected by darkness of all around us right now. I'm not looking. End game boy gone. See you soon, Miss Pooh. We'll be done very shortly, I'm sure. Hard to watch with a shake. What do you want me to do about it? I ain't touching it. <laughs> Do you want me to reload the entire game and start all over again? Is that is that what you're asking right now? I'm sure it'll be fine once we start pew pewing all over the place and then I'm sure it'll, something will happen and then I'll just click the thing. Yeah, restart. It's saved. The entire game. Okay, have a question. Bye, Miss Poo. <laughs> have a good one. From the beginning. Yeah, clearly. It's just going to be the entire game after I just looted the entire place ready to get into this. I'd be so hyped for the ending. But no, let's restart because one person asked for it. <laughs> Fine then! I will restart the game because someone's having a winch! Alright then! Load! Uh, no, 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 no. Where are we? We are 37 hours, 43 minutes. Yeah, the last thing in two minutes. Okay. Yeah. I was just ready to just jump into it, but okay. I thought the shake was part of it too, but apparently not. Someone's like, it's making me sick, but okay. I thought it was supposed to be shaking like that because, you know, we're about to go into like a boss, but you know. Shakes a bug, apparently, but I was just going to roll with it until the next cutscene where it probably would have fixed itself, to be honest, but okay. <sighs> hey! Let's I'm do this again. Summoning! Here, let's get ready. <laughs> Happy Anderson, now? Set up control center Ranger? Up in the area. Anderson, I can drop more gear down for you for running along. Let's get all the loot again. The lights to hit the taken and then I can come. finally Light get to the bit I'm you. ready for. That I've been waiting is, nearly we 40 hours to experience. Power is spotty. Your partner here give, will give, try give, to keep give, it give, 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 give. Oh, mechanic. it's giving me wrong kind of loot now. This was not the loot I wanted. Ah, it's giving me loot I didn't need. I prefer the loot I got before the save. Well, if I die, I'm blaming well, you because it gave me the wrong loot. Maximum volume. <sighs> Bummer. I really wanted the other stuff. The other stuff was actually things I needed. Like, proper needed. Come on. Pop it in the shoebox so I can get the bloody first aid kit. Move that over. We're ready when you are. Yeah, give me a second, granddad. I gotta go and get this and put it in my loot box. Move that down here. That made me jump. Deal with it. <laughs> Bring the shake back. I do kind of miss the shake. I'm not going to lie. I do like that. Oh, there's one little glitch of things just going We're a little bit like this. Unwatchable. This will be a show Move for the that over here. That's the thing. Yeah, I know, Granddad. You're going to have to wait. People in my head yelled about shaky cam. Do, do, do. They clearly never watch tongue games. Move this over here. Yeah, pop it in. Pop it in. There we go. Mizooks, you probably should restart from the beginning like of the Sing Me chapter because like it's bugged bro. since then, the game, Fighting yeah. The forces of darkness I just undo like 30 metal. hours of my life, clearly. That's the loot you were looking for, it was not the loot I was looking for. We need to go to Shake Back and get better loot. I wish I could do that, but no. Not allowed. Ain't I got cheesy pasta and add some tarragon sauce to spice it up? Nice. You ready for this? 
Oh, we, uh, before I jump in, any complaints? Any complaints before I actually experience the thing I've been waiting nearly 40 hours to experience? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Because I want to do this. I've been waiting for this for weeks. I really would like to jump into it now. Your legs are a little bit itchy. Give it a scratch, all right? More cowbell. Sorry, I don't have cowbell, but I have one of these. Which I'm saving the big honk noise for when we actually complete the game. What's the Campbell's favorite shake? A handshake. Cool. Turn down sound alerts, maybe? Right. For once in a blue moon, I'm going to turn down sound alerts to halfway. Everything else is on max. You want to have proof that everything's on max? I'll show you right now. Hello up there. <laughs> everything's on max down here. Max, max, max. Halfway. So if you can't hear things, it's because it's on halfway. Okay, dearies? Okay. There we go. <laughs> so don't yell at me. <laughs> I have a complaint. Why is it so hard to find a place that sells uh, Knickerbocker Glories? Because it's always in ice cream places. Because it takes ages to make because they're really tall. I've got many complaints, but now I'm for the stream. Good. I missed one second at the beginning. Can we uh, play everything again? No, exclamation point YouTube. You can watch the VOD. <laughs> Could you move up to the little left a little bit? Oh, oh, this way? A little bit more this way. Okay. Actually, it might be your right, my left. But I moved up a little bit left. That counts. My dog's Max is so confused right now. I feel that. Exclamation point. <laughs> <gasps> Any complaints? Speak now and get banned forever. Right, I'm going into it now. Everything's on 12. I'm good. No raid. We're going in. Ready? Come on, guys. Grandpa, you signal I'm me when the this. song is done. And I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Yes! Hello, Cobra Running. Lake. Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Woo! Prepare to experience a soul searing mind frying act of black magic and sorcery! <laughs> this song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Woo! Out of way! These sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. Oh. You all right? Uh, let's try that again. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the younger cells. A whole lot of paranormal crimes happening right now. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. <laughs> the show's drawing a crowd. Right. Take Where the boys? Anderson. Where? Where they at? Oh, this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. The last one was a light. Thank you. Whoa! Thank you. Finn, 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 Finn. Anderson, you don't say. Oh, he's lost his butt. She's out. For the gods. Anderson on the left. Yeah, I see him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Does no one else have a gun? Anderson, trouble on the way. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, oh bloody hell. Take pills, 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 take pills. More pills. Take pills. Um, Shotty. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Ah. Nice. Ah, oh, we gotta close this. Oh no. Trying. Trying. Reload, 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 reload. Okay. And you. Oh, bloody hell! Ooh! Whoa! Get down, bud. And you. Reload, reload, reload. Take all the things, take all the things. That's fine, I'll take that. I probably deserve a little bit of that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what? These things. Ah! Come on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Watch out, I got here, but hi, all Bang a son and everybody comes to the mic of you too. Oh, you have no idea. It's so good. So good, but welcome on in. I'm guessing either Kedrick or Drongo brought you in. Welcome on in though. I hope you're having a good day today with all the good energies. Oh. 
reload. Neat! Oh, come on! More balls, I guess! Whoa! Oh, I need a heal. I need a heal. Need a heal. Take pills, take pills, take pills. I'm running. Run! No way! Wait! I'm healing! I'm healing! Come on! Heal! Come on, Saga! Heal! Oh, boy! Okay. Oh, there's so much! I need the player gun so bad! And you out of it? Thank you! Run to the flit! Run to the flit! Oh, what? Yeah, I see them. Hello, I'm fighting stars. Um, get that lady, get that lady. Get the creep, get the creep, get the creep. Run out of it, run, 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 run. run. Reloading. Uh, no, the no, wrong gun! The wrong gun! Thank you! I, I need a heal! I need a heal so bad! Oh, running! Run, 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 run! I need a reload, 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 reload. Thank you. Oh, stop! <laughs> ah! I'm so gonna die! I got him for you, Anderson. Uh-huh, thank you. Bloody hell, I need to heal again. Heal again, heal again, heal again, heal again, heal, 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 heal. Okay. Oh god, I'm so running out of bullets. Oh! Oh god, there are so many! Throw it, throw it, light it! Oh. Bloody hell, run, 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 I need bullets! I need more than bullets, I need help! I am gonna die! Running, 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 running. I need. They're trying to stop the song. I know, but it's too much. Oh, God. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. Get all the bullets. The power of rocket. Oh, bloody hell. All of the bullets, all the bullets, all the bullets, all the bullets, all the bullets. Thank you so much for following the move of WJC. I need the first aid kit. I can't get my shoe box. Oh, okay. Can I get my shoe box? No, not allowed. Use the clicker. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, Saga! Oh, you do it. right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? <sighs> so where the fuck is he? <gasps> We're going to Alan! Was it something to do with the shoebox? Oh, first try. Literally thought I was going to get <laughs> then. <laughs> Sorry if I missed anybody. There was a lot for me to look at then. I'm so sorry if I missed anyone. Or I hope you're all good if I everyone popped in during all that. Hello, Solitary. I hope you're good as well. Oh. I'm lost. <gasps> Parliament Tower. It was back. Oh. <laughs> I'm lost in the tower. That was such a sick sequence though. I love when we get a little tales of um As uh, tales of Asgard, gods of Asgard. You know, this is the type of game where I kind of hope I die a lot just because that music just means um so awesome. Oh, do you remember the musical section? That was banging. Damn, Anna, nobody ever wrote a song about me. I'm jealous. I know. Kind of low key want a song wrote about me, about my awesome adventures of kicking butt and chewing bubble gum. But I guess not. This place looks like an absolute poop show. Jeez, I'd been here me. many times before. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Yeah, like it's, my last chance. It's trashed. It wasn't already too late. Absolute trashed. Remember the first game stage fight sec? It's so good. So good. I love that they brought it in multiple times over. Maybe there's a musical section in Doomus. Who knows? Okay. Hint, hint, hint. Have you had a chance to check out the Poets of Fall Ooks? Oh, I will. You, you, you. Clearly, 
do not understand how deep I go into my law binge when I'm done with a game. <laughs> go. Well, I got to look with calling me. It's going to be a while before I'm around on the next weekend again. So until next time, keep rocking out to Haunted Lakes. Well done, Chancey 6. I hope your work goes well. Send you all the good things and vibes and stuff. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your week ahead too. Till we speak again, kick butt. Have a good one, all right, bud? It's nice to see you as always. Okay, let's go in. Background check to the law time. Oh, you should already know that I'm going to be popping it onto my Spotify or whatever I can listen to. So I can listen to that at work all week. Gone. Initiation 9. Alice is gone. Nobody the door. Here anymore. Was I too late? That's the door that we see everywhere. Dare I open it? I don't know if I'm ready to open it. Let's have a look first. So Alice is gone, huh? Where is she gone? I, I mean, she probably moved on, let's be honest. It's been years since Alan's been around. Ooh. Something's hissing. Someone in the bathroom? No. No one in the bathroom. Definitely something nasty out here. Nothing over there. I know it wants me to open that door, but I want to have a snoop around first. No Baza. How do you feel about tubs with legs? Oops, I actually really like them, especially when they got little paws. Oh. The Art of Alice. Oh, I don't know if I want to watch it yet. Oh, I'm going to touch the door. Do I touch the door? Or do I watch the thing? Touch the door, touch the thing. I'm going to touch the door. This door has been haunting me. I'm going to touch the door. And then I'm going to watch the thing. Please, I'm not going to regret this. Touch it. Whoa, but, yeah, but. Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. <laughs> Little regret there. <laughs> little regret. Just a little, little one. Oh, he's a snotty but Hang on, before I watch the thing, I want to have a, more of a look around. I need to see everything before we enter the thing thing, you know? Do the thing thing. Look at the thing thing. Uh, why? Why? How do you feel about tubs with legs? I'm so jealous of that kitchen. It would kill for one of those. I like their bathroom. The leggies. Oh, it's a big loop-de-loop. -loop. I just took a big loop-de-loop. -loop. Film translation is, um, weg, which has the same spelling and translation for road. Some people were confused. About what? I think we're almost at adverts. In eight minutes time. Eight minutes. I relate with being a snotty button. Go on then. Dark place, the art of Alice Wake. Let's have it. I... It won't end. Like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but I can't. The monster just keeps coming back. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm... I'm so tired. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision mm -hmm. most of you won't understand
people call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. Mm -hmm. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. What does that mean? Alice Wake took her own life shortly after completing her work on the Dark Blade. She'll be missed, but what the letter were I? What follows are her final photographs. What? That's Cauldron Lake. She's diving into Cauldron Lake? Dead, Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. I had seen this before. Yeah. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. End of initiation. I'm getting off this time. is dead. Alan is obviously the reason for the constant spiral loop. <sighs> Damn. Oh, hi, Drongo. <laughs> That's another internet for today. I'm off to bed. I'm going to stream, folks. Bye, Drongo. Get out of this pressy spaghetti corner. Blood, yeah. I rest well, Drongo. It's nice to see you. Thank you for raiding again. I hope you sleep well. I hope this does play the game. <laughs> oh, good. Bye, Drogo. Have a good one. It's nice to see you and goodbye. <laughs> Catch you soon in the week, okay? Our story is not even over yet. Scratch took him. I guess it's just. <sighs> I feel like I need a pint, CJ. Oh, that was emotional. I feel really emotionally tortured right now. I don't know, man. Perhaps it's he himself stuck in the darkness. Scratch is already out. Scratch is already out walking out there. Alan thinks he's already in 
in the darkness with him, but Scratch has always been out. Always been out in his form. So Alan thinks he's stopping Scratch, but Scratch is already in the realm, perhaps. So he's all, by him shooting himself, it's constantly resetting the loop. Constantly. I'd have a pint. What kind of pint would you have? I'd love a pint of Dr. Pepper. I might go and get myself one. By the way, everyone, in 54 seconds, there's going to be an advert. It's going to last three minutes. When it's done, we'll keep going. We're going to find the ending. Wherever it might mean, wherever it might reveal, wherever it might hide. We're going to do that after the ads. Do something to take care of yourself. Get yourself a snack. Buckle up. We're going for it. Absolutely going there. No, we haven't finished it. There's more. Otherwise, there'd be credits rolling right now. I had to come and clean my eyes from another stream, and I have seen the imaginable things. What imaginable things? Doubt, of course. Nice. I would mind a cider. Heck, I'm getting popcorn and noodles. Do it. Go and get a snack. Do it. We're not going any further until the ads are done running. We, I think, <laughs> I need ending friends. <laughs> We're going to be in this together. Does that mean he's Galen Wake? I swear to God. Hot Wheels, stop! <laughs> Welcome back, by the way. So I'm making a monstrosity in um, Dragon's Dogma game. Oh, nice. I want to play that. It's so good. Right, episode two. I'm going to go and get a drink. I'll be right back. See you in a minute. Oh, boy. Light is a poisonous, poisonous dart, forever seeking out the darkest part, forever, forever, forever your heart. Some say Welcome back from the adverts. I'm still kind of low-key processing. I just ate some jammy dodges <laughs> to uplift my spirits a little bit. I am feeling some type of way. Ugh. It's just too 
good. Raspberry still lift up the spirits. Fine. Thank you, Ooks. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. This song is looping forever and ever. Some say it does loop forever. I definitely think this is one that's gonna loop forever. I think we need to just continue on. Unless. Is it coming to the end? It's a spiral indeed. I have a lamb kebab, candy fries, and I feel like a kid again. Nice! That sounds good. I'm doing well, but I got sleep I needed. Good, I'm glad. Good, good, good. Repay that sleep debt. Right. Let's go into the next chapter and see what's gonna happen. Because I think this song is gonna keep looping. Noodles check, popcorn check, jasmine tea check, water check, noodles, noodling. I got a Pepsi Max next to me. <sighs> okay. At least Alan got to scratch that itch. Uh, looking. <sighs> well, you seven stream streaks, zero. Right. I'm doing it. I'm gonna push the button. We're gonna go. Do you have chosen death? No! I have not! Well, Alan sort of roundabout way did. Well, not really, but did, but not really. Are we actually hearing the end of the song? It's sounding very endy. Pleasant outside and sunny. I'm just sitting outside watching Twitch and drinking chai with um, Jaggery before I cook pine out. Um, pine nut couscous. It's full 1.5 pound pork tenderloins with a hickory marinade. Nice. Sorted. I actually sat through the entire song. Let's go. <laughs> What's going to happen next? Uh, that's the worst time to have an epic award. I'll leave you in the wake of that pun. I'll just forever sit in it. It's gonna loop again, All right? We did bring Wake back from the dark place with a song and the clicker, but he didn't end up here now. Oh! He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. I see. Hey. And that's how it loops, right? But how do we break it? Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! He got out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. Bitch. He's here. Scratch. Watch out, Anderson. Oh, As there he is. Scratch is wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hit him, Master Vaz. Oh, boy. Oh, Vaz. I got things to do. Anderson, pin him down with gunfire for me. Oh, to get God, that's going to take forever. She's Louise. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Alrighty. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa I will if I can. Oh, I should have picked up the first aid box. No, no, no. I'm gonna do my best. I am so sorry for missing anything in chat. Oh boy! Uh -huh. Hit him with 
hurts, kiddo. Anderson, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna get slapped him. down. I'm gonna have to redo this bit. This is gonna take forever. Oh. I need a first aid kit. I need a first aid kit. Anderson. What delivery? I need more than deliveries right now. I need a health kit or something. How kid, shoebox, 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 shoebox is paused. It does not pause. No, no, no! Oh, the teacup helped me! I forgot I had that on me! Oh, I just used that first aid thing without thinking about it. You talk to sound like adults. Do you think this is the kind of game we're talking about, adults? Whoa! Whoa! Now, Estevez, the light! What? Here! Do, 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 I'm doing it! I'm doing it now, Mr. Krabs! I'm doing it now, Mr. Krabs! Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What are you meant to do? Oh, shut the front door! I don't know what I'm doing. I am just panicking through it. Okay. We're back. Good. Where is he? He's over there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! Come on! Lights! Light, 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 I am so sorry for ignoring you all. There's a lot going on right now. Oh, oh butts. Butts, 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 butts. I'm trying. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. I don't know where I'm going with this. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's one. That one's an idiot there. Oh, boy. I need to go. I need to go. Uh, oh. Ah, not the time! Not the time! Uh. Running, 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 I see you down here doing all this. Anderson, I can't get the gun. Complete it. Nice. In the cell. In the cell? Uh, Hello, come on in. That's the best Casey now. Folks, but it's official. Tear Fest is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright.
best year fest ever. <laughs> I feel so torn. Scratch and Alan first up the toilet. Uh huh. But I was right that Scratch and Alan were one. I was right about them being one. But what? Damn. Just as you think you like know what's going on, the game goes. <laughs> but actually. Hello, Chance. Penis. Okay, bye. Bye, Chance. Have a good one. Thank you for your little. BP. By chance. The music's great, agreed. Well, you three seem to be clear. How you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? Is Casey Scratch? Yeah, Casey just becomes Scratch. Because Scratch can be anyone. Scratch was the old woman. Um, what's her name? Um, Barbara. From the first game. She, yeah, 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 yeah. He can take on anyone. Scratch is just the entity of the darkness. That's what I was trying to say earlier. He can just become anyone. Oh, dirty. Oh, so my joke about Skyland is canon? <laughs> I guess so. I thought Scratch was Alan Wake Dark Presence and Barb Jagger was Scratch, but he calls us um, the Dark Presence. No, she's, it just is the Dark Presence. Scratch can be anyone and everyone. The dark presence is Scratch, and the dark pres uh, Scratch is the dark presence. It's just the name that um, Alan's given it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> oh, you what? <laughs> I didn't spike you. What's up, then? How's it going? Wait, well, Scratch is Barbara. Does that mean that Scratch is coming to get Barbara? Everyone's always after Barbara. Good don't die. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Fish, for damning me. Appreciate it. Well, blessing and a way of bless you. <laughs> ah. Wait, I suppose this was her holding the clicker, but that was the last um, part we saw Casey drop the clicker. Was I in hand grabbing the clicker? So many theories in my head. I mean, there's loads of questions. If that's what you're asking, there's loads of questions still. In the photos, it was supposed to hand in the clicker, and there's also a bullet in the hand. Whatever they may mean or what they, like, how they internalize, I don't know. Many questions, many theories. That was released because Charlie the Unicorn failed to bring the new magic amulet. That is true. I'm gonna have to go back to Candy Mountain. We did an Oogie Shred emote, like a guitar shredding too. <laughs> and he named Major Candy Mountain. Maybe I'll we'll make that BTTV emote. I'll put it in my list. Love it! I'm so glad they really went with the music in this one because they did in the first one. That one section, I'm so glad they fully just embodied it in this one. Completely and utterly. So I did make it to the naughty list yet. You, de you definitely did that. I was like, no! <laughs> Not while I'm having my internals all being ripped apart by sad things and shocking things. Uh, bodybuilder, is there somewhere I can get protein shake around here? Yeah, well, there is no way in hell, dude. You're a butt. Same for Justin Hawkins. They should have summoned him like Beetlejuice by now. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't seen Baza yet. We've heard of Baza, but we literally have had no sights of Baza. They want to do something similar in Alan Wake 1, but they were limited to technology and engine. Well, they were going to go in a completely different direction, weren't they? It was going to be a lot more like an open worldy thing. Whereas this does have a little bit of open worldy, but it's like linear open worldy. I'm glad they went this direction, though. It's so good. So, so good. Hands out sus protein shake. Fact, you're not drinking it. As will come back in AW3, I will live for that. I would live for that. 
Could that be the DLC? It's just Bazzo chilling in. <laughs> Can we have DLC of Bazzo on his holiday? <laughs> Dealing with all the corpse. I would love that. <laughs> I'd love to see a moment in California. <laughs> Uh, from a technical perspective, this game is just awesome. Basically, no loading screens. I mean, more or less, it's a really good game. They were really inventive on how they're going to put through the story. I love it. I've, I've never experienced a game like this. It's like all the things I've experienced of Remedy so far just made this ultimate version. I cannot wait to see the future of Remedy. Oh, hello. Music just ended. Okay, then. Bit of a blue ball, but let's go then. I want to buy the um, AW set on Epic for £85. It's tempting, isn't it? It's very tempting. One of the best games I've ever seen you stream. It's been brilliant. I'm so glad you changed your thoughts, CJ. Because I remember you saying like, oh, I wasn't that keen of Alan Wake, but I'm here for the vibes. And now you're like, actually, this journey is the best. I mean, Alan Wake three, uh, 2 is definitely the better one of the lot, but I'm glad for the journey. <laughs> is this a loader screen? Um, it's a end of chapter screen. Is what it is. An end of chapter screen. Uh, the whole thing about Alan Wake. It's done almost like an American sitcom. Like an American sitcom TV show kind of thing. So this is where the credits would be rolling. And then we enter the next episode. That's the idea I think. But maybe reason. I will slap you Magasus. <laughs> oh no. No restart. We keep going. We're making journey forwards. We're going onwards. <laughs> Sorry for yelling at you earlier. <laughs> I was like, you poor! <laughs> Destroying my fun! Nah, you were right too, to be honest with you. You were very right too. Um, the one, uh, this one's got infinity more, more in stress and story, to be honest. Agreed. Alan Wake 1 was good. This is another bloody level of good. This is fantastic. If anything, it makes, <laughs> it's going to sound awful. But Alan Wake 1 is kind of pants compared to this. It, it sounds awful. It's kind of really be knocked down a couple of pegs but then again i'm glad i played it because it makes me appreciate this world so much more Can slap by uki we're away to go <laughs> oh, you don't want that i just realized alan wake aw alter world event aw e coincidence mm, who knows yakuza did it for the first i never played yakuza so i don't know i want to play it though one day and this one's just stupendous it's so good a sitcom without the canned audience laughter more blood and guts it's so good this is one of the best games I've ever seen, period. Agreed. Literally. And I haven't seen the credits. Usually, I hold my reserves of, like, how I feel about a game until I see the credits roll. This has been consistently amazing through every single step. It has not felt repetitive. It's not felt long. Everything about it is great. Mechanically, it's fun. Um, there's a little bugs here and there, you know, whatever. Every game's got a bug. I never look at bugs because it's just one of those things that you get. But everything has been amazing from the animations to the character to the depth of the storyline. The twisty turny, the multiple perspectives of playing through a story. So good! So good! Yakuza is epic. I'd love to play them, I think. But how would I play them? There's like six million of them. It feels like they made a first game in DLCs and Control just to make this game. Literally, they feel like experimentations to bring us this. This is OP. Absolutely OP. And Control was great. I loved Control. This? Oh! It's the best game I've ever played so far! Like this year, it's literally the best! I'm playing Tears of Kings over the Shadows! This is incredible! I loves it. It's so good. Right, let's go keep going, right? I feel like they just don't throw enemies at you like they did in the first game. But considering the wave shooter boss fight you just did, true. It, it's like paced a lot better. It's not like the hiss either. Xbox Game Pass on PC has all the Yakuza's. I would love to do Game Pass, but it's funny with me. It doesn't actually work very well at all. And same with streaming. Now we're in for Control 2. I can't wait for the second one. Anyway, onwards! <laughs> wait. I'm Alan? Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. We're going in the overlap? The dark presence held all the cards now. Guys. Hang on. I guess we're going in. Or not? Did they just... I've got hey, nothing. Over here. Over where? Over here? Oh, there she is. Did they just... They bloody bear not if I think they've gone in the overlap. They must have gone in the overlap. 
I guess. Someone's going to be in the dark place, I guess. But is Saga not just being thrown into it? Of sorts? There are spin-offs. They must be, um... They must be Japan only. When, in Yakuza? Hello? I've got the cool jacket on. Welcome back, Wake. Hi. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? I hope so. Some good news, at least. Maybe. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. Oh. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I think so. Oh, is that how they got to Mr. Door show um, before we sing? <laughs> what can I do to help? I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. Well, duh. Well, it's so never so. that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? We'll I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Uh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. I literally feel like I'm in an episode of Doctor Who, but way more complicated. Is there a new safe wrestler, um, new AWE wrestling coincidence? Hmm. <laughs> About Saga. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. <laughs> I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. <laughs> I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Yeah. What would Doctor Who would say, um, say to Mr. Scratch? Probably something silly or other. Probably would feed them jelly. Agent Estevez is, um, Adam Frazier from Star Wars Battlefront 2. Cool, I would have never known that because I don't play Star Wars. An AW Doctor Who crossover would be amazing. It would be sick. Ugh. What's the situation? What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. I think I can fix this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. Ooh. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I'll do my best not to. No promises, though. <laughs> uh. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I need more bullets. I always do. Okay, then. Doctor would call them monsters, and he shouted at the man who stopped the monsters, then, uh, whipped it thingy wing and, and, and wiggle and them all. Yeah, you would just suddenly make everyone friends again, probably. Never in Alan Wake and Fortnite not giving him the champion the light dance was rude. He's gonna be put in Fortnite, is he? Amala, you should probably take off the jacket of the dead guy's brother you're wearing before going back to rifles, just saying. Yeah. He probably needs a bath, if I'm honest. He's still covered in the blood of the dead guy. I played too much Tears of Kingdom. I saw that in the corner of my eye and my brain just went, Shrine! <laughs> it definitely isn't. <laughs> definitely not. Oh, I can't jump up? Okay, I forgot. Alan doesn't do parkour. How the heck do I leave? Oh, probably underneath that branch over there. I'm um, shotgun quite Hell yeah. Including a sharp stick. Always need a sharp stick. Sharp stick is the way. Every weapon, even the BFG weapon. I wish we had the BFG. Love the BFG. Oh, it's nice that they let piano players practice in the woods at night, isn't it? It's very nice. I was awake again. Clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. Yeah. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Yeah. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Mm -hmm. Stop the dark presence. We got this. 
Like when Zebra went, oh lord, Victoria's at the water of Mars. Yeah, like that. Like that. I imagine they'd um, held back the emote to not spoil anything. So I'd love for them to not throw it in now. Hmm. Your flare gun is a BFG. SFG, to be fair, it is pretty good. And so he left. <laughs> Eyelid smash. Oh gosh, it's a lot of eyelid smashing today. Oh, oh, oh. Alisa, you got some exercise in the dark place. This cardio is better. It's open. If he gets winded two steps in, I'm going to be fuming. Saying that, we should probably jog. Jogging, jogging, jogging. Hopefully there's no shadow people. There's going to be shadow people. Hopefully no wolves, though. That would be bad. No wolves, please. Ah! Oh, there he is. Out of it, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he's a backpacker, I think. Oh, he's having a good time, isn't he? You all right? Yeah? Just, yep. Free the nipple. Okay. Oh, we're going to go through the, um, the thingy-majiggy. Why is he undulating? It's just a condition of the deceased, you know. They just can't stop undulating all over the place. Do you know they have to pin hips to the coffin? Going through the witch's ladle. You can see the witch's hut up there. I think we're gonna have to take the long way around. Stop dangling corpse, can't help it. What are you doing? Having a jiggle. Having a jiggle. I don't know how they give you a speed loader for the revolver and don't make you load each bullet. It is nice. It is nice. A wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. How many are out here? You don't see me. I am one of the shadows. I am one with the shadows. I am shadow person. Um, hail Victus. La, 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 la. Now I gotta get up there. You see nothing. I am one of you. The plot armor. He's fine. He's sure. Was this boy just riddled with bullets when he was possessed? I guess. La, 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 la. I am Broken one of the. Door. Never mind. La, 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 la. It's taken. Oh, God, shoot it. It's got a back. Oh, shoot it. <laughs> he will run in. Oh, shut the front door, mate. Get another life. You can join second life. You'll have plenty of lives in there. Dun, 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 dun. Keep on jogging, Alan. Keep on jogging. Oh, loot box. Oh, wait. Can I open that? Oh, I can. Oh, nice. Give me all of that good stuff. Will that work for those charms? And I can't have them. Uh, can't go that way. I should really go up there. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Nope, never mind. Wrong way. They blocked it. They blocked it. Do, 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 do. Pass the murder table. La, 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 la. Keep on jogging. Keep on jogging. <laughs> Oh, get out of it, mate. I can't see anything. You're a tree or something, huh? You're not Flare It. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, Flare It. I'm dead. <laughs> I can't see anything. I did not see a single thing then. Oh, well. I'm one with the shadows while holding a flash and pointing at an enemy. Shh. I do what the shadow people do. And that's the opposite. And it looks like he's swimming in Tomato Lake. Thanks. He's having have a little paddle. Like Krong sings her own name, theme tune. Oh, right I do like a good theme tune. There we are. In the box. Shadow. A shadow in the butthole. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Silly goose. Yikes. Need hydration, by the way. I hope you get in the shadows. Go on then, pop it up, buttercup. Pop it. Go on, sun and door. Sun and door. There it is. Where are you? Oh, God, there's a couple. Um. Oh, God, there's a good couple. Ah! Ah! 
Kutch. I'm very kutch right now. Thank you, Reg! I should put your name into your book of... Uh, oh, 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 pause it. What, <laughs> biddies? Like I'm gonna stand out in the open. That is a rookie error, that is. This is for Red. Red. Neck. Bum, 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 bum. Underscore gamer. Game. Oh, calm down. Sorry, I breathed on the controller. 94. Nya, 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 nya. Here's your name. Thank you very much, Lee. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Time to hit the sack. Have fun, y'all. Bye, Banan Boy. Rest well. Have a lovely week ahead. If I don't see you anywhere on the internet, may you kick butt and chew bubblegum, all right? Have a good one. Okay, hydrate in now that you're not again swamped. I mean, I did do a little hydrate, but I'll do it again. There we go. There we go. Okay, who's tickling the Yuki? Don't please don't be tickling me. I'm actually really ticklish, fun fact. Really ticklish. I'm panicking, confirm. Oh, don't say that because then I'm weak. I want to look fierce and scary like a rabid. I don't know. Chihuahua. Right, reload everything. Oh, can you back off, mate? Why are you blocking my light way? General store. Yeah, it's right there. The Go for it. Thank you the headpads as well. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to fight him and I. Black Mirror? That's a great TV show. Going for it. I'm gonna flare gun the, the, the door. I'm gonna flare gun the gate. Come on, gate. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, gate. Or not. It didn't do anything. Running, 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 Turn me into scratch. You know what? I just thought of something. Alan in the red jacket is kind of making me think of uh, Claire. <laughs> you know Claire? Yeah. It's kind of giving me that vibe right now. How you doing, Goggins? Nice to see you. What's up, what's down? Hope you're good. Definitely taking a long route. The car park, but it's a route nonetheless. And pop. It's very windy out here, isn't it? Oh, Alan. Thank you. The saga's car. I had to get to Bright Falls. Uh-huh. See this through to the end. Now we're going for it. To Bright Falls, everyone. To the end. I do like these cutscenes, like these loading screens. They're really nice. I brought Saga... I brought Sag Anderson Anson. into the story to help me. Help me do 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 do. She succeeded. It cost her everything. She succeeded. 
I'd used Alex it cost Casey. her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. I feel like he skipped a couple of lines there, you know? If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Oh boy. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. <laughs> Did she succeed? Of sorts, yes. Into the overlap. Return 8, Deer Fest. This is not what I expected. Yeah, I agree. Alan Wake, Return, the much anticipated sequel to Departure and Initiation. Deer Fest. It's gonna be, I'm on the edge of my seat. Deadman Dave! Hello, how you doing? What's up, Stan? How's it going? And hello, Masubi. I hope you're good. Hey, you said Deer Fest, wasn't it in this game? It was. But I didn't expect it to actually be happening. Hello? Ah. Okay. It's Brian Happy. I feel like... If, yeah. If this shirt was red, I would be doing a Mr. Bean cosplay. <laughs> if he had a red tie, yeah. Alright. Um, to the diner, I guess. Hmm, and happy deer Alan fest. Wake is this generation's greatest storyteller. <laughs> oh, it's those two. The um, the guy who wrote the play, uh, like the the LARPing kind of play, the girl who's writing the book about me. The Alan. The fest scene is a strong contender for the most. Memorable ending in literature. Koskala Brothers, Boo Club. Oh. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskala, and welcome to the Koskala Brothers Book Club. Book this club? week we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? 
I hate it. I hate there it. There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Coscola Brothers Book Club. Cheers. I hate it. I hate it. Hello for the bill as well. I hope you're good. Yeah, I really do. I hate it. Is there a deer I can pet? Nope. I see you, lady. You're crying in the street the other day. Oh. So when to see this one float? Silence mm. worst nightmare. I've been so happy. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. One is very helpful. I was inside Scratch's ending. A perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return. As if it had just been published. Yeah. Yeah. Valentine's, does he, become, does he have an Alan Wake? I oh, shut up. Please, Ragnar, no! How you doing? What's up with Dan? How's it going? Did he actually read it? I don't know. Alan must only have it. Oh boy. A spell binding tour de force. The force? No, oh, yeah, they're all sold out. <gasps> Time to buy the mood. Can you put coconuts on the music play? Oops, I can't. No. Return is a story. Oh, <gasps> oh she's hot! The novel begins as a murder mystery, but pulls the rug out from under and turns into an all-out supernatural. There's a lot horror. of ideas, but you might need permission to pet one of those. I would definitely ask permission. Oh, the coffee cup people are there too. Oh, he's going for it over there. Non-stop boogieing that person. Hello. All right. The tragedy of Saga losing her family in the blatant commentary on a woman's struggle to balance her personal and professional lives. Oh, good. Oh, look, it's the flow. I don't hear the ah ha ha ha. Oh, it's definitely there. It's very quiet. The stage fight mm. scene in Departure is one upped by the absolutely mind frying Dark Ocean summoning. Mm hmm. Um, oh, hello. What's everyone looking at? Anything down there? Oh, oh. I think those guys could deal with some trousers. Uh, what's everyone looking at? What's going on over here? Hello? Oh, Ilmo's up there. What, what, what was that? What was that? What was that? I saw something. Oh. Ilmo? You alright up there? Just gonna stand and stare? Stand and stare. Okay. Ah, I see. Ooh, gosh, it does look like scratch, doesn't it? Ah, uh, there's a lot of ears. Oh yeah. Can I read? Can I? <laughs> Alan Wake Return, the much anticipated sequel to Departure Initiation. How am I gonna get my hands on the book? Hmm. It's gotta be one somewhere, right? Let's have a little jog. A little jog. Cardboard Alan! But it's not Alan, it's Scratch on the cardboard. You can tell. You can definitely tell by the smile. Up there. Departure! Where can I get my hands on it? Where do I <gasps> sign up to live at the Valhalla Nursing Home? It's residents are laugh out loud funny! Ha 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 Setting the trilogy's exciting conclusion. Where is it gonna be? Deer fest. Oh, Over there. Lake's return. A shower of fact and fiction. Where are you, Return? The world and characters echo down here? each other in unique no. and surprising ways. Can you know awake? It definitely is not. Things Alan! Don't wear it out. Although saying that, it's been three months of just calling him Alan. This really is a hole. Hmm. Can I go over the here? No. Can I? No. Oh, you can tell you can't. 
dark ocean summoning. Oh my god! Exciting conclusion at Deerfest. Alan Wake's latest novel return is breaking every literary record. Come on. Someone's gotta have a copy, right? If it's just come out, can I go between you guys? Nope. Where are you, Return? Where are you? Where's Barry Bean? He would love that cow a cut out. I don't think you'd like that one. I don't think. Anything up here? No, that's a lot of Porter Loose. <gasps> I'm not allowed to go to the loo? Oh, bummer. Okay. Where is. Where is. Hmm. Have you checked your butthole? Have you checked your mouth hole? It's horrible is what it is. What are you want about? Where are you? Hmm. It's gotta have something to do with Elmore then, right? Elmore, do you do you Is there gonna be a giveaway? Oh, I'm supposed to I think I seize it now. Hey! It's right there! <laughs> I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story. And I love it. A book to die for. Shit. Oh! Running, 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 running. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, through the back, through the back, through the back. Throw the window to the wall. Nope. I had the go. book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. Where is the writer's story? Oh! It's in the retirement home. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare. All revolving around a vain monster of a writer. And his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Oh boy. Off we go. I needed to reach the writer's room. Yeah. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? Yeah. I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. We can give it a good go, I suppose. What we got to lose? Huh? Uh, not a lot anymore. Now that Alice is apparently somewhere else. Let me in. Oh! I had to find another way inside. <sighs> Can't go that way. And butts and butts. Oh, is it through there? We're gonna have to go through the wellness center, maybe. Can I come out from behind the sofa yet? No, you're be best not. <laughs> best not. Do we go through the basement? Nope. It's definitely gonna be through there. The place where there's a light on. Of course it would be. Wouldn't be anything else. Go on then. Go on then. Whoa! Alice. What was that? Alice was dead. Was oh, this a she? trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Is she dead or is she not? Maybe she's not dead. Who knows? Who really knows? Okay. Could do with all of the bullets and stuff. But I guess not. Nothing in there. Just a load of food. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I'm definitely gonna poop. Alice? Alice? Someone's like guiding me a little bit. Need the slungs back behind the sofa in the blanket port? I would recommend it. I think we're gonna be in for a bumpy ride, you know. Did I just hear another? No, it's gotta be me. But Scratch is in the real world, isn't he? Perhaps. But. 
What is the real world at this point? The darkness has gone power. Yeah, I'm coming, Alice. What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, are you bloody kidding me? Wow, no. Fuck off. La 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 Go, 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 I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself. No matter what William Shakespeare said. <laughs> right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Oh, bless Rose. She just red flags like red flag central a while ago, but actually she's really lovely. Bless Rose. She uh, reminds me of how Cynthia was obsessed with Zane. It's cute. It's kind of a little bit creepy, but also kind of cute. It's like a double whammy of it, isn't it? Okay. That's where I go. Once you're upstairs, you bloody well. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Yep. And that's where we're going. Hello, Replays. How you doing? What's up? What's done? How's it going? I hope you're good. I'm good. How are you? Rose is so delightfully eccentric. She's wonderful. I love Rose. She's both Red Flag Central and, like, best, best lady, isn't she? Is this real life or is this just fantasy? Oh. Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality, right? Hello, Banwell, Croissa. Are you the win? What's up? What's down? Is there another ad? Oh, I want to play more, though. Fine, I'll put the controller down because you know what's going to happen. I take one step forward and then I'm not going to be able to stop myself. Fine. Ugh. Everyone, ad for two. <laughs> really annoying. Anonymous. There is adverts due very, very shortly, everyone. Very, 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 very soon. In like two minutes' time. During the adverts, I always pause my gameplay. Unless I'm doing some like minor little things like upgrading equipment. Uh, but I'm going to take another little break. I'm going to go to the loo because I feel like I need a wee. Because I drank a lot because everyone keeps hydrating me. So I'm going to go to the loo and to have a wee. So I implore you to do the same. Go for a wee. Go and get a snack. We're getting close to the ending now. I can just feel it. So uh, buckle up, everyone. After the ads, we're going to carry on and see... If this is the last chapter of the entire everything. Um, had to do an anonymous lean. Cheeky. I'm good, thank you, Rosie. Glad to hear it. Fellow, okay. Also, did you leave the freezer open once again? It's cold here. No, I haven't. But it's bloody freezing in here, too. I've got a blanket on and everything. <laughs> gonna be back in a wee break? Yeah, I'm gonna be back after the wee break. Are you doing Maximus as well? I hope you're good. No, I think I said hello, haven't I? I'm pretty sure I have. Ugh. It was a good opportunity for everyone to go and get their snacks and prepare for the ending, because... We're going to keep going until we see credits today, I think. May as well. Keep going until we see credits. Yeah. That's my plan. Even it means... Oh, but then again, maybe I should have a cut off. All right. If it ends up being seven hours, that's my cut off. Seven hours is a cut off, but I want to keep going until I see credits. So here's hoping I see them before seven hours. Ah, <laughs> oh, one more minute until adverts. Yes, everyone, they happen every hour on the hour. So hopefully, talents crossed, we'll find the end in. Before the next bunch happen. Get a snack on your brown break, Liz. But I, I don't want to. I want to save myself until I eat dinner. Because I'm making a big... Well, I say big dinner. He's waking up Alan, but he needs to sleep. He really doesn't, quite frankly. He's been sleeping for 10 years. Sleeps more than a ferret does. To be honest with you. 
He definitely doesn't need any more sleep. Headphones off, ready to do a runner to the loo. So ready. So ready for a wee. Oh, you know what I need tonight as well? It's a nice hot shower. My hair is so, like, floofed. So floofed. <laughs> Right, 16 seconds until adverts. Let's prepare. Let's prepare. Right, I'm going. I'm ready. Okay. Right, everyone. Adverts are due any second. I'm going to turn up the music and I'll see you guys after the ad breaks and then we're going to find the ending. Hell yeah. See you in a See you in a Alright, see you in a Music. Preemptively stop the music a bit too soon then. <laughs> well, welcome back from the adverts, everyone. I hope they were not too long tings. Let's keep going. No if or buts. Let's just keep wandering in. Whoop, whoopsie daisy. How you doing, BRV? Big okay. Oh, uh, calm down. I'm not that massive. Well, and if he needs a wee. To be fair, I haven't seen Alan do a wee once yet. Wait, we're going through the. Ah, oh, you made my heart escape my chest then. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. Uh huh. I have put everything ready for the visitors. Visitors? I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest palm. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. Mm -hmm. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. 
Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. <laughs> Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. <laughs> Okay, I'll get the door open for you, Tom. The spiral door. There you go. The matter is a steak. I love steak. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. Am I allowed in your room, Ati? Ati says no. Poop do what? You heard him. Has a heart in your pants. He's wise. Artie knows him anything. Does that mean I'm gonna end up in the weird roundabout way motel room? Oh. Oh, we're back in the actual the room room. Writer's room. I was new here. Scene. I needed to write the ending. Mm -hmm. I only had one chance to get this right. One chance. And it rhyme was this a from a Zane poem? Well, everyone keeps calling us Tom. So, I mean, in a roundabout way, uh, Alan is Tom. Because Tom wrote himself, like, I say wrote himself, wrote a version of himself called Alan into the story. And that's how Alan ended up in this mess. It's always been the question of, like, is, what the heck is Alan? <laughs> I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Hmm. Only the perfect ending would work. So what have we got? Just the writer's room. So we need to figure something out. To the typewriter? Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Yeah. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. Yes. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. So... Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. An idea? Ah, hello. Let's have it. This scratch enjoys DFS a bit too much. DFS is the best, that's why. The ending has to fit the genre of its going to work. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. Right. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Are we... Either Alan's gonna, I mean, likely, maybe, eternally lock himself in the dark place, or something's gonna happen to Saga. I hope not. Pay the price. Give us a gun and wipe away the debt, huh? Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. End of chapter. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to Saga's side, huh? I wonder what Saga sees in the darkness. If she is in the darkness. 
what's going to be the next jam. Hmm. Oh, I'm so curious. That blanket, blanket looks cozy. It is cozy. It's covered in bats and stars. Ordered it out from my mother last year. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen next. Through darkest dark I'm pushing. Oh, hello. Your new voice. Through the end I'm reaching you. Who is this? Though they keep saying that my baby is gone I keep on loving you. Huh. For my love's the light holding you tight holding How many artists collaborate in this game? I know! There is no one left to love. Surprisingly, I like this! <laughs> Saga story coincidence? Definitely not. Definitely not. I do love that they have so many different songs and vibes every time an episode ends or a chapter ends, sorry. When there's no one left to love. It really does feel like, you know when you're at the end of a movie and you know you still got three more movies left after you just finished and the end credits is just the hype for the next film? It's what it feels like every time you're at the end of a chapter. It's just hype to get into the next bit. It's nice. The soundtrack to vibes. The entire game has been vibes. The music has been such a journey through it all. I don't think I've ever played a game other than like Brutal Legends. Because Brutal Legend is a game centric on the music, right? Obviously. But I don't think I've ever played a game that isn't like the music is not the core of it all. But it just enhances the journey. It does. It literally feels like you've gone to a gig and you've been taken through an entire, an entire adventure through music. It's so good. So good. Death Stranding does it too, does it? I can't wait to play that soon, one day. Whenever I'm done with all my other <laughs> after stream games, that's definitely the next one after Cyberpunk. All the Super Giant games have great soundtracks. It's so nice, isn't it? Because it means whenever you hear those songs, it's going to take you back. For example, um... I know it's generic, but Guitar Hero, whenever you hear any of the songs from like Guitar Hero 3 or any of them, it takes you back, doesn't it? It takes you back to that moment when you first played that game and it's nice when you've got a soundtrack that you can hear. You're like, oh yeah, memories. Super Giant being a developer, yeah, I gotcha. That's Ryan and Ux, can you sit through a 40 minute cutscene on stream? Definitely not. Plus that game's so massive, I wouldn't be able to play it on stream. <laughs> You'll like, get distracted every two seconds. I wasn't um, hinting, just very much reminded me of it. I see. But Doom Eternal uh, music is the best. I haven't played Doom Eternal yet. That's the only Doom game I didn't get to play in Doom Us. Anyway, continue. Let's stop dilly dallying. I'm lollygagging like crazy at the moment. Let me pick up my speed. I'm so excited. Beyond excited. I'm gonna be working for my dinner tonight, that's for sure. Oh. In her mind palace, huh? What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. Yeah. Pet the 
dear. Hello, dear. I can't pet you. I'm sad. Television? Nothing's working. I can't think straight. Huh. Manuscript? Where is everything? Everything seems to be gone. Case board. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, Missy. I can't sense anyone. Because we're in the dark place. Oh, what's going to be beyond the door? They would cause the train, the ocean color scheme, transports me to the 90 summers in the seconds. I love that. I can't leave. Oh. Why no. can't I leave? You want to know why we can't leave? It's because we're stuck in the dark place! Pop it up, the mine place. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. Mm -hmm. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? Oh, okay. What? Failed who? What What's is... happening to the case board? This is the dark place. I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. Scratch threw me in Cauldron Lake. Scratch took the clicker. Other saga. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. We haven't failed anyone, though. Find evidence. Am I profiling myself? I'm profiling the other saga. Failed them? The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. The darkness trying to change your mind, I guess. Probably trying to drag you deeper. Casey. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. Hey, Rock, how you doing? What's up? What's down with you? Nice to see you. I'll see things up with me. How are you? We're in endgame territory. We have decided to retire. Never work again. Oh, nice. GG. I'm jealous. Oh, <laughs> retiring seems like such a fancy dream to me. <laughs> how you doing, Harley? Logan. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Yeah. It's doing a thing. I'm tired. Worked 15 hours yesterday. Oh, yikes. You better be resting now. I'm going to be very cross if you're not. Oh, the $6 will let me, um... Will that... Will that me far? Will that me far? Your daughter. I'm a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Oh, I hate the dark place. Your partner. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. <sighs> Yourself? I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. It's not, though. We'll get out of here, I promise. The other saga. I did probably the most adult thing on Wednesday and finalizing it Monday. Put a lot of money into an ice account, then put some money into premium bonds. Oh, nice! That's proper adulting, that is. GG. The horror story. The story. G -g -g -g. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. 
Honestly, I don't think uh, I could work 15 hours in a row. Even if I wanted to right now. Well, you don't have to, so don't think about it. <laughs> it's different when you have to. Then you just kind of have to do it, you know? No point thinking about it too hard. Well, 4.65 interest is good. Well, that's usually how ISIS go these days. Well, I say that's how they go. They're different everywhere, but that's usually why you would open an ISA. Logan is dead. She's not dead. God damn it. Logan is dead. Bloody hell. Jeez. It's really trying to play some mental tricks on you, huh? Oh, she's fading out. Into nothing. Into the darkness. No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Mm. Something's very fucking wrong here. Ooh! I hate it here. The manuscripts? That's a lot of files. Oh, what's well, You hover over it says something else. It looks like it does look like that, yes. I paid, um, I have a payday off today anyway. Oh, no! Nice. I never should have trusted these. Nice. Manuscripts? I use manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. You're a terrible detective. What is this? For being one step behind. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, enjoy this game. I've been loving it, God. Absolutely loving it. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's so good. So good. I literally don't know what more to say about it. It's been fantastic. Can I? I'm gonna pet the deer. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's no way out. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Pages are spoilers. You can't be stepped behind the pages. Talk about your future. That is true. Is this a cult? It was a cult. There is a cult. Touch the deer. This case. This room. Is any of it even real? I don't know, but you should pet the deer. What's here? What's that? Is it coffee? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. But you can't blame yourself for everything that happens. You just gotta keep looking onwards, you know? Are we a cult? We're not a cult! What's this? Oh, reading. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. But how are you meant to know? Entry report. Subject, Alex Casey, FBI. Description of injury, 2218. Subject seems physically weakened with some sort of confusion about his whereabouts and even, um, an events. Concussion? Similar symptoms to those, uh, becoming shaded, shaded, sorry, individuals. Exposure to the shadow, suspected, but not confirmed. You knew he was hurt. You knew the dark presence did something to him. You didn't care. You only pretended to care when it was convenient. He suddenly became a liability. Let Scratch have him. I did not. It's clearly the darkness really trying to curb how you're thinking about things. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Well, how were you meant to know? Stop blaming yourself. Transcript of the interview with the subject, Alan Wake, suspected paraurethylerin. I guessed it, but how are you meant to know? We're the cult of Ukinus. No, an article. We can't call ourselves a cult. Location, Bright Falls, WA. Interviewer, Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Mr. Wake, you've been taken into the FPC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask you, is there anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel? Anything we may need to know. Yeah, need to know. Wake. There's a force here, don't understand. A present that is after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark present before. There were so many hints. How did I mess with this? Wake, it's scratching. It was random and your nose. Wake, was scratch, 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 Hey, sport. Wake was scratch all along. Meh? This isn't... What? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Everything is getting absolutely dark up in here. Very, very, very dark. Not the presence of the dark things. Oh, is that going to be up on Katie's? Um, over here? No, nope. here. There is. What's happening? Should never brought him to Cauldron Lake, right? To scratch. How were we meant to know we were on a job? For tax purposes, we're a church. We're not a church. But I can't get even for these. It definitely does not say that. 
Wait. What? He reckoned we weren't there because we were doing some... Well, okay, to be fair, I was doing nursery rhymes in the woods and that's why we weren't there for him. But like, I'm sure it, it can be excused, right? This has all been a hallucination. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Shadow monsters, false Piazzi's magical writers, really? Oh, Logan's Night Springs? Things. Oh, God, this is feeling very Blair Witchy. It's so dark here. I don't like it. It was so obvious the Coscola brothers were behind the cult. No, it wasn't. Uh, all that Alan Wake story reminded me of was about the Mouth of Madness with Sam Neill. Yeah, the cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Not quite. The spiral was way more uh, longing than that. Logan. The horror story used her. Mm -hmm. Walkie talkie. I've had it with you, cultist maniac. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. You were not meant to know what was going to happen. Stop blaming us. I'm going to keep repeating myself. I am. Oh, I remember he was like, we. Uh, like, we was too fun and happy with the musical. Let's get really dark for us a game. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their Hi. weekly ritual. I like Night Springs too. It's good. Here? I spent too much time away from Logan. Mm. Mm. She's just not blaming herself because she's just going to let the darkness consume her. Logan was alone. What the hell? Spent every day by herself in that trailer. Took Logan away from her father. He took her from David and stuck her in a backwater poop hole. Find my partner to investigate things on my own. Oh. What? No. You're so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. Logan's death broke something inside of me. Come on, down here, right? No? You've lost your mind? That's not... No. You couldn't face what happened, so you cracked. Casey was wrong to put me in his trust. Or put trust in me. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. Please find a way out. Elmo and Yako were right running a cult underneath your nose. Fuck no! What kind of detective are you? They were right in front of you. I feel like we shouldn't be adding these to the board. But we gotta progress some which what way, don't we? A way out. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. An example of giving your critical self too much power over you. Most of um most of us have to listen to our kind self more. I learned that from my therapist. Hundred percent. It's basically repeating what I was talking about at the start of stream. We had a really deep chat at the start of stream, and this is essentially repeating from what we were talking about earlier today. I need a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There is no point trying. There's always a point Everything trying. is lost. Never is. There's no way out. Hand. No way to fix this. Get a band-aid. There's no way out. Find way. I'm stuck here forever. And do the glue. Just me and my past. Look onwards. My guilt. My mistakes. Your lessons learned. Dear. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. 
Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. We will find a way out. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Heck yeah. And we'll find it, don't you worry, Saga. We will always find it. Find the good things in the world. That is the way out. I have a kind self, but I'm ginger. You need to slap yourself on the wrist. My badge. Never should have taken this case. How are you meant to know? Stop blaming your past and look at the future. Hey. hey. Saga. Just, just calling to say thanks, thanks for your note. note. For its worth. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just, I get, just in get in my head, head, too, head much. too much. So, so thanks for pulling me out. I You're really the best, really boss. Really. really. I think it's a poem okay. that look. Okay. Talk soon. Talk soon. For what it's worth, I think it's a poem that Logan grows up seeing what you do, what you love. Oh, the letter we saw in the mine pass at the start. Oh, so she is trying to pull herself out. Good. Anderson, uh, look, look, after Brand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in, I was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, uh, it really, uh, meant a lot. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It better mean a lot. Better mean a lot, buddy. Um, brrr, squid of voice, future. Oh boy. Thank you for the confetti, Seymour. I hope you're good out there. I saw, I this, saw online this online and it made me think of you. Okay, okay, what are you what doing? Are you doing? Uh, don't, don't make a big make deal a out of it, mom. mom. No hugs, oh, no, no hugs. hugs. Oh, I'm not the worst, mom. See? Stop blooming on the dark. Sometimes we gotta look at the light. That's coming from a golf. <laughs> Stop, Stop blaming, blaming yourself, yourself Anderson. Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just part, of the, part of the job. If you're going to keep fussing, you can get the hell out. Leave the, 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 the whiskey. 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 Mm. And another. How you doing, Seymour? I hope you're good. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Stop thinking about the sad stuff. Think about the good stuff, Missy. Oh, wow, that's a lot of case files. No, I'm not reading anymore. Good. Mm. Bop it. I am honored, I am honored by, this by this award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. While our While agency our must continue, continue to, improve, to improve, the work we, work do, we here, do here, protecting, protecting communities, communities, pursuing, pursuing the, truth, the truth, it's the most, the important, most important work, work there is. There is. Mm-hmm. And slowly the lights are turning back on. Good. Oh, and another one. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I, made I made you a charm bracelet. bracelet. Oh. Good, luck. Good, luck. Good luck. I made a matching made a one for me, so bring me back bring something back cool something from Washington. Washington. Cute. That's really cute. We are missing a portrait by here of Logan. I remember it. Maybe we'll pick it up in a second, huh? Um, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Hello, Kafuki. Oi, chat. Hello, Captain Oz. How you doing? What's up, Dan? How's it going? I hope you're good. Because, you know, wake me up inside. Yeah, I got it! <laughs> I got some stuff to do. I'll be here looking. Enjoy your look. Have a good one. You're a terrible mom. Oh. Hmm. Come on, Richie, Richie, FBI. I can't let this place make me question myself. 100%. I know what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. That was oh, perfectly no. timed. That was really well timed. Well done. Thank you, sister. the follow. Welcome to Megaphone Lands. I hope you enjoy staying. Not going to call out your name, though, just in case you're lurking. But welcome, welcome. Manuscript pages can't change reality. Well, maybe they can. A uh, dark person took advantage of Casey's injury. Got hurt. God damn it. Ooh. 
You knew he was injured. Why did? You, why the hell did you take him to Cauldron Lake? Bottle of whiskey I gave Casey when he was in hospital. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. Mm -hmm. It's no one's fault. Our fault. It is. It is. No. 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 I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome that he taught me that. If I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for my past mistakes won't solve the case. Thank you for the positive internal monologue. We need it. There? I'm not a perfect mom. No. But I'm doing my best. And that's the best you can do. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. What the fuck? I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best. Logan loves me and I love her. I brought this mug with me on every case I go. Um, I go where work takes me, but I never forget where home is. Photo of Casey at Logan's um, birthday. Do, 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 do. Up there. <gasps> Doing good things, just been to a racetrack and took pics. Nice. How was it? It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. Of course. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. Of course. From leaving. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to the negative no. thoughts. I might not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. He wouldn't give up. And neither will I. Casey's still in there, and I'm sure of it. Casey isn't just a partner, he's family. You bet your butt he is. Reassuring note from mom. You lost your mind? No. This is all real. I know it is. But the FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. God damn it. I haven't lost it to at least not yet. It's all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. Your mom knows something like this would happen. That I would need to hear these words someday. Possibly. We always need those sort of words. Oh, Saga's voice actor. Your accent is slipping. I don't even know what her original voice is, so I wouldn't know if she's slipping or not. Boop. It's okay to be afraid. Mm-hmm. But I can't let this end here. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just... I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Mm-hmm. Casey needs me. I am so sorry. God damn it. My anus wanted to make sure that you are all awake. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. How you doing? What's up with Stan? How's it going? Hope you're good. Everyone hurts each other sometimes, but matters how you deal with it and move on. Mm, every lesson is a lesson learned, right? My daughter isn't dead, and I won't let some bull poop story convince me that I let her die. She wanted us to stay connected. God, I love that kid. Uh, she's pretty. She keeps sneaking through, especially when she says, God damn it. Oh, I haven't noticed. I have a notice I just consider her voice just the same way that my accent goes in and out all the time. I just figured it's just the way you pronounce things, isn't it, sometimes? But only Alan is wake. <laughs> Be you. Oh, sorry. Did it make your nose hair fizzle? If it did, consider it a love puff. The more fizzly it is and the eye-watering it is, the stronger the, the platonic love is. And very well, thanks. Glad to hear it. It was enjoyable to hear some knocks against the walls. There's a banger racing, so good to watch. Other half is more photographer, and she likes cars. Also, her B-Day today is a win-win. Oh, nice! Congratulations leveling up to your missus! How fun! I'm glad you guys had a good time. So that was the place. I went to the garden and get the kitchen cleaned up. What happened? Saga got through into the water. Scratch taken over Casey. Um, Saga's trying to get out of the dark place. And um, Mr. Wake is trying to rewrite the ending. There you go. Onwards! What's my drink? Over here. Uh, I am leaving! I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. Can and I can better. start by leaving this room. Hell yeah. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. Good. To the door. I'm so close. The dark place wants me to hate myself. Of but I just does. need to get inside my own head. You can't let it control you, obviously. I pass on my B-Day wishes. Thank you! I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Did you get a cake? Gotta have cake. Or any sort of tr sweet treat that's like proper yummy. Even if it's a proper nice dinner. I left us Alan. Alan, walk. How do I leave? Touch the doorknob! No, no! 
Yes, yes. The dark place tried to trap me here. Mm -hmm. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Case closed. Dark place tried to use my fears, anxieties, and guilt to trap me here to get back to Bright Falls. I have to dive even deeper. I won't give up. Anonymous! This place weaponizes your fears, but being afraid won't stop me. Case closed. Woke up seven this morning, legit got bad, went to the fridge and munched on a million of cheesecake from Iceland. Nice. Dark place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than that, and Logan needs me. Through the door. Radio? Weapon upgrade. <gasps> We're back! Of sorts. What have I missed on the TV? Oh, return review. Yeah. The radio still got all the songs that I definitely have not listened to. Well, I have listened to, but I've been ignoring. Oh, we're missing one song from various artists. And three more from the Pat Main radio show. I've missed three. Oh. Can I pet the deer? I know I've got one left and I don't know where it one is. One remaining. I know, but I don't know where it is. Anyway, let's leave. Uh, she picked up some of those Mr. Kipling hot raspberry sponge puddings for a cake. She didn't want to try one. Nice. I hope she enjoys them. I really do. The graphics are too good. I can't tell if it's an actor. An actual actor or not. Um, Dylan. They like to do a mix of both fun facts. Sometimes they have um, like actual film stuff in it. Like actual footage. And it intermixes between the both. It's awesome. It's so good. Right. Let's leave the dark place. You've got this. I believe in you, Saga. You've got this. Just one step. Why do I look like Night Springs for a second there? Saga, wake up. Return nine. Come home. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Wow. That's a different vibe at this time of day, doesn't it? Okay, to the payphone. Um, that track's pretty hard, actually. Thank you for clarifying. You're most welcome. They do a really inventive thing with this one. It's so well done. It's very unique art style to it. I just went in to end after you opened the door, so did I. I was going to be like, I swear to God, I would absolutely eat my slipper if it did. <laughs> and then I'd be like, I now know why they're going to do DLC. But nope, so far so good. <laughs> Hello, Ace. How you doing? What's up? What's done? How's it going? Parliament Tower. Closed case. Lost. Have you played Control? Yes, 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 yes. I've been doing Alan Wary. We went from Alan Wake 1 DLCs, American Nightmare, Control, the Control DLCs, and now it's Alan Wake 2. It's been such a journey. I haven't. Does it have an adjective like Remedy Games do? Yeah. It's more about the journey than the destination. It's well worth a go. Well worth it. If you're, control, um, if you're curious about Control at all, I do have an entire playthrough of the VODs uh, from last month up on YouTube if you want to check like a little click through just to see what it's like. It was a great fun journey though, I'll tell you that one. I just highly recommend it. Go on, listen up. Who's on the phone? Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. Was that Alice? The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? That sounded like Alice. Gotta get into Parliament Tower? The shoebox, we've done that before. Good to know, I'll do that. You're most welcome to. But I highly recommend playing it. It's been a great journey. And you know, the best thing about games, if you don't like it, you can just turn it off and uninstall it. <laughs> It may feel like time wasted, but at least then you know, right? 
Give me everything. Thank you very much, Lee. Hmm. It's also on Xbox Game Pass with all the DLC. Yeah, so worth doing. If Game Pass works for you, that would be amazing. Hmm. Oh no, not this way. It definitely wants me to go this way around then, huh? Is that not Parliament Tower? It's at the tower, right? It's not, not where I gotta go. I don't sound like her own voice to be aged. It kind of almost sounded a bit like Alice to me. It's always hard to tell through phones, I find. No, not that way. I need to find something in the shoebox. Tim? Tim? He's still stuck here. Oh, I hope we don't forget about rescuing him. I'm gonna be really sad. Agent Anderson. Hiya. Is that really you? Yeah. Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? <laughs> I thought it sounded like her own voice. I, it does sound like Alice to me. It was her own voice, Saga, whatever I recognized it, I think. But you don't always recognize your own voice, do you? If you've never, like, really sat down and listened to it properly. And then last night, I missed your playthrough because surgery recovery. Then play it! So good! What are you doing here? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Whirlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... <laughs> well, it feels like a long time now. Um, Whirlin Dorr, who's that? If I called me, I probably wouldn't get it right away. Yeah, I... Well, I, I tell a bit. A couple of years ago, before I started streaming, I wouldn't have realized. But now that I stream a lot and I do recognize my own voice, I'd be like, oh yeah, that me. <laughs> uh, Wallen Door, who's that? Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. Hmm. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. Hmm. He's connected to all of this. Somehow. Where's Parliament Tower Plaza? I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. Mm. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Of course. Of course. The aggressor there, Uki, is it that good? I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. There was a point where I started to get a bit burnt out of it, but that's because I was really going for the side quests. I've been seeing a few people play Far Cry 6 lately, and I keep feeling like I want to pick it back up again because I didn't finish it. Do it. Why not? Do it. Pick it back up. I actually haven't played Far Cry since Far Cry 2 when that came out. I was applied for a new kitchen job today that pays an extra three pound, um, an extra three pound extra an hour not much extra, but it builds up. Hey, every penny counts. Every cent, every penny always counts. No matter how little, and no matter how much. It all builds, doesn't it? Can I see that page? Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. No. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Maybe. Here. Oh, thank you. I'm going to keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. I believe in you. Warling Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Obviously, I'm going to listen to the manuscript properly, though. And uh, that's like another £25 day um, for a full work day. Sounds odd to me. Every penny counts. Never say boo to a penny. <laughs> These games confuse me, to be age. I like them, but WTF is going on. Literally that, to be honest with you. It's very, very that. I think that is the full intention, is that you're never quite sure. But then you're also relating to the characters themselves. They're never quite sure either. So if anything, you are very much in the footsteps of the journey 
that the protagonist is taking you through too. I've got sentimental memories with Valkyrie too and a friend. What are we going to do? It got her close to my heart. Oh, that's cute. That's sweet. Have we got the job? Yeah, talent cross. So roughly an extra 150 to 100 pound a week. See? Every penny counts. I don't think of, um, you have the answer. I changed the question. It's really that. Uh, I'm going to send to this. War Lindor walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. The rain didn't seem to touch him. He sensed his steps were being observed, documented into the story. He allowed it, this one time for this one reason, to be passed on by his unwilling disciple to read at the right time. The ocean that was the dark place took the shape of New York City, drawn for the mind of Alan Wake, in part for the writer to navigate his prison, in part to torment him as he struggled to find his way out. Dor was not bound by the rules as Wake was, he came and went as he pleased. For now, Dor entertained the writer's fantasy, for a purpose known only to him. At the edge of the plaza, he stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there, another part of Wake's fiction. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Um, I might be moving to Scotland soon and they said I should be able to work for a law firm there soon. Nice! Talents Cross, you'll find out soon enough about what's going on over there. Yee, how exciting! Mr. Dor. Mr. Dor. Warlindor. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlindor. Hmm. Who is he? Oh. A Who door that he? stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Mm. Opening too many doors. <sighs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. I mean, if you're sure, but nope, we're going into the next bit. We're going to wheels the lawman and have a Saturday morning detective show. Yes! Just so long as you don't become a store between the two realities. Or multiple realities. Moving through the dark place. The page describes him moving through the door. Mm -hmm. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare... Maybe I can find a way to get back home. I am starting to feel like we are not going to leave this game anytime soon. <laughs> that there's going to be a lot more journey ahead of us. Hmm. Right, to the construction. Construction's over here. So there should be a... That door? Is that a door? Did a door just pop up? It looks like a door. I swear that wasn't there before. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I like his brother, Trapdoor. Trapdoor's um, hilarious. He really, really does send you down sometimes, though, doesn't he? Hmm. Ooh. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse, for some urgent reason. I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast. Down a coastal road to get there. Do I have a torch? I do. Good. Me in. Oh, not the bloody subway. Not the bloody subway. No, I don't want to be down here. But. <laughs> Great. So am I going to have to walk through the same footsteps as Alan? Oh, so the posters are blank. I don't want to. Oh, it looks like that door's open, but what's over her? Anything good? You may not be the only you out there. Please carry a portable light with you in the subway. As a teenager just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. What about all the inanimate objects that had been to his life in his books? No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. There's anything but the darkness possesses anything and it'll be getting closer. I'd never been so this glad to see the sun rise. I had a couple of hours to get to the cold mine. That's literally from the first game. 
Think you gods? Think you can just make stuff up? You think you can play? Give us lives and kill them when you think it adds drama? You end the story now and I'll make you suffer. Oh. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, nothing over there. I guess we're leaving. Brrr, subway, bloody subway. It's a bloody subway. Look at it. It's painted in red. If you do get the job, I'll probably um, end up putting extra money in the savings account or a private retirement fund. Do it. Do it. One of the characters in my D&D has a fear of the underground due to how many evil things are put underground. <laughs> kind of like that. Not going to lie. Good. Feel the fear. Ooh, another toolbox. And another one over there. Get the loop. Oh, these signs are so much fun. They are. If you take a little moment to read... It really does expand on everything for you. I love it. I actually love it. I made it. Mm -hmm. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. She's somewhere up there. This subway wears sandwiches and cookies. I wish. You pushed me. Enough already. <laughs> yeah, please. Hi, okay. Sorry for not being on stream for a while. Never say sorry. You got a life to live on. Whether you're here all the time or not, you do what you gotta do, in it. I didn't go to blue. What's up with that? It's been a hot minute. What you been up to? Hope life's been treating you well. There it is. There's Parliament Tower. Nice. And the statue should be right ahead. Oh, the shadow people are here. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going for it. I'm gonna go for a jog. Going for a jog. Ignore me, shadow people. Ignore me. There's the shoebox. Yes. I don't have anything to put in the shoebox, do I? The clicker. The clicker or the and bullet? Some kind of bullet. Shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington? I bet I can only take one. I bet I can only take one. Right. I'm gonna make a decision. In case it doesn't let me take both. Because I feel like this is blue pill, red pill territory. That's what this feels like. This feels very red pill, blue pill. I don't know though. It might let me take both, but it doesn't feel like it. Because judging by this pictures, it was two different pic, like two separate pictures. The click of the trap? No, I think they're trying to make you decide. Why not the purple pill? I wish you could just take both. The light bullet. If we think about it this way, Light bullet will mean we can probably kill Scratch. You know, destroy the darkness forever. Or the light switch. The light switch makes anything that is, like, made into reality of sorts, right? Just takes the box. I wish I could just bloody take the box. I mean, I might be thinking about this too hard. But let's be honest. You get presented with both of these after the entire game we've just had. It's clearly an option. Which one do you want? One's going to fizzle out into nothing. I just know it. I'll be pleasantly surprised if I can take both. I'd be very surprised. If I take the light switch, I can bring my daughter and everyone back. If I take the bullet, I can kill the darkness. Potentially. It's been another hour. Uh huh. Another hour. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. That's going to be one to mull over while I'm sat on the toilet. That's for sure, because I need another wee and I need to get some more water. Punch him in the face and grab both and chip my do Obviously that, yeah. Which one will Luke's take? Stay tuned after the commercial break to find out! Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, like, I might be thinking about this too heavily. I might just be able to pick up both, but I don't know. Of everything that I've felt through this entire game, this feels like an option. Selfless or selfish? Complicated for sure. Well, they're both kind of selfless. In some which what way, right? But they're also both equally selfish. <sighs> this is where I just find out I can pick up both. I just have everything I'm worried about. It's just like, you know, gone forever. But I guarantee this is a choice I make. And it's not like there's a safe station anywhere nearby for me to just say, like, you know, do a cheeky save. I don't think. Should I go and see if the light room is nearby? Is the light room around the corner? Can I do a cheeky save? Are you in there? Tim's gone. Ah, oh, you bots. Of course. I have to make a choice. I have to make a choice. And I don't know what the choice is going to be. So the outside icon lights up after you went upstairs. Yeah, but like, if I can't do a manual save, the auto save's going to be in the bin anyway. It's going to override. 
It's not a manual save where you can put it into a separate slot, is it? By the way, everyone, there is an ad break in 30 seconds. It's gonna last for three minutes. When we're back, I'll choose one, I guess. And see if I'm right. See if I'm right if it's gonna make me choose one. I don't know though. I really don't know. Paul, you know what? Mods, put up a three minute poll if you mind. Of take bullet or take the take the clicker. I'm curious. I'll be back after the ads. Please take your meds, take your bits, get a drink, go to the loo. We'll be right back. I promise you, with a choice. I'm probably gonna ip dip it though. Probably gonna ip dip it. Right. Get some music. See you in a minute. It's too jolly for what's going on. Oh, the poll is nearly over. I can see you guys have chosen a very wonderful third choice in that. Thank you, Steve, for swaying the vote. <laughs> I'm having the habits though, everyone. Welcome back. It looks like these nuts won. But the next one next to it is bullet for with four and clicker with one. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. I know Hot Wheels keep saying the clicker's gonna be a trap, but it's not. It's a choice to be made. Selfish versus selfless. Oh, don't see how that's in any way my fault. But off I guess. Definitely you. You did it. Unless, who made the... It was you, I see it. It says your name started it. Definitely you. <sighs> Ip, dip, sky blue. Steve sitting on a loo. He drops a poo. Sing a song. Out goes you. Clicker it is. We'll see if my theory is right, but I reckon it's I'm right. Go on then. Clicker. Oh! Oh! I lied! 
right. I was stressing for no reason. I stressed for, ah! for nothing. I stressed for no reason whatsoever. Out the way. No, 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 no. Go on. Parliament Tower. Parliament Tower. No, 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 no. Get in, Saga. Get in. Oh, you won. I can't get in. Oh, no. I don't like it. Ah! I don't like this one bit. I do not like this. In this like this. That's amazing seven minutes spent doing that. Well, I thought it was going to be a trickery. You cannot tell me it didn't look like trickery, did it not? It was 100% like, what well, option are you going to choose? Are you going to doom them all or are you going to save them all? That's what that felt like. I thought too hard. How the hell am I meant to get into Parliament Tower now? Go around in circles. I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, what? What am I doing? Why don't I just go in the mine palace? Escape the dark place. Oh, that's good guidance. Thanks. Do I go back down to the subway? No. Yes. No. Maybe I do. Maybe I do go back down. Oh, I guess I do. <laughs> the music changed. Well, I guess I'm going the right way, huh? Um, well, uh, technically, he just gave us the option. He did not force us to vote, so there, he has no fault here. Lies. Lies. He definitely swayed the vote. Definitely swaying. Oh, they're down here too. I can hear them. Ah, oh, teenagers. <laughs> oh, no. Get out of it, lads! Where'd he go? Whoa, he's a zoomy boy. Whoa, 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 zoomy boy. <sighs> running, 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 dodge, 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 dodge. Running, 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 run, run, run with a limp. Yay! Running with a limp. Open up. Let me in! Get out! Get out of my stomach! Running, 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 running. I didn't even vote. This is a love. Blah, 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 blah. The phone again. God! Just about made it through that by being a wuss. Sometimes you need to be a wuss, okay? Being a wuss is fine. Imagine if IRL worked that way. You walk to work and you enter your workplace and for the first time, honest music plays and the auto safe happens. I'd be like, great. It's one of them days. One of those days. <sighs> Who's on the phone? Is it going to be Alice again? I swear it's Alice. Oh, goodbye. Yes? Hello. Hello? Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Alice. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Hmm. Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. To the mind place. Through profiling. Gonna buy your missile, lake insurance, and coverage for your clicker loss. I swear to goodness. Hear that heavy metal theme? The boss is coming. Just like, oh, great. It's a Monday. Wake. We need to talk. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. Is there a problem? 
So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. Adam Wake looks like a love child between Jake and Helen Keanu. Let me tell you when I say I've heard that quite a bit during these uh, couple months. Horror story? You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. Mm -hmm. Pre-existing parts? So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. So who's gonna get stuck? Logan and Casey must survive. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending oh. to drive that fucking thing out of him. Cool. Make sure I have Dum Dum the hero. No! Tim Breaker did nothing, though. As far as I'm aware, he's done nothing at all to deserve to be stuck in this place. How is he the ending? Well, if the ending has to fit the story. This is how I see it. Uh huh. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. Mm. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now, we're figuring out the ending I need to write. What is that thing doing to him? What is that thing doing to him? It, it doing the thing of things. It's not your ending. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. Bloody hell, we are really going for this. We're going deeper and deeper and deeper. To be fair, all he needs is an actual editor. That's what he needs to help guide him towards the end of the story. The price must be paid. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Oh boy. Hey, are you winning on live? It doesn't feel like it right now, Scarabic. It does not feel like that. This game just keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Hope you're good, though. Let's up us down. Sorry, I just... There's been a lot going on in the last couple of hours. Maybe control was the cost? 
But as far as I'm aware, we don't really have like any way of making that be the cost. You know what I mean? The story. Can I finally use these? No. Well, I can tell you right now, Gazamoose, my spine is as straight as it can be. If you need to sort out your posture, please do. Please do. Oh, I need to heal. Super duper badly. Can I go through this door now? Will it take me to where I need to go? Oh! What's that over there? What? Oh, is this the overlap? Am I potentially gonna make my way out? Is that what's going on here? Deep breath, Saga. Oh boy. Oh boy, am I about to jump on in? I guess so. Thanks, Epic! Saga, I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Casey? The end. Scratch! Now! <gasps> a white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Uh -huh. Come on, you motherfucker! Come on! Come on! What if there's nothing waiting to be revealed? The play of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. Oh, God! We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside, is destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Uh -huh. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. Uh -huh. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing with sleep. <gasps> this is how we win. Is it too easy? <laughs> Thank you. To fill the dark Scared place, another dream to wake up from, pounds. always coming back to the beginning. Thank you for the, the memory great... of what came before, burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... Is that it? Is that the end? Remedy our king of blue balls. King of blue balls. King of blue balls. The bloody queen king, royalty of blue balls. Oh, not again. Not again. <laughs> What were you saying about blue balls? I hope they weren't gonna blue ball me again and they did it again. Hello, Wraith, how are you doing? What's up, what's down? How's it going? Did you finish it? I'd finish as it is right now. 
Is he gonna bum rush the final draft? <laughs> but! <sighs> Time to play New Game Plus. New Game Plus adds to it and continues it. No, it doesn't. No, don't tell me I have to do New Game Plus and go through the entire game all over again. I want for us at least one person in the credits to be named Opti. Scooter Bagger! Of joy for Livid Moki. Scooter Baker gifted a tier one sub to Livid Mochi. They have given six gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Scooter Bagger! What you like drawing to the book of subs? Thank you for giving us a bonus of joy! Oh, an anonymous! Because of joy for you Blue underscore bold underscore. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Blue underscore bold underscore. You're a bumhole, anonymous! <laughs> And Blue Paul is out there, would you like to join the book? <sighs> there is more to the ending. So I'm like, you son of a peach. In New Game Plus, there's some major differences. Just add stuff in the New Game Plus. So, you mean I have to play a 40 hour game in a weekend to get the full ending? Yeah, crack on, I can see stuff I missed the first time round. You still got 40 minutes to get on with it? Now do it again! Uh, time for an uncapped subathon! 40 hours in one weekend. Jesus. Uh, time to get your game face on. Like I can do that! Bull should have a picture of Alan Wake in the book. I see. So you watch a bit with all the new game plus stuff. That's literally what I would do, to be honest with you. Because ah, oh! oh. I hate it. It's one thing I hate is when games are like, oh, you have to do new game plus to get the full story. What if I don't wanna? Ugh. Just play on easy. I just played, there was no difficulty choice. I just played it as it was. Oh. What an incredible game, but what a bloody blue ball. That my body didn't count towards the hype train. I, I don't know if it does or not. Oh, they don't, apparently not. Thank you for your dollar though. Thank you, Scarab. Wrong timing though, we were right in the ending. Thank you though, I appreciate it. Send help, I have zero energy today. I'd give you my energy, but I've just been sat down for seven hours, nearly. Trying to, trying to beat the game, and I did. To discover, I need to do New Game Plus to actually technically finish it. You choose normal, did I? I can't remember what I did. The game just ended. Yeah, it just ended. The true ending is on New Game Plus. I hate that, though. Ooh. Alice? Hello. This part is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and... something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake. A dark ocean with, with echoes of myself. My, my, my fears, my photos inside a dark tide of, of madness the same events and images looping again and again and then i saw a light your light you dove in just as i swam out you never drowned and you're still there reaching out that is what the haunting is i can see you because i've been there too i chose to come back to the dark place that is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think 
we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. It's a spiral. Cross energy drink and get cracking. That's annoying. <sighs> when she wearing Jesse's jacket, it looked like Jesse's jacket, didn't it? It's entirely possible. Heroes and villains, poets and bull. But I think she was after Jesse. No, before Jesse's time, though. Unless she guided Jesse on a journey. I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But is anything ever a coincidence and remedy? Just came back as you finished, Claire. It's so good. Thank you, the headbats. Hope you enjoyed it. I loved it. But now I'm like, I'm wondering if I need to do New Game Plus. Song that's playing is Heroes of Fears, Poets of the Fall, yeah. Ugh. Am I just gonna bin off Unhinged Month to do New Game Plus? Take a moment to appreciate how good the lip sync is between the two playing Alan and the two boys. Right? Right? Like, every time I'm watching the live action clips, that's all I can think about is how good the lip syncing is. For those who don't realize, for those who don't realize, the voice of Alan is not the face of Alan. Alan's face, like the voice of Alan, is actually Dr. Darling from Control. We see him peering in in the TV every so often. The act, like the face for Alan is a completely different person. So where every time we see a live action scene, whereas every other time the voice is lining up with the actor's faces, right? This for Alan, it's a completely different voice actor for his face and the lip syncing is so good. So good. This song was written uh, without relation to the game, but it fits perfectly. Oh, cool. So Ugi, what's the next game? Well, I was gonna have Unhinged month, but now I'm like, maybe I should do New Game Plus. Do doing his voice is Dr. Darling, which is crazy. It's mental. You play offline and only stream the ending. I mean, I guess I could record the out, like, an unedited playthrough offline. Same with Alice Casey, Sam Lake. It's not his actual voice, but Max Payne voice actor. Yes! Yes, it's mad. Actually mad. Can we discuss that Eternal DFS actually was Alan's worst nightmare? I really love that. That Alan's worst nightmare is the sun is shining and DFS is actually going ahead. <laughs> it's so typical. So obviously gonna be an Alan ending. Well, nightmare. I think Zane is the actor's real voice. Uh, I don't honestly like to see the differences. Mm. Sleepover is, I guess. <laughs> you can see in um, a new game plus. Wait, I don't honestly love to see the differences. Same. The electric music is quite nice too. Must have taken many lines to line it up perfectly. Mm. Casey's real voice was in here too a bit. Mm -hmm. Zane was, um, was acted and voiced by the same actor. Zane? As in... As in... um. Alan Wake. <laughs> so good though. I really wish that I would have included Barry in this game. Barry was included though. Just not in voice or actor lines. He was included in um, Alice's apartment in the emails because we read them. Maybe it's a new game plus. I don't think so. And plus they make lots of mentions of Baza. Like when you have the retirement home. They, the retirement home began because of Baza for the Gods of Asgard. He was their tour manager. And he's all the way in California trying to make sure they don't make a game of Alan Wake. <sighs> yeah, someone's name was played by the Alan Wake face and body actor. Mm, there we go. I go to New Game Plus does add new stuff. That's what everyone says, and it's like the true ending. The true ending. Oh, but do I want to go through 30 odd hours to, <laughs> to just find the, the ending after three months of just nothing but this? I don't know, my dudes. Unless. Unless this. Riddle me this, my friends, my viewers, people who sit in the shadows. What if, what if, this DLC coming up very shortly, right, for Alan Wake? What if we save New Game Plus to blast through it before the DLC, and then we play the DLC? Alan, where are we not over? 
a continuing spiral just going on at another time, perhaps? Which is actually interesting because that perfectly fine ending to lead into the threequel <laughs> was actually because Alan has the imposter syndrome, which may have caused his depression in the beginning. And at DFS, everyone was then praising him in his new book over the top. Best example, um, Kostika, not even discussing the concept, but talking about the material the book is made of. Mm hmm. Search your feelings, Zuki. You know it to be true. By the way, did you happen to watch the Oh Dear Dinah Thermos trailer? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I've watched the, uh, pretty much all of them, but I think I'm only missing one advert. It's like the old beat em up games, like uh, the Golden Axe. If you play easy, the game tells you to play again on hard difficulty to unlock the last levels. Yeah, it's so annoying. But hearing about the new game plus, I almost unsaw. Well, there we go then. You learned something. <laughs> that's a good plan. What do you guys think? I'm not ready to let go. Do you not think that's a good idea? Because then we can scrub up completely about what's going on in Alan Wake 2 before we dive into DLC. That way then we can all have a little break in the sense of like letting us digest the information because we already know the DLC's out this year. It's going to be coming out. So, uh, and as always, we're probably going to play it after it's already out of the DLC, which will give everybody a plenty of time to play it themselves and digest that information before we even dive into it. Coming late? No, <laughs> not that soon. I want to play Devil May Cry in May. But what do you think? We could do that. Or we could even wait until, like, let's be honest, there's probably going to be two DLCs. It's probably going to be two DLCs. We could always wait until the second one comes out. There's no rush to do it immediately. But it means that we got enough time, a little bit distance, because distance makes the heart grow fonder before we dive into it. That way then we're fresh as a daisy before we even play it. Yeah, to a DLC. So we could theoretically wait until the next DLC comes out. Like the two DLCs fully out before we go into it. The other October-ish. Ah! Oh! Um, uh, the Waketober. <laughs> Waketober? I mean, we could do that. We could literally do that. Let's wait for the complete story. Mm, maybe we should wait for the two DLCs to come out. Alan Wary in 2025. That would be a sick idea. That could be way sick. It's like experiencing it all over again. <laughs> but in January next year. <laughs> I mean, we could do that. <laughs> Alan Wary, but again. As they say, it may loop forever and ever, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes you grow at far grow fonder. They have confirmed there'll be two expansion release in 2024. I mean, that could work. Maybe we should plan that. Tell song of the first one is already a chapter song. Playlist on Spotify, sick. I can't wait to listen to the OST as much as possible. At least they managed to finish the lines um, before James McCaffrey, if Casey's VA passed. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice they were able to. You mean Alan Wary 2? It literally, I mean, I don't mean to like brag on, but it does write itself. <laughs> Start back at AWM for Wakery 2025. In the meantime, Ook Nukem. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna play Duke Nukem. We could definitely do Duke Nukem at some point. You know what? That's an actual great plan. I think that's a great plan. Alan Wary in January 2025. We're gonna re-experience New Game Plus and the DLCs when they're out. At that point, everyone should have been able to play the DLCs before we even stream it. And that way, you all don't have to worry about spoilers. Unless you are worried about spoilers, then obviously, fair do, but... <laughs> That way then, we can have a whole rest of the year to chill out before we go back into it. And let the mods probably chill out a bit after <laughs> dealing with all the potential spoilers. I mean, that could work. Can it be Alan Wary too? Wake harder? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe we should make a command to call it that. <laughs> Kingdom Ook Hearts? I would love to play Kingdom Hearts one day. So I'm back at AWM for Wakery? Oh my god, I think I died. <laughs> but we could definitely do that because there are games I want to play this year, right? We got Devil May Cry in May, and that ends whenever it ends. I'd like to um, I'd want to do the Half Life franchise. Maybe I'll do that for Unhinged April. Um, we also, I say we. I also want to play Max Payne. Max Paymus, December. Max Paymus leads straight into Alan Wake Two. On the offline, we play Quantum Break. I mean, I don't mean to say that, like, I'm really good at figuring out plots and plans to make things, like, you know, lead into one another, but... <laughs> um, it looks like the DLC may actually release in May. Oh, then, perfect. We play a different game so that no one feels like they got to get spoiled by it if they want to play it themselves. You've got a place to escape to if you want. And then we do that. It's on Epic. I can't play Epic while I stream. It glitches out massively, so I can't do it. I just have to buy them literally. I don't make two glitches speed run in under two hours. You can do it in one stream. I would, I mean, 
That feels like that would take so much training to do that. How you doing, Archangel? What's up with that? How's it going? Should we wait for the Max Payne remix first? I feel like that's right to do, but I really want to play Max Payne so bad. <laughs> I just saw Detroit become human today. Oh, really? How are you finding it? That's like um, Beyond Two Soils slash Hard Rain vibes, isn't it? Uh, this robot is so mad at me. Max Payne won a slight pain in the butt to make it work on PC. It's doable, but also wait for the remix. But what if I want to play the OG? I mean, if I just go digging in my dad's attic and the PCs up there still work, I could possibly cam link them up that way. <laughs> I forgot I had Quantum Break. I've got Quantum Break as well. So many thoughts. But I am genuinely thinking, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am genuinely thinking Alan Wake in 2025 in January. We'll put that in the calendar, ready to go. Very good, got setting max stand. It looks gorgeous and runs like a dream. Nice. And we could always wrangle um, an emu. That is true, I could wrangle an emu. My farm could always do with another one. Uh, max Payne running that way, that's true. And I finished Max Payne 3, but that was because I had to sell my console at the time. Play Max Payne, the first game on Android, wasn't bad. GG. <laughs> I haven't played Max Payne since I was a child. And again, when you play games as a kid, and I mean like re like before you even hit, hit your teens, you're not good at games. I don't care what anyone says. You're not good at games. You never make it very far because you get distracted and can never get past the first level. Unless you're a savant of gaming, everyone's bad at games when they first start out. And I was definitely bad at games when I started out. It's a little nightmare games on Android 2, which I never finished. It seems okay. Oh, you should play that. You should do it. You definitely do it. Don't forget Doomus. That is a point. We do need a point at some point this year to finish a load of games that I have yet to finish the franchise of. Like um, Doom Eternal. I haven't finished that because we did uh, Doomus in... Well, Doomus and Doomus. That was the only Doom we didn't get to. Hmm. I learned more on the Savin side. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Not to toot your own horn, but I was good at games when I was like five years old. Um, scrap month. Just, just bin them all. Just do all the games I need to finish up. Because I need to play the new Poppy Playtime as well. I haven't done that yet. I say I need to. I want to really badly. <laughs> yeah, Max Payne PS2 version was the best way to play it. The first Max Payne PC was too outdated, but Max Payne and Payne 3 is fine on PC. I'll find a way, I'm sure. I only go where people think Doom 3 kicked butt. I love Doom 3. It was a lot of fun. It really changed up the genre. It changed up the genre. It's a genre. Gotta be good somewhere and get heck, tell ya. Wolfenstein would be great to stream. I would like to play Wolfenstein as well. I'm saying this over Dumas. It was one of those franchises I, I like, I own a lot of Wolfenstein, but could never play them on my PCs. But now I've got a beastie PC, I could probably play them. Got to do an entire Sonic franchise at some point too. Yeah, there's so many franchises I need to do. Curse me deciding to be a franchise streamer. You know what? I could just be like a normal streamer where I just play all the brand new games and just do it that way. But no, I'm like, what if I just play a game that, you know, number one, all the way to the latest every single weekend? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, brrr, also, weapon sign games are awesome, all of them. I've never played them. Again, I could never get them to run. I really want to play them at some point. Actually, I can turn up my mic now that we're done. Um, also, Wolfen Sign games are awesome, all of them. I want to play them. All of Castlevania. I do want to at least play one Castlevania. At least one. Because I know there's like six million of them. Why be normal? Yeah, it's way more fun doing these franchise runs, to be honest with you. Because it makes, like, I highly advocate it. If you are out there, whether you're a streamer or not, just do a franchise run. At least one, like, franchise. Go from the start to the end, and it's such... A fun experience. Doom is a great example of it, actually. Because you get to see where a game starts and where it grows over the years. It's so much fun to see what they try, what doesn't work, what they adapt it into the next one. It just makes you enjoy that franchise way, 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 way more, I think. Um, I don't want to hear your opinion on Doom Eternal. I'm quite um, the minority about it. I can't wait to play it. Maybe one day. Yeah, Max Payne 3 was released. Actually, I had to buy a new um, VGA to play it. That's so funny. Final Fantasy franchise. I'd like to do the Final Fantasy remake franchises. I'd say the OG, but I've heard that the uh, remakes make playing them a lot more fun. Because the OGs are a lot more grindy, which I don't mind grinding in games. But if I'm going to stream them, I don't want to be spending hours upon hours getting drunk when there's a remake that makes a lot more quality of life changes. Franchise run. Been there, done that. Got the merit badges. Okay. <laughs> Alan Wake 3 next? Oh. Uh, well, more so. Hopefully another control first before another Alan Wake. 
Not that I don't want another Anna Wake, but I want to see what's going to happen next for Jesse. Because there are so many amazing franchises that get overlooked due to sequels not being advertised. Well, mm-hmm. It makes it so much fun. Epic Mickey franchise? I think I'll die. I know how hard those games are. Like, that's just saying, like, do a Rayman franchise and I'll just lose my life to the first game. Uh, because there are so many amazing... Oh, yeah, blah, 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 franchise run. Yep, blah, 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 blah. Try and chasing for games is Blair. Play what you enjoy. It makes better viewing watching someone who enjoys what they are playing. Yeah. But it's also kind of fun playing brand new games, don't you think? Because you're like, oh, look at this brand new fresh... Oh. But at the same time, that ain't me. <laughs> I'm always late to the party. But you know when I'm late to the party, I make sure to bring all the snacks... So that I re-pick everybody up. <laughs> um, also about retro gaming, I highly recommend The Suffering 1 to 3. It's on GOG. <gasps> Could you pop that in my whispers or on Discord, Gaming Shenanigans? I'd like to have a look-see of what that might be. More well, like, I'm suffering! I do like suffering. I'm not gonna lie. The yeah, estimated in control 2 will probably be around 2027. <gasps> that's ages away. I'm not I'm not surprised. Not surprised it'll take them that long. It took them 10 years to come up with Alan Wake 2. And you can clearly see that Control really helped contribute to the vibe of Anna Week 2. Final Fantasy 7 OG isn't grindy, but there are a few points in the game where it gives you very little guidance and you're completely lost. Yay, I love that. Aladdin on Mega Drive. Why, if we're at that, why don't we do Lion King as well? It's totally not installing AWE remaster. Do we play it? Or even um the Hercules game. Are we just going to have a Disney month of playing those old hard Disney games? Um, Of course, thank you. I've been disappointed by a few new games and it ruined streams videos. So, um, so much so I never released them on YouTube. Really? You should. You should have, like, a genuine, honest review at the end of it. But, like, this is why I just don't like it. And just put it there. Because sometimes it's good for people to hear why something isn't as good. Because you always hear things getting praised. I'm a big praiser most of the time. Because I go in with so much, like, low expectations into things. But when someone does disappoint me, I do let it know. Thank you, Anonymous. Um... Heck yeah, Lion King, let's go. No, no. Yeah, Control definitely gonna sit till the remakes are done. Mm hmm. Mm. Disney December? Nope, 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 nope. We need Nukemus. <gasps> Duke Nukemus. Oh, I don't know what we're doing anymore. All I know is Anna wearing 2025. Also, you love Anna Wake. I highly recommend Quantum Break. Oh, yes, I really wanna play Quantum Break. I didn't play it on stream. It was gonna be part of Anna wearing. The reason it didn't make it is because the cutscenes are really long. And I like talking to you guys. And I don't know if I can sit around for half an hour with my mouth shut, not, like, ignoring you all. Because I feel like a lot of you guys would be kind of miffed if I just didn't say hello, you know? It is your destiny, Kazim <laughs> Um, brrr, Quantum Break was supposed to be attached to Alan Wake, but Microsoft wanted a new IP. That didn't stop Remedy all that much. Of course it didn't. They want what they want, right? They could just write the new little part of the spiral. Why not? And they look scarabic. Bloody hell, these credits are going, aren't they? There might be another cutscene. I need to make sure that I sit through them. Oh, we're going through the German voice actors now. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. There's like six million different languages for this game. <laughs> Question. Is there another thing at the end of this? Technically, QB isn't part of the wake first. Well, technically speaking, that's what I've heard. That's why I also didn't want to. But at the same time, I kind of want to. But I'll do it off stream and I'll like record it. Uh, now, 10 live movie night was only 10, 15 minutes long. And you could um, talk all the time and watch the movie was happening. But I like... Being able to talk to you guys and digest information. I can't do both. You can pause the long cut scenes in Quantum Break. Yeah, but I can pause them. But do I want to break it up and then possibly forget things? That's not quite so fun. Mm, yes, there is a main menu. There is not. Shall I skip the rest of the credits? We've been in it for quite a while. Quite a while. There is Arty was in the credits. There's lots of Arties in the credits. Lots of Arties. <laughs> You can speed up the credits, can I? Oh, I can! Oh! La 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 Because it's nearly been a seven hour stream and I said seven hours was going to be my cut off. Oh, look at all the thank yous! Oh, I always love thank yous at the end of a credit. I always think it's way cooler than IT counseling. Oh! Being a living mannequin from a body and garment scanning through the entire project. Link your neck. Oh, you like these little things. They always make me smile. This is way cooler than IT consul um, consulting. True. I love it. I do love it when they do this. It's a nice little moment for people to say their piece, you know? Gotta go fast. <laughs> Honestly, the length of cutscene is why I didn't finish QB. 
I like long cutscenes, but I wouldn't do them on stream because I like being able to talk to you guys, you know? Aww. Aww. I like it a lot. Shout out to the war tree room. <laughs> so the next question is, when does Artie get his own game? I hope they... This is going to sound possibly back to front, but I hope Artie never has a DLC, never has a game. I want Artie to remain as this mystery man. Is he human? Is he an AWE or whatever? Is he an anomaly of some kind? Who knows? Who knows? I want him to remain a man of mystery. Like Austin Powers. <laughs> um, Artie needs to remain um, enigmatic. Yes. Yeah, someone thanked a druid. Hell yeah, they did. Um, Artie is merely Artie, and that's all we need. Yeah, like, as much as I'd love to have a bit more information about Artie, I think Artie should be Mochi the Bunny and Matcha the Bunny. Oh, Matcha and Mochi. Those are good names. I love that. Golden Boy Pumba. That's one hell of a name as well. Milo and Otis. Taco and Honey. Hmm. Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so good. I love it when there's like a little bit of extra fun in credits. Oh, Sometimes really is more fun not knowing everything. Yeah, like I love Morati. But I also don't want it to like, I don't know, water him down too much. Did you hear about the new rumors about Resident Evil 9? Will be a big open world game. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Resident Evil Remake already mean... Oh, oh, tell me nothing. I saw something about Resident Evil Remake. I haven't played Resi 4 Remake yet. I haven't done that yet. I, I need to do that for bin month, whenever that is. <laughs> I finish all the things. I haven't even done Resident Evil 8 DLC yet. I've been so big into my franchise. I haven't even had a chance. I want to, though. Hello, Archangel. I hope you're good. I know who Artie is. He's a fi official. Artificial. I know who Artie is. He's the best janitor that ever was, ever will be for the FBC. That's what he is. <sighs> I'm not kidding, though. I didn't know who Remedy was before I started playing these games. I'm not very good at remembering. Oh, nice. I've never been very good at remembering developer names, unless they're ones that you really do connect to, like Rockstar and all that. I didn't actually know who Remedy was, but I'm so glad I now know. Remedy is awesome. Remedy is gonna be eternal for me. The journey through the night continues, and we'll continue it in January 2025. It. Wait, you done? Did I come back to the end? You did! <laughs> you did! I was thinking about doing the New Day Game Plus. Oh, look at that. But the decision has been made that we're going to play the New Game Plus when the DLCs have all released. So in January 2024, Anna Murray will come back. We'll do the New Game Plus then, and we'll play the DLCs. That's the plan. That is the plan. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Oh, smart choice. That way, then, everyone who wants to play it doesn't feel like they have to miss anything. Um, those who are not bothered about playing the DLCs, well, it won't be long anyway. I, I think that's that's the best way, because then we can refresh it, refresh the story so that it's in our mind's eye, ready for the DLCs. I think that's the perfect way. January 2024. Oh, 2025. I thought I said 2025. Timey wimey. It's a spiral in it. We get to sing again? We do. <gasps> we can go through all the, the musical all over again. In, in 20, that's a good, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a game that's going to kick off 2025 for us. And it does it in a really big punchy way. It's going to be sick. Show me the champion of like, ah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Right, let's finish up everyone. Let's do it. Let's boogie. Let's get the music going. Then I can have some dinner. <laughs> music list. I show you the hell of the darkness. I can't wait. I'm going to have to use this time to practice the dance moves now. Ready for 2025. That is, it's clearly it. It's gonna be it now. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to hold myself to that. <laughs> oh, so good though. I can't believe I'm gonna have to wait all the way until January though to play the next bit. But it'll be enough time to like let it simmer and get into it. Next year, I expected to dance along the cast. Oh, you bet. You, I bloody will. I will. I will dance along to it. It's not a stream. It's a river. <laughs> now you're the three stream streak, J Rex. Once the sing song starts, oh, you can bet. I'm gonna. What well, if I did an Alan Wake cosplay? Suit and all? Maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Shane Moogie. I hope uh, your work won't be too bad. Talents cross. Accidental crisis in the corner. Just gonna be screaming now. So I guess Unhinged April starts next week. 
Next week, I'll have a think about what we're going to kick off. Maybe we'll get the clones out. Maybe the clones should come out next week. You know, they haven't had this stretch of their legs in a minute. Maybe we'll have that for Easter. Should the clones come out? Possibly, yeah. At least one of them, I guess. At least one of them. Unhinged now. Unhinged begins now until end of April. And then May comes in. Actually, you could do a pretty awesome Alice Wake cosplay if you wanted. I could probably do that. Feels weird that this is over. I feel like... You know when an anime finishes and you're like, what am I going to do with my life now? That's how I feel right now. This is a speedrun of um, Alan Wake 2 and ESA speedrun event. And I did the Herald of Darkness dance in it. Oh, I love that. It's such a good dance. It's such a good dance. Anyways, you have to go now. Love you all. See you next week. Bye, Hot Wheels. Have a lovely week ahead. Kick butt to your bubble gum. See you soon. Have a lovely week. I'll put my squeaker away till next stream. Good. Gonna have to let it recharge. And if it's stream, Mookie, enjoy your evening. Don't forget to cuddle the carpet shocks. I will. That's what I'm gonna go and do first. I'm gonna probably go and eat. Then have a shower. Get the carpet shocks in. Go on. Oh, for those who bought merch, you'll get your hopefully ferret videos either tonight or tomorrow morning. Actually, I might wait till tomorrow morning when the light is out. There you go. For those who bought merch for this weekend, ferret videos will come into your ex um, inbox by lunchtime tomorrow. The thing uh, we're so invested in is it's suddenly over. I'm 100% feeling um, has a name. There's definitely a name for it. I bet there's like a Finnish proverb that Artie would say. Garbage sharks. That's a good name, isn't it? I feel so lost. The journey's not over. It's just beginning. We're just gonna have a little, little break, a little holiday until it begins again. So I'm, I'm literally got goosebumps. It's so good. Right, let's do the thing. I did say cut off at seven hours. Look at me go. We're literally nearly there at seven hours in like a couple minutes. Oh, I am feeling so winded. Let's see, we got No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. You know what we're talking about? Um, oh, Elden Ring. That might be a good choice. A little bit of Elden Ring. We have also got... God, why can I smell pasta? I swear, if we cook pasta before I can eat pasta, and it means I have to clean out a tub, like the pot, before I can cook it, because we only got one tub, uh, you know, saucepan. I'm going to be cross because I don't eat pasta. Um, we also have Final Fantasy VII. Mm, story of Seasons. I don't know which one it is. I just see a dot for thought. Uh, we can clean the things he made dirty. To be fair, I put the washing on the line and I also washed it this morning. <laughs> All while I've been streaming. You hear that, we Love ya. But I want pasta. Mm. You know, we'll go with these. We haven't raided these in a hot minute. See you next team. Ah, it's been lush having you, Fagoth. It has been. I hope you understand. Well, as best as you possibly can understand what the hell has gone on in this game. Because it's one of those. This really is one of those. It's so hard to know what's going on half the time. <laughs> All right. Let me do that little self-promo bit. Discord. Join it. If you want to join the not a cult, join us there. We have bantered all week. You guys will get to have a preview of like what I'm thinking of playing this weekend. I'll let you guys know there as always. And we always have a little bit of banterage. Right, our next ride is going to be good. It's going to feel so good. It's gonna feel so good. Not a cult. <laughs> we also have socials. I say we, me, I have socials. MissUki.com is my merch site. If you would like to anything drawn by me, they are all up there. There'll be a massive launch of new merch, like perma merch later on in the year. But April merch will be coming up very, very shortly, which means you got till next Sunday to buy the March merch. And then it's gone. It's gone. So if you want eggs, this, this is your time. This is your time to do it. Then we also have Twitter.com, Story of Seasons, okie dokie. Let's see if they're still going to be alive. I want to see who's gone, like, the shortest. Because I want you guys to have the rest of the day with someone. Uh, Twitter.com is my words, things, and stuff. YouTube for my thoughts. If you want to see the entirety of what the hell, like, hell we just experienced, right away from Alan Wake 1, they are all up there in their designated place list. This stream will be up on Tuesday at some point midday for me. So that'll be 12 p.m. GMT-ish, probably, right round before my dinner happens. Well, my lunch at work. Then Instagram for my app of the day. It's also where I blog things and stuff. We have Facebook for my artwork. I'm also on Threads and TikTok, but I don't really use those very much, but they are there if you'd like to check them out. And we can all the other turners you're feeling particularly generous. Cult is spooky. Shh, we're not a cult. Okay, it kills are so pretty. Thank you. They're really flat now. You can tell I've slept on them. Really, really flat. But thank you. They'll get rehydrated once I have a shower. Right. We're going to raid Duo. 
duo has just started streaming the stories of seasons a wonderful life we're gonna go with and give duo all the love duo was here earlier he's got a wonderful personality you'll absolutely be adoring he's one hell of a host and will always make you feel heard as well so we're gonna go and raid duo here we go raid set up nice 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 lush lush right everyone i guess this is it have a wonderful week ahead may it be the most magnificent bestest one yet and make it fill you with all the tinglys. And remember, if tomorrow or any day is hard, there is always the next day to make it even better for your future self and even your present self, you know? Yesterday was yesterday. Tomorrow is a new day. Um, yeah, have a good day. Uh, if I never see you again, may your honesty be glorious. And if I do see you soon, well, uh, I'll see you guys on the weekend or over on the internet. New contract soon. I'm so excited. <laughs> right, everyone, I'm going to go now before the adverts kick off. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful week ahead. As I said, um... Bye. Don't forget to full moon tonight. All right. Um, bye. <laughs> Oil fire no stand. Good night, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. Stay comfortable. I'm running now before I get stuck here forever. Raid message is here. The link to duo is here as well, in case the raid doesn't take you. And thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out with me today. Bye, J-Rex. Bye, Cousin Moose. Bye, Claire. Bye, Argent. Bye, Ace. Bye, Ara. Bye, Heat. Bye, Valdivy. Bye, CJ. Bye, Vagoth. Bye, Papa Rap. I think I call everyone. I think I call everyone. Be oh, bye, Casaboos. Right. Give um, Duo all the love. All right. See you Friday at 9 p.m. GMT or Saturday and Sunday for the beginning of Unhinged. Bye, Captain Oz. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye.